Graduation dinner. My good buddies are helping me find a partner. Surprisingly, she took advantage of me being drunk and tied me up in her sister's boudoir. In my dream, I vaguely feel that there is something fragrant beside me. When I wake up rubbing my head, looking at the woman sleeping next to me, I desperately try to recall what happened last night while drinking. For a moment, I couldn't remember what had happened. I only remembered Su Zichian promising to take me back to the dormitory. But how am I in a hotel? And why is there a woman beside me? Things have gotten serious. Damn it, Su Zichian. When I go back, I must hold you accountable. Suddenly, the woman lying on top of me woke up, sat up straight, and looked at me with a smile in her eyes. Awake, little brother. I turned my head slightly, trying my best to keep myself calm. Do not overlook impropriety. Now that a big mistake has been made, we cannot continue making further mistakes. I pulled the blanket over the woman and asked, What's the situation? The woman smiled faintly and whispered in my ear. It's the situation you see. I can't help it. This woman is completely playing with fire. Her voice is enchanting to the extreme. I turned my head and looked at the woman. And in an instant, I felt that her face was somewhat familiar. She is the person in the photo that Su Zichian showed to himself yesterday. The long princess of the Beijing circle, Sui. People say that she suffers from androphobia and has abstained from having a male partner for 28 years. I watched as Sui opened her mouth and asked, Why did this happen yesterday? People say that you have abstained from sexual relations for 28 years. How others perceive you when such actions are made public? The woman did not give me a direct answer. What? Don't you like your older sister? Besides, we haven't done anything. Sui's captivating eyes stared straight at me. Didn't do anything. I looked at her. My eyes filled with disbelief. Nothing happened in this situation. No matter what you say. Ghost believe you. What exactly do you want to do? I will directly get to the point. Sui approached me, not hiding the desire in her eyes. Of course I want to devour you. The rumors about me not being interested in men are all spread by outsiders. As for why she had to endure for 28 years, my sister simply didn't like their appearance. Not even a bit attractive. I twitched at the corner of my mouth. This response is indeed not a problem. Ah, another woman who is obsessed with her own appearance. I pushed Sui off myself lifted the blanket and quickly got out of bed, swiftly picking up the clothes thrown on the floor and putting them on. Beauty, goodbye. After tidying up my clothes, I turned around and showed a friendly smile to the person behind me. Ran out in a hurry. It's best to leave using the strategy of the 36 stratagems. Staying here will inevitably lead to trouble sooner or later. I looked at the decoration outside. A huge and magnificent chandelier hanging in the air. It looks quite valuable. This is not a hotel. It should be Suyi's home. After going downstairs, I picked up my own phone from the table and prepared to open the door to go out. However, no matter how I turn the doorknob, the door remains motionless. Little brother, you can't escape it. Just obediently listen to your older sister. A voice like a devil's sounded from behind. Suyi descended the wooden staircase barefoot. Why do you think I didn't stop you? Last night, braving the heavy rain, I brought you back. How could I possibly let you escape easily? I leaned against the door, only feeling as if time stood still in this moment. Just now, I didn't notice it in bed. This woman is too stunning, isn't she? Suddenly, I don't feel like leaving anymore. After all, she did something so excessive to herself, so it shouldn't be a problem for her to take responsibility for herself. What exactly do you want to do? Isn't this obvious enough? Sui stood in front of me, raised one hand and hooked it around my neck. I turned my head away and didn't look at Sui. I don't do canaries, although I don't understand the world of wealthy families, it is said that love is absent in such households, I don't think the Su family in the capital would consider me as an ordinary son-in-law, why, isn't older sister beautiful, Sui pulled me to sit on the sofa, I look ahead and if I glance at the woman beside me, she will explode on the spot, Sui stood in front of me, forcing me to look at her, is it not good looking, although on a certain unknown night, I once dreamt of such a thing, it really happened now, and I feel uncertain in my heart. Is such an assertive woman really a good person? I hope you're not being extravagant when no one else is around. Thinking of this, an inexplicable feeling of disgust arises in my heart. Love, for me, is better to be lacking than to be excessive. I cannot accept a wife who is so promiscuous. Taking a deep breath, I looked at Sui with a determined gaze. Miss Su, we are really not suitable. Raise my hand and open Sui's hand. I turn my head and reveal a look of resolute defiance on my face. Suiching's cold laughter rang out, silently thinking in her heart. I didn't expect this younger brother to be so tough. 
But it's more fun this way. I coldly opened my mouth, looking straight ahead. Can we sit down and have a good talk? Sui nodded gently. What is your relationship with Su Zichian? It's my younger brother. Sure enough, I thought to myself, why didn't I investigate properly? I should have taken some precautions at least, so as not to be betrayed by my own brother. Sui approached me, and I forced a smile. I have no money, no power, no background. What exactly do you see in me? Sister, of course, values your appearance and wants you to marry her. I pout. We are not suitable. Sui asked, where is it not suitable? I'm looking at Sui. You see, you're already 28 this year, and I'm only 22. We're not suitable for each other. My voice is getting smaller and smaller. A woman's age is an absolute taboo. Only the bravest warriors dare to mention it. I am willing to risk everything for freedom. Sui's face changed, and the aura around her quickly plummeted. Little brother, haven't you heard a saying before? Youth is ignorant of the benefits of a wealthy woman, mistaking a young girl for a treasure. When a woman reaches her thirties, she embraces a golden brick. I am twenty-eight, you are twenty-two, but you have already held two gold bricks. I still keep my head down. I admit what you said is correct, but I will not get lost in such decayed things. Sui clenched her fists tightly. I have never seen such a wooden man. There is a little sense of satisfaction in my heart. My own judgment is indeed quite good. It cannot be compared to those ordinary people. Come closer to me. Sui somehow pulled out a key from somewhere. Do you have a room? My gaze falls on the key. I shook my head slightly, saying no. Sister has a house. Sister gives you the house. I stared at the key in a daze, thinking that with this key, I could escape by opening the door. Quick, give it to me. Suilio's eyebrows lightly raised, not missing the look in my eyes just now. You little brat, you really don't understand anything. Ha, huh? sister even gave you the house, and yet you still want to run away. She picked up the keys that were placed on the coffee table and turned to go upstairs. Don't go. You can leave the key behind. Damn it. Was my performance just now so obvious? Is this woman's vision a bit too extraordinary? No wonder she's the CEO. Sui quickly returned, holding a very delicate box in her hand. Open the box. Take out the key inside. These dozen were so villas. Sister has given them all to you. In the future, you can live in whichever one you want. My brain is buzzing. I can't say a word. Suddenly realized that my understanding of the world is still too shallow. The happiness of wealthy people is truly unimaginable. Sister is asking you now. Is sister old? I shake my head. Forever young, my sister never ages. I feel that my noble character has been bent by a bunch of keys. Why not listen to your older sister? Sui is right next to me. Did you finally take down your stinky little brother? What a joke. You dare to compete with your sister? I hesitated for a moment and placed the key on the coffee table. No, I admit that you are a very outstanding person, but we are not compatible. Sui took a deep breath and looked at me with a resentful gaze. Why does my little brother act like a stubborn donkey? Doing business worth billions is not as difficult as this. It's okay, the keys are in the cabinet. If you want them, just take them yourself. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Sister, are you at home? I'm here. It was the voice of Su Zichen. Sui raised her chin slightly and took out the key from the cabinet, gesturing for me to open the door. Can you give me the key? Isn't this giving me a chance to escape? Opportunity knocks but once. After opening the door, I gave Su Zichen a glare and grabbed my shoes, ready to run outside. Su Zichen hugged me tightly, ignoring the murderous look in my eyes, and dragged me back. Are you my brother? For the sake of my safety, please bear with it. My brother. Brother? How could you have the audacity to say this word? I trust you so much, and you got me drunk and gave me to your own sister. Looking at his older sister sitting on the sofa, Su Zichian reached out his hand. Sister, I have taken care of everything that needed to be done. Where is my car? For the happiness of my brothers and dear sister. He only asked for a top-notch luxury car as compensation. I want to punch him even more. Brothers are connected heart to heart. You play mind games with your brothers. Sui took out a car key from the box, and after receiving the key, Su Zichian pulled me to sit next to Sui. To Sui, I said, Sis, my brother will rely on you from now on. He's been through a lot, so please treat him well. He patted my shoulder and said, Brother, you must take good care of yourself. No need to thank me. Afterwards, he turned around, grabbed the car keys, and ran away in a flash. Looking at the closed door, I glanced at Sui tightly hugging me. I coughed lightly. Can you let me go? I can't get out anymore. 
Sui reluctantly let go of me, as if she had thought of something, patting my head, he said, you play at home by yourself, I have to work now, she then picked up two boxes and went upstairs, on Xu Chen's side, after returning home, he couldn't wait to tell his father and mother about this news, what is this, Su Fu was stunned, the second daughter, who has been single for 28 years, has finally found love, she is dating a 22 year old college graduate, Su's father and mother were overjoyed, their daughter finally found someone who wanted her, and at this moment, I am lounging on the couch, mindlessly watching videos, I want to find some snacks to eat, but unfortunately the aloof CEO's house doesn't even have rice, so how could there be snacks, indeed, she is a woman who does not love life, we are not compatible, what are you doing, Sui leaned against the railing on the second floor, looking at me down here, looking around aimlessly, it's so boring, nothing, I felt like I was caught cheating, my whole body shivered, and I sat on the sofa awkwardly scratching my head, just a little bored, bored, you can come and play with your older sister, Sui hooked her finger, and I widened my eyes, I seem to have heard something very scary, looking for trouble, my two big bellies might not be able to handle it, I shake my head like crazy, come up, Sui's voice is unquestionable, sister doesn't like disobedient younger brother, I watched as Sui upstairs swallowed his saliva, walked upstairs, and stood in front of Sui, it's not that I compromised, but rather that I became more determined to escape, this woman is too terrifying, are you done with work, come quickly, Sui waved and led me into the study, the sound of the door locking echoed, and when I turned around, Sui was already gone, leaving me alone in the room, feeling confused, what does it mean, I am no longer satisfied with imprisoning myself in a spacious house, will I be locked in a cramped study tomorrow and confined to a small bed the day after tomorrow, my desire to escape is becoming stronger, I sneered at the computer left by Sui in the study, waiting for me to steal all the confidential files from your computer, then sell it to a rival company, and the high-end business war begins with me, sitting in front of the computer, turn on the computer, okay, there is a password, but the set next to it doesn't have a password, unfortunately, there are only games on it, it's all games, could it be for oneself, a thought appeared in my mind, and the study door was opened, do you like the computer I prepared for you, my brain crashed for a moment, woman, I have seen through your scheme, come down and have a meal, Su Yila pulled me downstairs, looking at a table full of delicious dishes, and I was overwhelmed, I remember that Su Yi's family didn't have any food at home, not even cooking oil, so this whole table is takeout, you locked me in the study just to order takeout, Su Yi's eyes lit up, sure enough, you can see everything I've done, you have me in your heart, my mouth twitched, how afraid are you that I will run away, Su Yi feels a bit wronged, just now when Su Zichen came, you wanted to run, I had to be on guard, let's eat, it's not good for my younger brother to go hungry, looking at a table full of dishes that I have heard of but have never seen before, you ordered takeout from a 5 star hotel, Sui nodded gently, roll, you rich people go die, okay, I just want to order a 10 yuan takeout and I have to struggle to find a few discount coupons, is this the life of a domineering CEO, suddenly, Sui stuffed an oyster into my mouth, this is the first time I have eaten this kind of thing, and I couldn't help but frown, don't like to eat, it's okay, just eat a few more and you'll get used to it, Sui smiled and said, there are still more than 10 left, they must be finished today, I swallowed my saliva, as if I didn't have the right to question, Sui sat beside me, constantly picking out fresh oysters for me, before she could even swallow the ones in her mouth, the next one was already at her lips, this woman is indeed up to no good, she just wants to have a taste of my body, I'll do it myself, I prefer some home cooked dishes, Sui ordered 4 or 5 dishes, all of which she couldn't afford to eat on a regular basis, they all looked delicious, with a perfect combination of color, aroma, and taste, meanwhile, my mouth is now filled with the fresh flavor of oysters, I understand, this woman just wants to distract herself with oysters, when she finishes eating the leftovers, all of it will be hers, it turns out she is such a scheming woman, no, I can't let her succeed, I will also pick up the oysters and feed them, hurt each other, who doesn't know how to do it, you always say that you like me, so you won't even fulfill this small request of mine, right, little brother, brother, this is my first time feeding a woman, I looked at Sui with ill intentions, and Sui was slightly stunned, is it the younger brother's feeding, has he already accepted it himself, start with such intimate actions towards oneself, cannot hurt younger brother's heart, 
She happily accepted her younger brother's feeding. There's still quite a lot to come. Sui, whom I had already fed too much, couldn't eat any more. She lay on the sofa in a mermaid pose, with her long legs resting on top of mine. I pushed Sui's legs away in an instant. Using such things to tempt me, I admit that you are indeed tempting, but I am not a pushover either. I got up and went upstairs. Can't you avoid provoking me? Sui looked at my back with a resentful expression. You can tolerate eating so many oysters. Can't it be done? Tonight, we have to give it a try no matter what. If it really doesn't work out, we can only regretfully change our approach. At 2.30 in the morning, President Su should have already fallen asleep. I stood stealthily in front of Su Yi's bedroom door, ready to steal the key. I slowly reach out my hand. Please, do not lock the door. As soon as the door was touched, it slowly opened, and a captivating fragrance wafted in. My heart seemed to be in my throat, tiptoeing in. The room is quiet. Sui should be asleep. I searched for 10 minutes, not to mention the key. I didn't even see the box where the key was previously stored. Sui suddenly turned over, and I saw Sui holding a key in her hand. The key is right in front of me now. How can I resist? I'm going for it. I quietly climbed onto Sui's bed, my gaze fixed on the key, holding my breath. What are you doing, little brother? Sui made a lazy sound. Finally, I've been waiting for you. Sui embraced me with both arms. Have you thought it through? You'll have to take responsibility for me after tonight. Okay then, I'll reluctantly take responsibility for you. Little sister. Sister, whatever identity and status, feel free to choose any property or car. Listen to your older sister in the future. Your older sister will take care of you. After a series of struggles, I ultimately lost. Can only do I exercises with her? From 3 in the morning until 8 in the morning. Took a shower after exercising. I woke up at 5 o'clock in the afternoon and as soon as I opened my eyes, I saw Sui staring at me with malicious intent. What's with this woman's expression? Didn't it just end this morning? I speak. Young people should exercise restraint. Tomorrow, please spare my life. You wouldn't want to become a widow at such a young age, right? I'm hungry. After the battle ended last night, I slept until now and haven't eaten for nearly 24 hours. Reward the child with something to eat, considering how hard I have worked. Sui turned over and pressed me down, staring at me with a pair of eyes. Well, but if you want to eat delicious food, you always have to pay a little price. Her smile falls in my eyes like a demon. Call sister, sister will buy you delicious food. I looked at and stared at Sui, calling a woman six years older than me sister. I don't have too many uncomfortable feelings in my heart. Sister, I'm hungry. Then, with a shout of brother, Sui took out her phone and called her younger brother. Brother, prepare some food for your brother-in-law and send it over. As for what to give, you know. Su Zichian threw his phone on the sofa in frustration, sometimes really wishing that the world would explode on the spot. Why should I, a single dog, become a part of your amusement? Son, what's wrong? Suma looked at Su Zichian with a worried expression. Could something have happened to her precious daughter? Su Zichian's mouth curled into a cold smile as he gritted his teeth and said, Your precious daughter is doing very well. They even asked me to bring them some food. Suma's eyes lit up. There's no reason for her younger brother to personally deliver a meal. Could it be? Then he solemnly said to his son. Then you quickly go buy some nourishing food to send over. My own daughter has endured for so many years. But when she indulges herself, it will be tough on the young ones. Su Zichian was also slightly stunned, feeling extremely unbalanced in his heart. Su's parents have somewhat conservative thinking. Being a playboy is possible, but absolutely no messing around. Disrespecting girls is not allowed. How come it's okay when it comes to my older sister? Isn't my brother's life also a life? I rubbed my sore waist and walked downstairs leisurely. Sitting on the sofa, I looked at Sui. Has the food arrived? Sister, I'm so hungry. Sui Sin snorted arrogantly in her heart. Let me make a phone call and ask. Su Zichian was driving when he heard his phone ringing in his pocket. Without answering, he already knew who it was. He decided not to answer. Please say it in person. He knocked on Su Yi's door. And when Su Yi opened the door, he saw a thermos box appear at the doorstep. This is the insulation box coming to life. Until Su Zichian tilted his head, she finally saw her sweaty little brother, carrying big and small bags in his hands, and a pile of things on the ground. I sat on the sofa, looking at Su Zichian, trying hard to hold back my laughter. Call you out for trying to deceive me. Now you're getting what you deserve. Sure, when did you become so good at eating? Sui set up a table full of dishes. Rarely praised younger brother Su Zichian. 
Su Zichian's mouth twitched, all ordered by my father and mother. For the future brother-in-law, the words brother-in-law were said through gritted teeth by Su Zichian. I straightened my body, and the matter has already been brought up to my mother-in-law and father-in-law. It is said that a daughter is like a little cotton jacket for her father. If this pig steals someone else's bok choy, will it not be punished? Sui waved her hand. Got it. You should go back quickly. Just as Su Zichian was about to take off his shoes and come in to eat together, his footsteps paused. Did I work so hard to send it over? And it's not even worthy of a bite? Sui pushed him out of the door. I have no vision at all. Didn't you see that I am pursuing your brother-in-law? Su Zichian looked at the closed gate in disarray. Have you all not already done that thing? Why do you still want to pursue it? Don't worry about him when there's nothing wrong. Sui waved her hand nonchalantly. How can a light bulb sitting next to a candle at dinner disturb, looking at a table full of delicious dishes without names? I couldn't help but swallow my saliva. Sui took out a bottle of top quality red wine from the display cabinet. You still want to drink? Sunmin had a strange feeling in his heart for no reason. The so-called once bitten by a snake ten years afraid of a well rope. Now he was a little afraid of alcohol. All because of a hangover, he lost his most precious freedom, but accidentally gained others, like this table of food. If it wasn't for a hangover, he probably wouldn't have been able to eat this table of delicious food for the rest of his life. A blessing in disguise belonged to his. That said, if she took out a bottle of wine now, she wouldn't be trying to take advantage of being half drunk to do something indescribable, right? No, I can't let Sui have her way. Boys alone outside must protect themselves. Tonight must not compromise. Dreams are beautiful. Reality. The dream is beautiful. The reality is also very beautiful. A man and a woman share a room. Want not to happen something is difficult. The next day Shuanan woke up. It was already 11 o'clock in the morning. And there were no people around. Today is Monday. As a company hand, there are endless meetings waiting for Sui. The perfect interpretation of what is called the desire to wear their crown must bear their weight. That said, his wife is so hard. How can he still have the face to comfortably lie in bed? Come on, my freedom. Turn over and get out of bed. Go to feel their pants pockets. That night, God did not know what to do with the key in his pants pocket. Waiting for this moment. I am sorry. Sister, as a man, how can I be confined to the small space of 200 square meters? My goal is the stars and the sea. The face changed violently. Shuanan vigorously shook his pants. No, the key is gone. Shuanan sat on the bed with a lost soul. So, that night in the darkness of their own small movements were all seen by Sui in the eyes, and then she pretended to know nothing about the appearance, watching Sunan alone complacent. Shame on you. Ah not. How can this woman be so vicious? Doesn't her conscience hurt? She has no conscience. Otherwise how could she have done the operation of kidnapping a good woman and man? Slapping her face? Now it seems that this controlling capital circle princess is trying to trap herself in this small house forever. The rhythm of a proper golden house to hide a beautiful man. How can I live in the future? If you really can't do it, jump off a building. She went on walked to the window, took a look at the silent retreat back. The current life is not not. There is no need to think about it. The type of this building are leaping. Sui home in the third floor, equivalent to the ordinary building of the fifth and sixth floors. This height to jump dead do not know. Anyway, certainly can not live well. When the time comes to lose this body good skin, sister will still want him. I'm sure she won't. Thinking about yesterday's table of good food, there should still be in the future. This building will not jump for the time being. Xuanan cleaned up the mess after the pleasure. Fortunately, although there was no food in the home of the eldest princess of the capital circle, the washing machine was still there. There was still breakfast on the dining room table. Not having much of an appetite, he sat on the sofa. This little thing can't last until 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Right. Sui this is the rhythm of wanting to starve themselves to death. What should I think of to go out? Good looking skin is the same. One day Sui will get tired of himself. What plot to come? After three years of marriage, the white moonlight of the eldest princess of the capital circle returned from abroad. So Shuanan became the ex-husband in the hegemonic text. Quite good. Seamlessly connecting to the next novel. It's also kind of like not having an empty slot. Remember to settle the expenses for the show. Shuanan pulled out his cell phone and dialed a number. What's wrong? Did something happen? The call was answered almost in seconds. It turned out that the overlord who was in love was really so idle. Soon and hesitantly spoke. Are you really not going to let me out? Communication was the easiest way to solve problems between people. And he wasn't going to choose to be a poor bastard without a mouth. Just stay home and be good. Sister has the money to support you. Sui was silent for a moment. Perhaps her conscience was a little uneasy at this moment. Adding, when I get off work, I'll take you out to play. 
The capital circle is not lacking is the rich family's big miss, with Xuanan's outstanding face value. Maybe tomorrow by some family's big miss, little princess fancy. Sui she did have money, but while she had more than enough money to underwrite a little puppy long ago, she had one biggest drawback, her age. It was always said that men would always like the 18-year-olds, so I really didn't understand where those little girls could compare themselves. There was some irritation in his heart. Maybe that's what someone stuck in love calls insecurity. It doesn't matter. Just lock him up. He has the money to feed him anyway. Xuanan was also helpless. Ah, what is the high and cold ascetic capital circle eldest princess thinking about all day and night? Ah, sibling love and whatnot is also very fragrant. Thinking of a saying, you are responsible for earning money to support your family. I am responsible for looking as beautiful as a flower. Although it sounded good, Xuanan didn't accept it. He was an outstanding graduate from a top university. How could he be a canary that didn't worry about food or drink? One could just accept not worrying about food or clothing. But soft food must be eaten hard. Didn't I already promise you I wouldn't leave? After some pleasures that night, Xuanan had already come on to Su Yi anyway. And now that he wanted to make himself leave, it was impossible to do so without paying a price. It was Su Yi himself who had said that night that he would be responsible for himself. He was getting what he deserved. I believe you. Be good and wait at home for your sister to return. Xuanan, you are oil and salt ah. If you believe, why don't you still let me go? Sister, how little confidence you have in yourself. Xuanan smiled bitterly, having seen Su Yi's charm, in wanting to put other women in the eyes of more or less difficult. Good girl, sister is busy. Wait for noon to come home to bring you delicious food. Across the screen fell a kiss. Su Yi hung up the phone. Xuanan was left sitting on the sofa in a state of disarray. This is hanging up? The overbearing president is busy like this. Can still pick up his own phone in seconds? Really I cry to death. Ah no, I'm crying my eyes out. The purpose of the call is not to let this controlling woman to let themselves out well. Three or two words of sweet words on the betrayal of freedom. Sin. Now it seems that this woman is not likely to let herself out voluntarily. Need to think of other ways. What to do. Or, slit your wrists? Isn't that how it's written in those brain dead novels? Since you like me, I'll hurt myself to make you feel guilty. TSK, TSK, Tisk worthy of being a brain dead novel. She went on admired it. Letting go of the life of being clothed and fed and being supported. Running to slit your wrists and self harm. I admit that freedom is valuable. But you let slit your wrists in exchange for freedom. I think I'd better refuse. How painful it is. Dog author I advise you to be kind. So Shuanan once again picked up the phone. Can not hurt themselves, but also to let a lifetime of strong Rapunzel to see their own determination. Then, only this one way law. Uncle police. Someone kidnapped me. Come and save me. Yes. Xuanan called the police. Don't they say that there are difficulties to find the police? Now is the time to reflect this sentence. Come on police uncles. Let me see your speed. Can you rescue me before Sui goes home for lunch at noon? Sir you don't rush. Please make sure you are safe and tell us your exact location. Missy's voice came from the other end of the phone. Wrong name. It's not uncle cop. It's sister cop. It didn't matter. What mattered was that Sunan finally saw the freedom that belonged to her. I'm not in danger now. I'm just locked up. The police sister on the other end of the phone was silent. The kidnappers were not there and had not confiscated the hostages' communication tools. Although she had only been a police officer for a year, she was not something that could be easily fooled. Well, the police sister paused for a split second. There is no danger what do you report to the police ah? Then, do you know where you are now? The world's big nothing strange. Do not rule out that kind of strange kidnappers. Although that kind of kidnappers only appeared in the skit. It is not guaranteed that there will be a certain fool in real life to imitate. I don't know ugh. She went on froze for a moment. In the past few days, the takeout was ordered by Su Yi herself. And even more so, it was delivered by Su Zichin, the second youngest son of a rich family. He really didn't know where Su Yi lived. However, house prices around here shouldn't be cheap. She went on looked at the layout of the home, describing it bit by bit to the police lady on the other end of the phone. A huge space on two floors. A huge crystal chandelier. The more she went on said, the more silent the lady on the other end of the phone became, and spoke with some uncertainty, Sir, are you sure you've been kidnapped? To be able to own a house like this in the capital, one is also properly at the level of a tycoon. Such a person is now going to do is to enjoy life. Top the legal risk to kidnap a person. Well, it's not easy to say. Ask again. The police lady asked Xuanan while recording, Did the kidnappers ask for ransom from your family? Since the hostage was still alive. The probability was that the purpose of the kidnapping was for wealth. No. Xuanan felt that Sui definitely did not look down on his bank card. The interest rate for a month is more than this. 
I don't have a family, I'm an orphan, the police lady was silent, although I have been on duty for a short time, but I have read a lot of detective mystery novels, and I have never seen such a strange kidnapping case, sir, do you have a grudge against the kidnapper? No, she went on thought for a moment, he might have some enmity with the kidnapper's brother, and it's not a big deal that you're going to die for, the police lady raised her eyebrows, even her tone changed, sir, do you know what the kidnapper went to do? She went, to work, Shuanan's voice was getting smaller and smaller, even he himself felt that it didn't look like a kidnapping at all, the last sentence she went to make money to support her family, I'm responsible for looking beautiful like a flower didn't have the heart to say it, sir, I must tell you that taking up police resources is illegal, the police lady righteously admonished Shuanan, she was already hungry at mealtime, and there were people making fun of herself, angry, hanging up the phone, spitting desperately to the colleagues around her, she went on awkwardly touched his nose, as if the police this road also does not work, more and more feel Sui the horror of this woman, she is to use this way, so that they are begging for life, begging for death, slit your wrists is impossible, as a top university graduate outstanding graduate, Xu Anan quickly grasped the key point of the problem, his current position, as long as he knew where he was now, he could let the police lady come to rescue himself, there was also no need to take Sui in, the police uncles would have to go out and mediate a domestic matter, thus, he succeeded in noticing Su Zichen once again, wrong species brother, it's time for you to show your worth, hey, miss police, I'm in waterfront garden, building B, 301, you guys come and save me, the police lady looked at the familiar number and just wanted to pick it up and curse, when she heard Shu Anan's urgent plea for help on the other end of the phone, can it not be urgent, Sui said that she would be back for lunch at noon, and now was the moment to race against time, not a second to waste, waterfront garden police miss no, you are properly rich area, worth but 10 million is impossible to buy a set of their own house there, be building because of the type and size of the house, the price is even more so that ordinary people look up to, such a person will be kidnapped, she was curious about Shuanan, in the end, what kind of charm and value, asking colleagues around, Tianchue Garden B building 301 is whose house, building B, 301, I don't know ah, go check it out, he was at his side to hear what had just happened clearly, as a professional quality police officer, he could not let go of any potential danger, she went on waited anxiously, simply fidgeting, whether Sui would return first, or the police uncles would arrive first, a knock sounded on the door, so fast, it's only been 10 minutes, I'll give you credit for the speed of the police, then he heard the sound of the fingerprint lock being opened, the police uncle has the password to our home fingerprints, bad, a creepy idea appeared in his head at first, Sui had already opened the door and stood in the doorway, white shirt, hip skirt, black silk, sucking, Xuanan didn't hold back and swallowed her saliva, CEO Su's professional attire was too pretty, if she had another pair of red soled high heels, oh sister kill me, she needed to drive and must have changed her shoes in the office when she came back, unhappy, as Princess Su's son-in-law, I can't believe I can't even see it, and I can't wait to fire all those thieving people in the company, the princess arrived first, the police uncle surprisingly lost the speed race, not, this matchup was a draw, Shuanan saw that the policemen following Sui were curiously sizing themselves up, Sui was also carrying a thermos box in her hand, and her eyes changed from the initial worry to disbelief, the police had met Sui downstairs, Sui was slightly stunned when she saw the police, what happened, even a police officer appeared downstairs in her house, and quickly thought that Shuanan was alone in the house, there would not be any accidents, he didn't have the code, he couldn't get out, there is an accident cannot really escape in time, so she flew up the stairs, the result is that the police and her destination is surprisingly the same, heart hangs in the throat in a moment, could it be too want to go out and slit her wrists to threaten herself, can't be, I've only been off the hook for a day and I'm going to be widowed, why would God be so cruel to me, then opened the door to see Shuanan sitting on the sofa in one piece, as the president, she realized almost instantly what had happened, I trouble you guys to run here, the little friend at home has been disobedient lately, Sui said to the few policemen who came, understood, understood, the police officer in charge smiled and nodded, the moment he saw Sui he knew that this case was probably out of his hands, did she need to kidnap someone, then he looked at the environment Shuanan was living in, maybe this really was a kidnapping, but they couldn't control it, the Qing official could not resolve family matters, this kind of internal family dispute, he could not control it a bit, said he was going to leave with the team members behind him, only all of them glanced at Xuanan sitting on the sofa before leaving, there was a rumor in the Beijing circle that the princess, who had not been close to men for 28 years, 
had kidnapped a mysterious man from the car on a rainy night. At first, they all thought it was a marketing tactic. More than that, it didn't stir up waves in the bustling capital circle. I didn't expect it to be true. Thinking about Su Yi's age, it was understandable that she needed a man to help her release her desires. One more glance at Xu Anan's face, a few people fled in a hurry, not daring to continue to linger. It is difficult to hide the jealousy. You do not just have a good skin, all for the first time to be a man. Why I do not have. This splash of riches in the sky was not able to hit themselves after all. Gas. Sui turned back to look at her younger brother who was sitting on the sofa and shivering. She was right. Her younger brother has not behaved recently, and even called the police to arrest her sister. Shuanan lowered his head with a look of aggrieved Baba. You don't accuse a good person. I just want to let the police uncle to mediate, but also their own precious freedom. Sui sat on the sofa, crossing her legs and throwing a sofa pillow on the floor. You want to leave so badly? It was a tone Shuanan had never heard before. Taking a look at Sui's expressionless face, so beautiful. This moment didn't seem like a good time to appreciate it, and then taking a look at the pillow on the floor, without any hesitation, he flung himself on his knees on it. It was so perfect the first time, he felt that he would soon familiarize himself with the process. Thinking about his sister's body, his sister's face, his sister's blinding banknotes, Sunan thought barring that, he probably didn't want to leave that much. No matter, how would I want to leave my sister? Kneeling position is not good at all. Too close to Sui, resulting in a lowered head that can only see a pair of jade legs wrapped in high silk. Family who understands ah, what a temptation for a bloodthirsty teenager. He could not raise his head. Who is a good man who admits his mistake holding his head high? A look of unyielding, if that is the case, there is no doubt that Sui will directly throw him out. I merely want. Wanted. Know that sister is coming back and wanted to order a takeout for sister so that sister can eat when she comes back. Shuanan made a strong effort to find a complimentary excuse, and this one was just fine. The corner of Su Yi's mouth hooked up slightly. She didn't tear Shuanan down. What kind of takeout can you order with those three dates in your pocket? Shuanan also unconvinced. He usually have a habit of collecting takeaway coupons everywhere. Within $10 to order a meal that will fill you up. Absolutely no problem. The first thing you need to do is to get your hands on some of the most popular products and services. There should be a slight difference in the flavor of the takeout that Su Yi ordered. Then what did you order for Sister La? Come on Junior, look at you swearing look, take out your cell phone and let me see your order. Shuanan pursed her lips and bowed her head without saying a word. There is a hammer order. The princess even misses this bit of chaff of mine. Sister, I was wrong, I won't run away again. Shuanan was aggrieved, wanting to hug Su Yi's leg and pamper her, but afraid that she would directly slap herself, her hand in the air with nowhere to rest. Not running anymore, isn't it just freedom? What is it in front of a rotten life? This bright era, the least of which is work. Even if he does not leave home, he is equally able to earn money. This is the confidence of being an outstanding graduate of a top university. Su Zichian was called by his own old sister a phone call when the whole person is angry. You really must make yourselves at dinner time. Eating is not active. Thinking has a problem. You do not pull me together ah. He began to regret introducing his old sister to her boyfriend, which rich second generation lives so suffocating. Before knocking on the door, he changed into a fawning smile. He is so suffocating, acting out things that can be solved. Why do you want to provoke the tigress inside? She went on thought deeply. Why don't you say it earlier? Say it earlier as for me to kneel in front of her. This is. What's wrong? Su Zichian looked at Xuanan kneeling on the ground was stunned. Suddenly had a bad feeling. Obviously not the same as he thought. This kind of time to call himself to come. The war will not spread to himself. What to think what to come. Sui looked at her own brother with her hands clasped over her chest. Okay, the guts are fat. Dare to help your brother-in-law escape. Su Zichian? Don't spit on me. I braved the rain to get someone back for you. How could I possibly help him escape? Shuanan looked up at him. In his eyes is a prayer. You cannot bear to see my brother I suffer. Right. Now is the most need brother you time. Hard work ah. Soft food and hard food is Shuanan's purpose. Under the premise of not leaving Sui, the precious freedom is still to find a way to obtain. A tiger's poison does not eat its children. You are her own brother. You should be able to speak well. Su Zichian scoffed. Good for nothing. Not as good as your love brother. It's just that he kidnapped Shuanan back. If he doesn't perform well, he will blow his pillow around his sister later. And his own hard time will come. Of course he knew why Shuanan did this. Sister, you don't need to put him. You don't want your luxury car anymore. Su Zichian instantly closed his mouth. It has been given to me. Where is the reason to want it back? Yesterday, he drove a sports car out to show off a bit. Today the car was taken away. 
that is not a slap in the face. How can I still pretend to be in that group of rich second generation? And how will they look at me? I can't. Brothers can die. Luxury cars cannot be lost. It's okay, sister. Do not listen to you just beat him. Children, beat a meal and they give a candy on obedience. Su Zichen did not look at Xuanan, the luxury car that was exchanged for the brother's freedom. The brother certainly does not want him to be taken back, right? Listen to you say this. What do you mean the child does not listen to beat up a good? Have you considered the thoughts of the millions of children in this world? Really feel the pain for your children in the future. The key time is to say sell all. Su Zichen told Xuanan the address details. If he wasn't involved, do you believe me? I'm going to break you down right now. Lamborghini, bring it on. Su Zichen looked at Xuanan's eyes. His heart suddenly developed a bad feeling. Too bad. This bad boy must not have a good heart. First to strike. Sis, you have to believe me. I really don't know that he wants to escape. It was my brother-in-law who asked me for the address. I thought my brother-in-law wanted to buy you a gift before I told him. Su Zichen took a stand in front of his own sister. Look I've even admitted that he's my brother-in-law. How could I possibly be in bed with him? You know me. Asking me to call someone younger than me my brother-in-law. I would have refused. Since I called. It naturally means that I recognized him. Strong green tea flavor. Why did not I know before you are such a person? In fact, Su Zichen recognition is not important. The important thing is that Su Yi recognized Xuanan. The important thing is that Su Dad Su Mom think it can be. There was no place for him to refuse. Su Yi turned back and glanced at Sunan. Xuanan lowered her head in shame. Wanting to laugh but not daring to. Worthy of being roommates. Worthy of being good brothers. Even the excuses were the same. Xuanan, bah, who is a good brother with him? I don't have such a timid and fearful brother. The atmosphere was slightly awkward. And Su Zichen didn't know that his wronged brother-in-law had just used such an excuse. It wasn't a coincidence that with my testimony, this excuse didn't seem so fake. What? You said there was no order. Do you know how difficult it is for a person with severe dyslexia to find something that he likes and suits him on a takeout platform or shopping platform that has many merchants? It is simply more painful than killing him. Sui didn't understand. Since he liked it, he bought it all. Chu Anan. The wife is overbearing. Su Zichen. Old sister bullying. Sister. Clean him up if you don't listen. I'll always be on your side. Hurrying out the door. He even poked his head in as he closed the door to add. If brother-in-law still wants to run away. You tell me. Old brother I'll help you get him back. Chu Anan suddenly changed color. It was said that one learns from one's mistakes. Would I plant myself in the same place twice? And probably wouldn't be drinking with Su Zichen for the rest of my life. Who knows what he would continue to sell himself for next time. Su Zichen said there is no problem. In the future you will drink with my old sister at home. At this moment, he is not at all want to get involved in the feelings of these two people. You said that you two are in love. Torture me to do what? 12 o'clock. The noon meal has not eaten. I'm not going to be able to do that. Swear that you will never pick up Xu Anan's phone in the future. In case there's a real emergency that I didn't receive. What if Sunan finds her sister and complains about it? Forget it. Su Zichen felt that Sunan's phone call probably can't be unanswered. Can only improvise? It's time to go find something to do. At least there can be an excuse not. Sighing in his heart. And Z is just too strong. You just serve a soft house so what? Eat soft rice what shame. How many people around the world want to eat old sister's soft rice? Can be lined up from the capital to Paris. You don't know what you're getting into. You can't have it all at the same time. Xuanan felt the same way. With only him and Sui left in the room, he tugged on the pillow under his knees and moved to Sui's side. Since she still rewarded herself with a pillow, it meant that she wasn't very angry with herself. Admit a mistake, and give in to softness. Wifey, no shame. You all are just saying sour grapes when you can't eat grapes. At times like this, you have to take the initiative. And since you're not angry, it shouldn't be as hard to hold down as a New Year's pig. So Xuanan stood up violently and hugged Sui, holding her in her arms. Sister. I was wrong. I'll never leave again. Sui gave him a sidelong glance. Men's mouths lie to ghosts. You've called the police to arrest me. How can you still make me believe you? In fact, a man's mouth isn't the only thing that can fool people. Gently packed on Sui's red lips. And when she froze, another pack on the red lips. The Rapunzel who was in the air instantly deflated. He even took the initiative to invite me. This is still the first time that he did not kiss himself on the bed. God. Could it be that the younger brother has really decided not to run away? See, people in hot love will PUA themselves. Xuanan intercepted Su Yi and picked her up. A bit gently, coming to the dining table, he gently placed his sister on his lap. And the two of them sat in an extremely ambiguous position like this. Now was the time to express himself. 
so he could seize the opportunity to admit his mistake. Let me see what delicious food my sister has bought. Unpacking the insulated box. It's as sumptuous as ever. And just by looking at the color, I know it can't be anything less than delicious. Alas, in the wife's feeding to grow fat. Bitter. Ah, open your mouth. Xuanan looked like he was coaxing a child, causing Sui to roll her eyes. You still want to turn the other cheek. Brother, Xuanan did want to be the anti-client. Soft food and hard eating was a lifelong but not necessarily necessary wish to be realized. Sui wrapped her arms around her brother's neck, since her brother was so proactive. Of course she could enjoy it, sitting on her brother's lap and accepting her brother's feeding with peace of mind. Eat more, look at how thin you are. Not thin. Sui pinched her small stomach. There was actually no flab at all. Women seemed to be very concerned about their weight. Obviously already so light that they could lift it with one hand, yet they still wanted to lose weight. No. Shuanan's words were decisive. Ruthlessly feeding a large mouthful, as if this mouthful could kinda make Sui grow fat. When I say you're skinny, you're skinny. Who would like skin and bones, to be needy and comfortable to hold? It is the kind of stocking strangled in the leg with a mass of traces. That kind of feeling. Microfat is the eternal god. Of course, microfat is not the only leg microfat. Above the best also microfat. Sui fits right in. So you like this? Sui bad smile. Finally know why four years of college he is still single. Brother really is not interested in those who have not yet grown up little girl. Or you have to go out on your own in order to take him down. If that's the case, you can't blame me. Brother, come into sister's arms. She pushed the spoon to her brother's mouth. And she can't eat alone. You take a bite and I take a bite. We are all good friends. Chuan on. Sister you are so childish. Sister has to earn money to support her family in the afternoon. But she has to eat enough. As for the dead geeks who stay at home by themselves, don't eat so much yet. Growing too fat will be disliked by sister. Want to rest for a while? Garbage on the table. Such an atmosphere wait a little while in the cleanup. But also finally coaxed sister. Let her temporarily forget the party alarm thing. Why say temporarily? Because once the quarrel, the minutiae of the distant past, the woman can think about it. Looking down at the stunning face of the woman in his arms, slowly approaching, really can not even see a poor. Never thought that the world really has such a beautiful woman. Money and face, good family and strength. God is really unfair. All the good things all fall on one person. Sunan only had a good-looking skin. It's not fair. A good-looking skin is always the same. But an interesting soul is the only one in a million. Even the best-looking face has to age one day. The color is easy to pass away. The red face is easy to old. The prosperity of the end. The heart cannot help but snicker. 22 years old. How to become sad and sat up. But Xuanan still wants to ask a question. A question that sounds a little pretentious. What do you really like about me? Lightly pinched Sui's nose. Sleeping, she could not help but frown. Who is disturbing my good dreams? Obviously just a little bit closer to ruthlessly bullying her younger brother. She, Xuanan's eyes curved up slightly. It turns out that her high and mighty sister also has such a cute side. Sister, get up. It's time to go to work. Managing a large company was tiring. After eating, Sui fell asleep with her brother in her arms. Not even letting her brother draw his hand out. Feeling his arm that was gradually regaining its sensation. Shuanan felt that frozen shoulder was not far away from him. It was time to go find a massage master to properly condition it. I just don't know if Sui will kill himself. I eat and drink well to provide for you. But you even have other cats outside behind my back. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Seen Sui. Shuanan where will still move to those rouge vulgar powder. They are at most the flavoring agent for the vulgarity after elegance. They definitely won't go for the heart. Sui wrapped her arms around Sunan's neck and buried her head between her brother's neck to continue sleeping. Brother disobedient, how dare you disturb sister's sleep? Don't you know that lack of sleep grows wrinkles? Highly cold. Ascetic, the eldest princess of the capital circle. The domineering female president. Shuanan really couldn't connect the Sui at this moment with these words. In his impression, self-discipline was a necessary quality for someone like Sui. What does self-discipline mean? The most basic point is not to stay in bed. Ejecting from the bed when the alarm goes off. Look at Sui now. Living like a pampered kitten. Tapping Sui's shoulder. Get up. You'll be late for work. In the morning. But said. You are responsible for making money to support the family. I am responsible for the appearance of flowers. You cannot swing. My future good life all depends on you alone. You can be supportive up. Well. Sui hugged her brother tighter. No. My sister is still not awake. This. Overbearing president in their own arms pampering. Which who can top ah, eat soft food, but not hard Shuanan really cannot accept this set, or let her continue to sleep for a while, 
The night tossed quite a long time. Sleep is certainly insufficient. After all, it is the president. An afternoon not to go should not be a problem. It's all about the president. What's wrong with missing a day of work? It's hard to see how anyone would dare to deduct money. Even if the deduction of money and how much can be deducted. With Sui's wealth at this time, to feed a Shuan on more than enough. It just so happens that Sui is not willing to let herself go out. And having someone to accompany her in the afternoon is also quite good. Gently patting Sui on the back. Sleep. Sleep. That is, can you let me pull out my own hand? Really have no sensation. And then continue to pillow really need to go to find a massage master. Sister you also do not want me to do this kind of thing. Right. Sui shook his head. Grunted and raised his head. No. I have to go earn money to support my brother. Sunan looked at her with a complicated expression. Her eyes were all still closed. Her mind was already preparing to go to work to earn money to support her brother. Where can I find such a sister? I, Sunan, what virtue can I find such a wife? I even wanted to call the police to arrest her in the morning. I fucking deserve to die ah. Sui pouted her red lips. Kiss your sister and she'll wake up. Follow her, follow her all the way. Sister is like this. How can you bear to reject her? Feeling the softness on her lips, Sui was looking at her eyes as she jumped down from the bed. A salty hand ravaging her brother's head. Brother is so good. Sister is going to work. Chu on on. Looking at Sui's back as she turns to leave. Sunan sits alone on the bed in a mess. Just now she was like a kitten that just woke up from a nap. Pampering herself in her own arms. And in the twinkling of an eye she is in high spirits and going to work in a flurry of wind and fire. Was this still the same Rapunzel who couldn't even open her eyes just now? So pampering herself in her arms just now was an act? Heavens. She went on trembled all over. It's also too horrible. Just ask how many men can tolerate this kind of face value beauty pampering. It's the Tang Sanzang passing by will also have to fold here. Nope. She just wanted to use this way to make Sunan fall in the gentle land. Wear out the blood. Wear out the ability to live. Wait for a certain day in the future when she got tired of it. Condescending. Hands on her chest. Coldly looking at the person who knelt in front of her and cried. These rich people like to play like this. You ask Xuan on how he knows. Of course, from novels. Novels are all written like this. After seven years of love, his wife found a little puppy with similar eyebrows to him and younger. These routines are really too familiar. The fragrant breeze surrounding her faded, and Xuanan's reasoning regained the upper hand. It was impossible to stop Su Yi from going to work, and if he really let this woman sleep for the afternoon, he would still be energized to drain himself at night. No way. In order to let her sleep well at night, she would have to drain her energy during the day. In this way, unable to pull her into the mire, Sunan could still choose to climb up and get closer to her. Good love was about progressing together. Saying do it, then doing it. Sunan quickly got out of bed, chased down the stairs, and stopped Sui, who was about to go out. At the front door, wait a moment. You see, this woman didn't even want to greet herself when she left the house. Obviously. She had enjoyed herself enough at Shuanan's place, and now that she didn't need herself, she wasn't even willing to give Shuanan a good look. The woman's heart is bitter, Sui heart bitter, where I am that kind of person, but also not afraid to see my brother do not want to go out to work. My brother will be at home to rest. I am also for the sake of my brother. Sunan, fart, you're just afraid that I'll run away. Sui smiled but did not say anything. Of course, also have such thoughts, looking at the younger brother who flew down from upstairs. Tone helpless, sister evening before 6 o'clock for sure come back. Come back to bring you good food. Kyoto, people from all over the country, all the world's delicacies are gathered here. Definitely wouldn't let her brother eat the same dishes. The corner of Shuanan's mouth twitched. Am I the kind of person whose head is full of food? Standing in front of Sui, looking at her pitifully. Sister, let me go to work at your company. Okay, just let me go out. As an outstanding graduate from a top university, entering her company wasn't a breeze. It was also that Xuanan wasn't prepared to develop in the capital. Otherwise she would have definitely submitted her resume to Su Yi's company. Look at me now. I'm going to cry or not. Xuanan realized that Su Yi always liked to treat him like a little kid who couldn't do anything. So he learned a trick from the internet. Look at my white lotus look at this moment. Aren't you at all moved? Su Yi. Su Yi pursed her lips and looked at him in silence. Her brows slightly furrowed. And at this moment there was an urge to punch him. No. Just such a love brother. Cannot be broken. The one who suffers is himself after all. Calming down her mood, she went on looked at her suspiciously. How fertilizer? How no reaction at all? Could it be that I did not act in place? Sure enough, I am a sunny, cheerful, positive big boy. Put on this dead outlook is really too fake. Even he himself is difficult. Well, I'm awesome. She went on blinked his eyes and looked at Sui. 
I advise you not to be ungrateful. Like me such an excellent college student, companies are rushing to get me. Give you a step and you hurry down. Sui caresses her brother's face. Her eyes are soft like water. Don't show this look in the future. Sister doesn't like it. Oh roar. Screwed up. Not all rich ladies like this kind of white lotus flower that pretends to be sick and weak. It seems like there's no problem. Liking a sickly person who could be widowed at any time. No money. No power to die with nothing left. In turn making the living feel sad. Oh. Nodding softly. She obediently agreed. Shuanan also didn't like her own look just now. Too disgusting. Big man clip sound. Shuanan almost threw her voice away. Fortunately. Sui does not like. Sui preferred strong men. And even though she liked to spoil her brother as a little kid. Her brother must not be a little kid. Standing on her tiptoes. She gave her brother a little nudge on his red lips. In addition to the sleepy kiss. She also wanted to claim a going out kiss. The younger brother took the initiative to send the door to the door. Sui of course is not polite. Be good at home and wait for your sister. Sister will be right back after work. Sui turned around and left the house. Only leaving Sunan with a bag full of charm. Shuanan scratched his head. Sister dressed so beautifully and went out. Unhappy. I'm the sister's husband. Why can the people in the company look? But I cannot look. When you arrive at the company sister has to change her high heels. Right. Oh Shuanan almost couldn't hold it just thinking about it. He couldn't see it. But those people in the company could. He felt like he was going to go on a rampage. Just wait. One day I'm going to make my sister fire all of you. Jealousy makes one's face change. Shuanan did not understand. No matter how to say that he is also a high school student. Won the first class scholarship four times. Like mathematical modeling competition awards is to get soft. If not there is a class than his more perverted minds. At the moment he has succeeded in graduate school. This kind of excellent me. Why don't you want? Sui. However. Disagreed. How did not want it. Not already kidnapped his brother home. And then ruthlessly bullied it. Who wants this ah? Not right. Who would only want this ah? Looking at the closed door. And cannot get out. Rubbing his chin to go upstairs. Cannot figure out why the sister does not allow himself to go to work with her. Does she not want to see herself every moment? Could it be that? She went on brain light. Could it be that his sister has other dogs in the company? I knew it. How could such a rich kid be devoted? The last thing they need is a lover. Men. Women are all the same. No difference. No. I can't accept it. It's hard to suppress this kind of crazy idea in my head. He is the canary that Sui keeps outside and can't see the light of day. And when he's tired of playing, he'll throw it away. Blame me for trusting the world too much. Su Zichian looks like a man and a dog. But he will kidnap his brother for a luxury car to be his sister's lover. Instead of Shuanan. He would have done the same thing. Lamborghini ah. How handsome. Ah. The more he thought about it, the more angry he became. Why was it not him who obtained the Lamborghini? Angrily opened a game of customization. Hundreds of kills just to vent the pain in his heart. Sui if you know the younger brother brain so much. Absolutely immediately killed back to give him a brain crash. How so able to make up for it? Sister went out to make money to buy you good food. You even so think of yourself. Too sad. Can't you hear the comments about your sister outside? She went on snorted. Out of the house. The persona is not their own. After a game. Shuanan sat paralyzed in the gaming chair with boredom. He was not a person who likes to play games. But at this moment, what else can he do besides playing games? For the first time, he felt the pain of living a carefree life without worrying about food or drink. I now take back the wish I once made. Can I? I know I'm wrong. I'll be down to earth and never daydream again. Standing by the window, looking at the rich neighborhood outside. The environment is really good. But he can only be like a caged bird. Looking at the outside of the freedom of the breath. The idea of escaping, which had been stifled at noon, resurfaced after the lunch break. The police certainly cannot. Sui did not cause substantial harm to himself. The police certainly will not stand on his side. So, I need to think of other ways. I don't want to pick the lock. Just like on TV. With a wire gently poked, the door opened. Shuanan went downstairs and looked at the door. Just a glance to dispel that ridiculous idea. Not that he does not have that skill. Shawshank Redemption once said that digging through a prison only requires a hammer in time. Similarly, picking a lock requires only wire in time. Wire he had. Time he had. But there was no eyelet on the combination lock door. There's no place to put the wire. Really, technological advances have not considered how thieves can survive. Thieves are also people ah. Thieves also need to eat. Shuanan returned to the sofa to lie down. Bored with brushing jitterbug. The jailbreak operation might not make progress for a long time. One should find something to do. Or, shivering? Shuanan straightened up. 
As an outstanding graduate of a top academic institution, how could he be defeated by this difficulty, who stipulated that making money must go out? He could shiver, write novels, or even game live streaming, even if the game is live. As far as his skills are concerned, probably no one will watch it. Jailbreak still do not know when to succeed. The money in his pocket is not much. So, can also have money to buy high-speed train tickets to escape after regaining freedom in the future. Said to do it. I don't know what to send for the time being, but I'll open a novel first. Have read so many novels. In the words of the ancients, that is well read poetry and books. Belly full of ink. As long as it is written out or published, the money is not clattering into their pockets. Suri has other dogs outside the thing also do not care. People should have their own things, so that they do not think nonsense. I don't care how many dogs she has. The big deal is that I'm not married to her. Anyway, I'm not losing out. Sui, who drove to work, didn't know that she had just been thrown out of her brother's heart just because she didn't let him go to work. Sui hummed a little song home. There is a wailing little child waiting for himself at home. The motivation to get off work are plenty of a lot. Today a rare did not work overtime. Not even to 5 o'clock on the bag to run away. In the company, who does not know that their boss, the eldest princess of the capital circle is a workaholic. This unprecedented early retirement. There must be a situation ah. Uh, ugh, ugh. Do you think the boss is in love? Hiding behind the computer. The female colleague's elbow gently touched the male colleague next to her. The male colleague raised his eyes to look and quickly lowered his head. How can it be? Who does not know that the princess of the Beijing circle is not close to men? I'm not even single yet. What makes the boss single first? Although she is rich and has a face, she can't give her blessing to fall in love if she doesn't see herself. I did hear that the boss kidnapped a man that night while it was raining heavily, so I don't think it's possible that she's hiding in the house. Even though the matter wasn't widely spread, as an employee of the company, of course she had to keep an eye on her boss. The female co-worker who found a hint of clues once again probed and peeked at the boss. Look at her heart to hide her excitement. The smile on her face is about to be suppressed. The domineering president's face appeared such an expression. There must be a situation. Besides, who stipulates that you must look for a man when you fall in love? A rich and powerful woman like the boss may like a woman. Boss, look at me. Unfortunately, Sui only left her with a back. Just with you also want to replace the younger brother in my heart position. Go and practice for another 20. 000 years. Fingerprints unlocked. Quietly open a crack. The brother should not wait at the door to take advantage of the opportunity to run out. The house is quiet and dark. Sui's heart is frustrated for no reason. She does not want her brother to take advantage of the opportunity to run out at the door, but also wants to see the drama of her brother dashing over to embrace her. People are so contradictory. But unfortunately, what she likes and what she does not like did not happen. Putting the thermos away. Where did the younger brother go? He didn't even come out to greet his sister. Sure enough, men are all big pig's hooves, and they change their hearts after only one afternoon. Sui slowly went upstairs. She wanted to see if her brother was doing something bad in his room. He already had a sister, but he was still keeping company with the fifth girl. It seems that he still hasn't reached his limit. Soonan, who was wearing headphones and writing a novel, didn't realize in the slightest that her two large waists were about to face unbearable damage. The words in his head burst out one after another. Writing a novel was nothing more than that. He has already seen the silver in the white flowers beckoning to himself. People sitting at home. Money from the sky day will soon come. Think about it is exciting. Until, Sui quietly lying on the doorframe, tiptoe in, gently patted on his brother's shoulders. Crouch, W, W. Elegant words burst out of Shuanan's mouth as the drama in his head was abruptly interrupted, and he removed his headphones, looking in shock at Sui standing behind him. He completely failed to notice when Sui came upstairs, and when he looked at the computer time, he was surprised that it was already 5.40, and he had been sitting in front of the computer motionless for more than three hours writing. Only 6,000 words, 2,000 words an hour. It seemed to be the normal speed. Sui sure first swept through the computer. Did not expect his brother belly and a few to ink, quietly a few novel name. When the time comes to fill the brother a little popularity. The company so many people, requiring each person to go after more. The money is not spent to come. Worthy of being a capitalist, this kind of operation can only be thought out by her. The key is that she can still do it. Are you angry? Sui silently turned off the novel writing page. You operate like this is not interesting at all. Completely questioning their own strength, I Shuanan is a top university outstanding graduates. The most disgraceful and these underhanded means of complicity. Don't you have a voice when you walk? People scare people to death. Sui is a little aggravated that his younger brother thinks so much of himself. It is clearly that he is too serious, and he has stood behind him for half a day without realizing it at all. 
but serious men are the most handsome. In combination with her brother's impactful and handsome face, Sui felt that her true son had really appeared. She went on stood up. Regardless of what Sui was thinking, the novel would not be written in front of her anyway. As a domineering president, how can you waste time on these insignificant things? You should go to the mall to reign supreme. So Shuanan pushed her to leave the study. Find a time to set a password for the computer. Since it belongs to their own computer, which naturally stores their own little secrets, cannot let Sui see. Otherwise, Shuanan felt that she would definitely keep laughing at herself. No, absolutely not. Alas, her younger brother had grown up and had his own privacy that belonged to him. There's a saying that in front of someone who loves you, all of your nonsense can become amorous. As long as he doesn't run, let him toss and turn. Slow down. Be careful of falling. Su Yi was at the back, watching Sunan leap down the last few stairs, truly a little kid, walking with a bounce. Xuanan ran to the holding tank without looking back. Wanting to injure yourself at this height is too much of a look down on me. But all he could think about right now was food. He had been starving for a long time, but he didn't have any snacks at home, and there were a lot of fruits, but they didn't fill his stomach. Sitting in front of the computer to write a novel all afternoon, and still hungry so fast. At once, I understand the meaning of the phrase half a big boy, eat the old man to death. It is the time to be young and strong, and the metabolism is fast. Sui suddenly had the motivation to make money. His brother was so able to eat, he had to be able to afford him. She went on stated, you may not need to treat me like a pig to feed me. How much can I eat? Can I still eat all your hundreds of millions of assets? Or we directly call the police to deceive consumers? Or fraud would be fine. Are you going to wipe out all the ducks in the world? Taking them out of the thermos one by one. Sunan looked at the six different ways to prepare duck and was confused in the wind. Two or three ducks to finish off in one meal. You're really raising me like a pig. He then took a piece of roasted duck meat and put it in his mouth. The exciting chili pepper flavor filled his mouth. His taste buds were extremely satisfied. My sister really understands me. She knows that I am craving for chili peppers. If only I had a bottle of fatty house happy water. It would be even better. Go wash your hands. Seeing Shuanan still wanting to eat another piece. Sui lightly patted his hand. What's the rush? Could it be that elder sister will steal it from you? Shuanan hemmed and hawed. As a senior foodie, he was happy to see food. For the time being, he forgave his sister for having other dogs outside and waited to finish the meal before settling the score with her. After washing and retrieving it, he saw Sui take out a bottle of wine. Fathouse happy water Sui of course is not always prepared, but wine is impossible to be less. Beautiful wine with duck. Shuanan's mouth was full of oil. Sui chose a bottle of white wine this time. There is a lot of wine in the house, and she is capricious. Between pushing and exchanging glasses, Shuanan was gradually getting drunk by her. Sui as the president. The amount of alcohol is not generally good. Does the president need to personally go out to talk about business? She went on didn't believe it. Family business heirs are not as hard as starting a business from scratch. What they have to do is more to accumulate their own strength. The remaining basically elders have already paved the way for them. It might just be because there was too much alcohol in the family. Nothing to drink a couple of sips. Practiced. I can't. I really can't eat anymore. She went on touched his rounded stomach. Under his sister's feeding, the amount of food he had eaten today had far exceeded the usual. At this rate, in less than a month, he would become a big fat man. Would sister still like him by then? No, there is no possibility at all. When he didn't have the only thing he had to rely on, a good skin, Sui would kick him away like a piece of trash and find another person with a few similarities to his eyebrows and eyes to continue his current life. Perhaps, it wasn't as good as imagined. Sunan might not even be able to leave a mark on Sui's heart, much less find a replacement for him. It turns out that she likes to see people in their own hands little by little fall alter. What a vicious woman. So, she went on launched revenge. In Sui crazy feeding himself, he is also crazy feeding Sui. To be fat everyone together fat, even if the fall of the altar, but also cannot let her too good. Some depressed why Sui home is not a large villa. Swimming pools, gyms and other facilities are complete large villas. Shuanan can still find time to work out and maintain their own advantages. Unfortunately, there was none here. He wasn't even allowed to go out yet. Looking at the table with some food left on it. She went on frowned slightly. Next time don't buy so much. It's not good to waste it. It wasn't easy to make money. Especially for someone with no background like Shuanan, who usually hated splitting one amount of money into two and spending it, just to save some savings for an uncertain future. Sui nodded gently, not sure if she had listened. It was true that she couldn't waste it, but she also couldn't let her brother go without enough. Next time there's leftovers. I'll let you eat them all by yourself, and you'll be fat as a little pig by then. 
Xu Wenan felt that she was really too witty. Once Sui had fattened up into a little pig, he would immediately draw back to find his next family. A dangerous glint flashed in Su Yi's eyes for a moment. You dislike your sister? The younger brother was a bit dishonest, daring to dislike his sister. Could it be that you don't like it when sister grows fat? Su Yi looked at Sun with some aggression. Xu Wenan straight away called out good guy. Please pay attention to your persona. The domineering female president and the eldest princess of the capital circle shouldn't be displaying this young face of yours. Forget it. Xu Wenan didn't want to correct anything. From the first day she met Su Yi, she had never seen that icy cold dominance of rejecting others on her. How could that be? No matter what my sister becomes, I like you. Sun An used a smile to hide her embarrassment, and even used the name elder sister in a rare manner. Is this kind of thing something that can be said in front of elder sister? Sneaking around and plotting would be fine. Even if Su Yi turned out to be a big fat man, she would be equally rich. Xu Anan had not thought about it at the moment. How could Su Yi, who had turned into a fat woman, let Xu Anan leave? He couldn't even run away now, and it was even more difficult to escape at that time. Brother, sister secretly told you something. Sui came to Sunan's ear. There is fitness equipment in my sister's office. If you want to see my sister become a big fat person, you won't have a chance. As a rich person, Sui valued her health. Her home wasn't big, and putting some fitness equipment in it seemed crowded. Isn't the office just another home? Putting it in there is just right. Well Blanche relentless. Xu Anan looked at Sui with a speechless face. Together you even want to prevent me from these. I'm the only one who turned into a big fat person. Not Kai Sen. Sister, tell me, will you really marry me? With the strength of wine, Xu Anan poured out the doubts in his heart. He wasn't going to be the kind of mouthless fool in a novel. As an outstanding graduate of a top university, Xu Anan had the ability to support himself. And if anything really changed, he had planned for it earlier. Sui was slightly stunned. Was today a good day for anything? And why would his brother mention getting married? Of course, Sui nodded. Having done what he should and shouldn't have done, the next step was to get married. Nonsense. Sunan pouted, half squinting at her. You must have another dog in the company. That's why you won't let me go to work. On what grounds? I'm such an excellent person, and you don't even want me. Sui blinked, a pair of eyes curving into a crescent shape. Her brother was jealous. Only if he cared about himself would he be jealous. Let's just say that it was impossible for her younger brother to resist her charm. These little kids fresh out of school were most likely to fall under their own kind of style. I.O. Oh. Sister hug. Sui pulled Sunan to sit on the sofa, her whole body hanging on him like a wombat. Brother is not sad. How could sister raise another man outside behind your back? Xuanan had seen Sui's face value, and hard to see amongst others. How could Sui not be? Finding someone who could replace her brother would probably take some hard work, and it was not worth it. Don't worry. My sister said she would be responsible for you and would definitely marry you. It was up to her brother when he would go home with her to meet his parents, and then they could discuss the marriage. Sunan looked at her, her eyes full of disbelief. That's right, there can be other dogs outside even after marriage. This marriage thing was quite fragile. If the other party was truly heartless, it really wouldn't be of any use at all. It won't. Sister promises you. Shuanan didn't believe that what was said when the love was on top no longer counted when the love was dispersed. He didn't continue to ask Sui why he wasn't allowed to go to the company. He believed that sooner or later, one day, the dog that was kept outside would appear in front of him. What he wanted to know more was, Sister, tell me, what do you like about me? He always felt that Sui was not such a shallow person. Sui was certainly not a shallow person, or else she would have long become the number one sea king of the capital circle over the years. She solemnly looked at her brother, very formally answered this question. In fact, there is nothing special. We'll choose you all because Su Zichen often in my ear reciting you, so I have interest in you. Interest is the beginning of the fall. Sui naturally investigated Xuanan. In addition to no money, are very good. Not blaming him for not having money. How much wealth can a 22-year-old man have? She didn't lack money. She didn't care. It just so happens that my sister needs a boyfriend to cope with her family. It just so happens that my sister has reached the age of marriage. It just so happens that my sister needs to vent her desires. It just so happens that. It just so happens that brother you fit the bill perfectly. A few consecutive just right. She went on appeared just right. It sounded casual, yet it felt like there were no faults in the explanation. The right person appeared at the right time, and all things fell into place. All right, I believe you. She went on received the answer, regardless of whether the answer was correct or not. Sui gave the answer and left the rest to time. Sister, can you fulfill a small wish of mine while you're at it? You say. Sui certainly wouldn't refuse Shuanan. Sunan gently pushed Sui away. In the hot summer, 
Even in the air-conditioned room, the two of them still felt hot when they hugged each other closely. That's why summer is not a good time to fall in love. Summer is all about cool temptation. For example, now, obviously Suyi's clothing, but deeply sun and approval. That kind of hidden haze, so sun and look is not, do not look is not. To say that he didn't like to look, it was against his conscience. To say that he likes to look at it is a bit embarrassing. Facing his own wife, he was still squirming. Sure enough, he was a man with a heart of color but no guts. The hot atmosphere and because of drinking some wine made Shuanan's mouth dry. Wobbly stood up to pour a glass of water. Sister, do you want to drink? The state of being slightly drunk at the moment made him very uncomfortable. His head was dizzy, and even the cup sitting on the table in front of him felt like it was shaking. Although strong wine was good, don't be greedy. Sunan finally understood this saying, even at home, drinking should be in moderation. Last time he was kidnapped, this time he was going to make something strange. It would not be good for anyone present. It's better for me to do it. You quickly sit down. Looking at his brother who was holding his head, Sui was really afraid that he would directly fall to the ground the next moment. If her brother's face was broken, she really wasn't sure if she would continue to accept him. After all, the eldest princess of the capital circle was also a proper face controller. If you can't get into the eyes, what's the point of talking about love? Sunan sat on the sofa. In that case, she herself would not fool around. It seems that everyone who drinks for the first time overestimates themselves and thinks that they have the gift of not falling over in a thousand cups. Xuanan is not the first time, yet he doesn't often drink white wine either. It's more like beer, so he was about to pour. Fortunately, Suyi's family is a good wine. If replaced by the street two or three dollars a caddy of sorghum wine, he has long been vomited unconscious at this moment. After pouring water, Sui as a mermaid general, legs folded side lying on the sofa to read the phone, occupying the entire sofa, only to Shuanan left a corner. A pair of long white legs were displayed in front of Shuanan's eyes without any concealment, and the saliva he drank into his mouth almost choked him to death. Is this really something I can watch without spending money? Shouldn't I pay the $9.9 .9 red book fee back to make this all legal and reasonable? Sunan put all the luggage in the dormitory was moved by Su Zichin. And when he came, he gritted his teeth and looked at him. Really owed you guys, why do you want to catch me when you are in love? So, Su Zichin booked a plane ticket overnight to go out and hide for a few days. More than that, he changed his signature. People are traveling. Do not disturb. When you see the time she went on picks his nose, there is no wave inside. You will not think that a luxury car is so simple to get. The account book is in the room or take the opportunity to take advantage of the strength of alcohol. Directly crazy a hand. No way. Civil Affairs Bureau is off duty. Wait until tomorrow to sober up. Sui does not let him go out. Annoying. Looking at the sofa, there is no place for myself. How can I squeeze into those small spaces with a big tall man of one meter eight? You say there is a separate sofa next to it? How can she went on go and sit there? He is going to stick it with his sister. Now that it wasn't hot, he could continue to paste. It's okay. There are always more solutions than difficulties. Xuanan leaned down and hugged Sui, burrowing into the crook of her arm. What are you looking at, sister? Xuanan, who was slightly intoxicated, couldn't get away from the word sister in two out of three sentences. Sui gently rubbed his head. His short hair felt a bit solid, but unexpectedly comfortable. The information sent by the assistant. Eyebrows arched as she looked at her brother. She didn't know why, but she liked hearing the word sister from Xuanan's mouth. It was a different feeling from when her own brother called out to her. Suddenly, she realized that Xuanan had become unusually clingy in her slightly drunken state. Couldn't we have a little more of that in the future? Ha! Huh? Sunan tilted her head and looked at her cell phone. The WeChat chat logs were densely packed with work messages from her special assistant. Do I still have to work now? 7 o'clock? In Xuanan's impression, it should be the time to open a game or lie down to read a novel. How could it still be working ah? Uh? After all, she did not understand the work of the domineering president. It was no wonder she was making money. Is proportional to the hard work? Suddenly understand why bosses always want their employees to work overtime. She went on brain slightly hesitant. Drinking to drink the brain bad. This kind of thing how can understand. In an instant, he did not want to go to work at Suyi's company. Not being able to accept a bit of overtime. This was too much of a difference from what he had once wished for. Could it be that his sister was preventing him from going to work because of this? The love brain went to his head along with the alcohol. It was quickly put behind him. No way. There must be other dogs out there. Then I won't bother you. Shuanan made a gesture to get up. He couldn't be a stumbling block on Sui's path to making money. Going back to his room to sleep. Sui suddenly tightened her arms. Wrapping her arms around Shuanan for a tight snuggle. Shuanan admitted that he wished for more perks like this. 
but not so much that he was almost suffocated. Stop it. Xuanan lifted his head. Work is important. Just stay here with sister. Sui dropped a kiss on his forehead. Who would like to work overtime? Even if Sui was the owner of the company, she couldn't accept working overtime. Nay, there were still so many people in the company who had to eat. And there were some things that were not carefully guarded. But that could lead to many families facing changes. Now that she had her brother with her, Sui suddenly had the motivation to work overtime. Since she had said that she would let her brother be responsible for her beauty, she of course had to work hard. Xuanan stood in Su Yi's company, facing a group of wage earners and shouted, You can have a good life now because of me. If not for me, the company cannot run. If it wasn't for me, the company wouldn't be able to run. Why don't you kneel down and worship me? Hoof, that look is old and heroic. Oh, so it is a dream. Feel the softness underneath. Xuanan unexpectedly fell asleep, although only half an hour but sleep exceptionally sweet. No wonder babies like to pester their moms. This part is indeed soft. Sorry baby, your mom is mine. Sunan said sorry to the future baby in her heart. Your old mom and dad are true love. You're just an accident. Ha, huh? are you done with work? Waking up, he saw Sui had already put down his cell phone, both arms wrapped around himself, just staring silently at his side face. The younger brother was sober. He wasn't calling out to his sister again. Sui was very unhappy. Reaching out, she pinched his cheeks. Stinky younger brother doesn't know how to feel sorry for his sister at all. You slept so soundly that you drooled all over your sister. And you even let her work alone. Sister is angry. You quickly coax sister. She went on subconsciously sucked in her saliva. Nonsense. Where was the drooling? His sleeping position wasn't that unpleasant. Coaxing a woman? For a person who hasn't even had much interaction with the opposite sex is a bitter thing to do. Eyes rolled a bit. Should I now give my sister a massage to ease her fatigue from a long day of work? Maybe she can even give herself a little tip. But, will not ah. Sui looked at her brother not to speak, and her heart was a little angry. This is to fall in love with a straight man. Everything needs to be taught little by little. But it does not matter. Brand new only good characterization. Want what kind can be tempered. Reaching out, she rubbed her brother's head. Brother actually doesn't feel sorry for sister. And even disliked sister at noon. Sister must punish you. Getting up, she pulled Shuanan upstairs. Start early, finish early. Tomorrow, you still have to get up early and go to work. The spring night is short, the day is high, and from now on, the king does not have an early morning. Although she wasn't that exaggerated, there was nothing wrong with wasting away for a bit during off duty hours, right? Sunan let her pull. Women really are a creature that holds grudges. Hasn't the noon matter already been turned over? Why do you still want to bring it up? Perhaps it was because he slept early last night. Today Shuanan did not sleep. The beauty in his arms only moved slightly and he opened his eyes. Why does sleeping time go by so fast? Already one close and one open and it's 8 in the morning. The same are all 8 hours. Why is it so hard to mix up the working hours? Rubbing his drowsy eyes to get up. Sleepy just sleep a little longer. Sui suddenly got up and hugged him from behind. Falling back onto the bed. Aren't you going to work? Sleeping a little longer wasn't out of the question. But the next time he opened his eyes was 11 in the morning which could no longer be considered tardy. It was completely absenteeism. Sister has to go to work and you don't have to. Brother, so what's the point of getting up so early? Sui got up and dressed. She said it in such a reasonable way. Sunan was stuck in this one 200 square meter house, not going to school or work. What was the point of getting up? Just sleep a little longer. Shuanan closed her eyes. Suddenly, she jerked them open again. No, as a top university senior, I can't be so degraded. Even though I don't go to work, I still have to get up and write a novel. Shuanan was even thinking about whether or not to enroll in next year's graduate school during these idle days of not worrying about food and clothing. Kicking her slippers, she went downstairs. Sister are you going to work without eating breakfast? Don't they all say that it's troublesome for women to go out? Why is it that it's only been less than 10 minutes and Sui is already packed and ready to go out? Doesn't she need to put on some makeup and hydrate or something? Looking at that stunningly beautiful face, Sunan suddenly felt that his thoughts were completely superfluous. On this flawless face, where else would she need to use industrial cosmetics to make up for it? Sister will go downstairs to buy you breakfast. Sui put on her shoes. As the domineering president, she didn't have the time to cook at home. Keeping a kitchen in the house however because of the house type, it was never used anyway. There wasn't even a pot. Ha! Huh? She went on froze for a moment. Then he thought of the uneaten breakfast that was placed on the table yesterday. It was the one that his sister had made a special trip to bring back for herself, but he had wasted it. I'm so damned ah. His heart was filled with guilt. If he didn't bring himself breakfast, Sui could have slept for 10 more minutes. 10 minutes, 
That's 600 seconds. Do you know how much Sunan wanted to have a few 10 minutes to continue sleeping every time the 8 a.m. alarm went off? Sin. Sin. Wait. Su Ri needed to buy herself breakfast. Wasn't it because she had imprisoned herself in her home? What was there to sympathize with? Blanche. For a moment she went on even wanted Su Yi to run 20 kilometers away to buy herself breakfast. Tell you to imprison me. I'll be unreasonable to you. Su Yi had already left the house. Sunan was still rubbing her eyes. Wait ah uh, hey. I haven't said what I'm going to eat yet. It's the bossy president all right. Not even leaving Sunan with the right to decide. Ten minutes later. Sunan who had just sat on the sofa after washing up waited for Su Yi. Come eat. Su Yi placed a bowl of fried noodles on the dining table and pulled back the stool to sit down. Why is she so energetic when she gets up at 8 o'clock? No longer laying back down for a nap is Shu Anan's greatest respect for the early days. Like her sister so alive and kicking may not be able to do it in this lifetime. Taking back the words she had said a few days ago, Su Yi was indeed self-disciplined. And as long as she was awake it was unlikely that she would go back to sleep. But she needed a nap. Shu Anan didn't. I really don't know what qualification someone who wakes up at 11 in the middle of the day has to take a nap. Why don't you just wake up again in the afternoon? Sui watched Sunan finish her noodles before she left. Yesterday, although she did not say anything on her lips, she was still very dissatisfied with her brother for not having breakfast. Brother your body is your sister's. How can you spoil it so badly? Even if I am late today, I have to watch Shuanan eat a bowl of noodles. Fortunately, it is the president. Otherwise, the money should not be enough to deduct. Sister, are you really not going to let me work at your company? Shuanan looked at the door that was about to close. Freedom would be cut off again by this door with no locking eyes. He really wanted to go out and get some fresh air. No way oh. Sui shook her head. Be good and wait for your sister at home. My sister will be back at noon. And what I promised you yesterday will be done at noon. Want to breathe fresh country air can open the window. There is a guardrail outside. Not afraid of the younger brother jumping. Carry the bag. Close the door and leave. What? Shuanan gritted his teeth and looked at the closed door. If you have the ability to come back. I will use this tendon meat to make myself free again. She must have another dog outside. A woman's mouth. Lying ghost. He wanted to send a message to let Su Zikin go and poke around. But unfortunately, this bastard even pulled his own black. And after the luxury car arrived, he no longer took care of his brother. And it is my greatest misfortune to have a brother like you. But it is not without happy things. Sui did not wear a short skirt today. She changed into a suit. A jacket with long pants. Really not a bit of welfare for the company employees that's the way it is. Get your positions straight. You're there to work, not to look at pretty girls. My wife can only look at myself. But Sui today this body is not cool. Walking on the road in less than 10 minutes will be dripping sweat. Go upstairs and write a novel. The silver is beckoning to himself. Sui parked her car and walked into the 7-story tall Su Group Block A building. Hello, Mr. Su. The receptionist lady greeted politely. This was the big boss of the company. Whether she could eat or not depended on her so she couldn't be offended. Sui nodded slightly, a response to the receptionist, but also to the others in the hall. Without pausing in her footsteps, she went up the elevator to her office. Mr. Su is surprisingly late today. There's really something going on. The receptionist's sister whispered to the colleague next to her. Something like the boss kidnapping a man on a rainy night eventually spread through the company. All were curious if it was true. Could it be that this iron tree had really blossomed? More curious in the end is what kind of man can let the abstinence of 28 years of domineering president to fall in love. Colleagues saw the elevator doors close before saying, maybe there was a traffic jam on the road? When have you ever seen Mr. Sue late? The young lady is not convinced. We Sue is a well-known workaholic. A few years down never a day late. Today is the first time ever. And don't you see, Mr. Sue didn't have breakfast in his hand. She had worked here for many years and had a general understanding of Mr. Sue's habits. Once Sue E predicted that she would be late. She would buy breakfast and go to the office to eat it. She didn't care about the co-worker next to her. There must be a situation. When can we meet this boss husband? It must be pretty cool to be looked upon by the flower of the high ridge. Sui. Shuanan also quite wanted to come and meet them. So that I, Kong Kang's wife, could see which one of them is the dog she keeps outside. Unfortunately, he is still hidden in the golden house to this day. The so-called one drum and then decline and exhaustion. This is only the second day. Shuanan already feel that the passion for writing novels is about to be worn out. The thought of a novel of several million words cannot help but beat the drum of retreat. Only 4,000 words a day. A novel of a million words is not to write. 250 days. This kind of math is of course not difficult to defeat Shuanan who is an outstanding graduate of a top university. 
There won't be anyone who still needs to use a calculator. Suddenly, he wanted to give up. The first quality possessed by successful people execution. Let's not worry about whether the idea is right or not. Let's just do it. So, she went on exited the code interface, went downstairs and lay on the sofa to brush the jitterbug. The execution is so strong. It is true that people cannot not go to work, even if it is a very idle and not much money shift. In short, cannot let themselves idle at home. You will eventually find that the plan before quitting, fitness, travel, learn a skill all were at that time to make their own peace of mind resignation excuse. Wait until a person really have nothing to do idle at home. Leave the bed has been more than 90% of the people. Xuanan felt she still needed to make an effort to go out. Not for the sake of freedom. Just didn't want to let the good cards that Tian who had opened with go to pieces. The sound of a combination lock opening rang out. Had an hour passed this way? Xuanan clearly felt like lying on the couch and brushing her jitterbugs for just 5 minutes. Not realizing that it was already 11.50 noon and Sui was already off work. Guilty. Guilt arose in his heart from swinging all morning and he got up and flew towards Sui who opened the door. At this moment, he could only provide Sui with some emotional value. Weren't all those favored concubines rewarded for making the emperor happy? Since he couldn't get out by violent means, Xuanan decided to settle for the next best thing, to fight for his own freedom with a pillow scent. Sister, you're back, dashing over, seeing the person who appeared soon and suddenly froze, hating to find a crack in the ground to drill in. Too social dead, a big man to make this kind of dead movement. The world is destroyed. Put everything in the kitchen. Sui said to the person behind her. What she promised her brother that night. Of course she had to put it in her heart. So Sui showed the first quality of a successful person execution. And bought back all the piles of pots and pans and other kitchenware. Although he didn't know why his younger brother liked cooking such a troublesome thing. But since it was what her brother wanted to do. She supported it unconditionally. Thinking that when she came home from work in the future. She would be able to open the door and smell the aroma coming out of the kitchen. Sui suddenly felt very happy. It was the kind of happiness that she had only felt when she came home from school as a child. Since going to college, she had never felt the fireworks at home. Suddenly, she was looking forward to it a little. How was her brother's cooking skills? Still don't hit him too hard. How much cooking skills can a resident college student have? The most he does is probably make instant noodles. Xuanan took the thermos box in Sui's hands. The pots and pans, firewood, rice, oil and salt had just been prepared and takeout was still needed for lunch today. Xuanan hid on the living room couch and didn't poke his head out until everything was categorized and only Su Yi and himself were left in the room. Gosh lol. At this moment, he could still clearly recall the eyes of those people who were looking at him at that time. Puzzled, shocked, and even disgusted. Not daring to imagine what the public opinion of him was like at this moment. Forget it. Find me a place where no one knows me. Open a small supermarket, and have a small yard to grow some small vegetables. Su Yi sat beside him. Looking at her brother's lowered head, her heart couldn't help but laugh. The younger brother who was strong all his life eventually flipped the car. And in the future, she will obediently be her sister's little puppy. Gently embraced him. Sui is also a little unhappy. Yesterday home brother did not greet himself. It was not easy to wait for his brother to run to himself, but was interrupted by a group of uninvited guests forced. Her dream was shattered. And the princess of the capital circle was furious. She took out her cell phone and gave them all a bad review. Porter, you're noble. You're marvelous. U.S.T. Let's eat. Sui rubbed her brother's head. She suddenly wanted her brother to die a little more socially, so that he wouldn't want to run outside every day. Right. No longer afraid of her brother being abducted by other bad women. This bad review will not be given. Xuanan lifted his head. Okay. As big as the sky is, eating is the biggest. Could he do what Sui wanted? Impossible. Attempting to use such unorthodox means to make yourself give up your freedom. Princess Capital Circle, you have underestimated me. As the saying goes, as long as I'm not embarrassed, embarrassed even if it's not me. If one lives in this world too glassy-eyed, one might as well find a block of tofu and just crash into it. You don't need to bring dinner back tonight. I'll show you a hand. Looking at the kitchen that was stuffed to the brim, Sunan only felt that this place was like a home at this moment. Fireworks were an amazing thing. Perhaps poverty limits Xuanan. He does not like those so-called exquisite life. Three meals a day all kinds of high-class hotel pastime. Ultimately less sense of belonging. Less enjoyment of food. Maybe it is the poor stomach. These days the mountains and seafood he ate is very unaccustomed to. It must be these home-cooked dishes to eat a full stomach. Sui nodded. Only a fool would refuse. If brother doesn't cook well, he'll be punished. Sui looked at her younger brother wistfully. He was the one who had just said it himself. The heavens are big. Eating is the biggest. Letting your sister go hungry. 
your conscience will surely ache, right? At the mention of the word punishment, Xu Wenan suddenly trembled a little. He felt that he should have guessed what the punishment Sui was talking about. He was no longer looking forward to it, and was even a little afraid that if he continued, not to mention freedom, his body and life would be left behind in this 200 square meter hut. The desire to escape was getting stronger and stronger. It was unlikely to work tonight. He had already decided to go to the guest bedroom and sleep well. Can't let this woman toss herself around anymore. Eat, eat. Xu Wenan ordered a table of food. Not really wanting to continue this topic. Why not continue a topic that kills two birds with one stone? If you can't eat the delicacies you can always eat your brother. In fact, if you could eat the delicacies, you could also eat your younger brother. Sui had an insatiable appetite. Insatiable woman. Sunan decided to match some food that couldn't be eaten together and quietly poison this insatiable woman. There were only two people in the house. How could one call it quiet? This kind of thing should wait until he and Sui to get a license to do it. So, her hundreds of millions of family property will be all she went on. Thinking of those red bills floating down from the air on his head, the corners of his mouth are as hard to suppress as AK. What are you thinking about? Sui pinched his brother's cheeks, giggling all through dinner. Definitely not something good. Xu Wenan gave a dry cough. How could he tell her? Looking at Su Yi's absolutely beautiful face, Xu Wenan felt that he was really not a thing. To think of doing something to such a good sister, it's okay to say you're a wolf-hearted. Xu Wenan did love money. There is no one in this world who doesn't love money, but it doesn't mean that the more money money the better. Spending money is also an affliction. Your Majesty, it is important not to desert the imperial government. Hearing the rattling of the door opening from the outside, Xu Wenan even thought that a thief had entered and poked out a head from the kitchen. Seeing that it was Su Yi who had returned, he jerked forward a few steps, incredulously looking at the valuable clock hanging on the wall. Ten minutes short of five o'clock. This is off work? He hadn't even started cooking yet. Bad. Said at noon to give Su Yi night to do delicious? The result of people back to their own has not yet begun to act. This is a serious crime of deceiving the king. To be killed. On second thought, it doesn't seem like Xu Anan is to blame. I'm going to get off work at 5 o'clock. How did Sui get home at 4.50? I thought that from now on, the king does not have a morning court is just an exaggerated expression. Never thought that today will see with their own eyes, but also happened to them. At this moment, he felt that he should have a new assessment of his own face value. The female president of the hall even left early. Is there any justice in heaven? Is there still the law of the land? Is the son of heaven committing the same crime as the common people just talking about it? Well, it's just words indeed. Who dares to deduct the president's money? Are you tired of living? Sui changed shoes by the side of the younger brother a glance. This is called what words? Do not you know that those who do everything personally emperor are short-lived ghosts? You do not want to insist her in old age. To enjoy the days of life? Sure enough, your brother's heart is not pure. He may run away any time. Not letting him go out is the right choice. Sister has given up all her rest time to finish her work in order to see her brother earlier. So don't come and hug your sister yet. Sui lunged at Sunan with open arms, hugging him and pushing him down onto the sofa. Xu Anan, he was already used to it. This legendary eldest princess of the capital circle and overbearing female president always looked like this every time she came home, spilling her guts and hugging him to make it difficult for him to fight. Completely oblivious to the fact that his good sister was once again aggravating in her mind the decision to lock him up at home. Otherwise, she wouldn't have indulged in the tenderness of the moment. Yeah, why don't I believe it? Rather helplessly patting Sui on the back. Having a wife with money and a face and a bit of a love brain. The needle's pretty good. Since he couldn't refuse, he would just lie flat and enjoy it. How can a younger brother not believe it? Sui tickled her brother's itchy flesh. This is a punishment for you. Punishing the younger brother for actually not being able to do the unconditional belief in his sister. Sister was sad. Wrong. Wrong. Shuanan was most afraid of itching. And didn't dare to resist with force. In case she hurt this golden missy, she would most likely be hung up and whipped hard. Going to work and not touching fish? Xuanan is a million do not believe. Even someone can from the beginning to the end of the passion to go to work. Perhaps this is the difference between the president and the wage earners. The difference between how much money you can get at the end of the month. Anyway, Xuanan couldn't do it. He had lost his passion from the time he got up in the morning. Wrong? What's wrong? Xuanan. Ah no. How come the eldest princess of the capital circle also knows the sentence ah, who can still tell the difference between the eldest princess of the capital circle and other women nowadays? Hoof. Sunan proudly raised her head. So what if she's the eldest princess of the capital circle? Today I, soon, will let her know who's in charge of this family. Su Zichen, then you should go out. She went on, don't mention it, convex. It's fine. Just don't do your job. 
Indulge in tenderness ruthlessly and waste your career. Anyway, I've got my hands and feet, and I'll run away on my own if things don't go right. Today is to tell Sui that I, Sunan, as an outstanding graduate of a top university, am not the only one who can rely on you to stay alive. Even if I'm alone, I can still make a name for myself here. Sui raised her head. A pair of eyes stared at Sunan with a dangerous aura. Stinky brother do you know that the person you are threatening at this moment is the eldest princess of the capital circle? A high-strung female president. The last person who dared to threaten her already had grave grass three meters high. Seeing that the person threatening her in front of her is her husband. For the time being, she will leave him a dog's life. But of course, she can't let him live too comfortably. Which leader does not know how to draw a cake? Which leader does not know how to pin down people's hearts? If you can't pinch you today, the name of the princess of the Beijing circle will not stink. And in the future, those women in the circle who are eyeing her will how to laugh at her. Even a man who just graduated from the university can't pinch him. Wash your hands off. All right, you leave now. Sister is waiting to see the day you make a name for yourself. Sui straightened up and clasped her hands to her chest with an I don't care look. Ah, really go ah. Shuanan looked at Sui with some disbelief. One second she was still pampering herself in her arms. The next second she was arrogant and unwilling to look at herself again. Women change their faces so quickly. I'm just saying, I really don't want to go. Who wouldn't be happy with money? If there is a shortcut, who would choose a road full of thorns and mud? Shuanan wasn't a fool. She wouldn't let her duck fly. But this woman is really going to give up on herself. If she gets tired of herself, she will definitely kick her far away. No way. Shuanan was even more determined to fight for her freedom. Never to be trapped in this tiny house. Sui's eyes slightly flicked to the brother beside her. Just out of college is really too young. Even camouflage will not be. A slight fraud will be exposed. Obviously. Shuanan's performance simply couldn't get past Sui's eyes. As such, she let go of her heart. However, the stinky brother even wanted to leave himself as she did not expect. Is the sister no money? Or sister is not beautiful? You even do not want to be responsible for sister. The heart to lock Sunan up became even stronger. So she decided to add a fire in. Sister will always keep an eye on you and see when you can buy a house of your own in the capital. Buy a house in the capital. Six short words that would require Sunan to spend her entire life struggling. At this moment, Shuanan was facing a decision that would affect her entire life. Perhaps the outcome of what would be chosen was already clear. I'll go cook. Sunan drooped her head and got up. It was said that the mouth of the one who eats is short. The hand of the one who takes is short. You ate the meal I made. You must fulfill a small wish of mine. When I think about it, fixing a woman might be easier than fixing a suite in the capital. Just let me work a little harder. I believe it won't take long for him to go out and enter Sui's company to start his own career. When the career and wife are all missing. Now, please let me first use a meal to hold this woman. Sui followed behind Sunan, looking at the kitchen suddenly stuffed to the brim and a busy man with an apron on. Suddenly having a momentary trance. How long had it been since she'd had a meal at home? It should have been a meal that Su Zichen had bought back after running all over the city the day she kidnapped Sunan back. In the past, she had always settled at the company or gone straight to eat inside a hotel. Like now, cooking a meal at home by herself was something she had never experienced before. When she was young, there was a nanny at home and a cafeteria at the university, resulting in her not being able to cook at all now. And she never thought that one day she would see a person at home busy in the kitchen. Sunan looked around, showing the same expression that Tomcat had when he was preparing potions, and dripped a drop of vinegar into the pot. Little Anan, are you trying to poison your sister? Sui leaned against the doorframe and watched Sunan's movements with her hands clasped over her chest. Although she hadn't watched a few episodes of Cat and Mouse in total, and didn't remember Tom's classic expression very well, it didn't stop her from seeing Shuanan's ill intentions in that expression. Why yes, you're overthinking it. Shuanan's figure stalled. The bottle of vinegar in her hand slowly lowered. What is more socially deadly than doing something bad and being made to live on the spot? Really? Really? Shuanan nodded frantically. More real than pearls. This woman has never seen a person cook. Why is she still standing behind her and looking at herself? The fumes are heavy. Is it not possible for a young lady like you to set foot in it? Sunan dared to be angry and could only cook in a disciplined manner. I hope that my cooking skills have not dropped too much. Otherwise it would be a slap in the face. In front of a few passable homemade dishes, Sunan tasted a bite and nodded with satisfaction. Fortunately his cooking skills had not declined, or else as a senior foodie he might have to cry himself to death in depression. Good ah, you actually stole food behind your sister's back. Sui came from behind. She watched as her brother took a bite of each dish. Although she had heard that chefs were already full while cooking in the kitchen, but this was at home hey, she was still standing behind her brother. Shouldn't she be feeding herself? 
Her brother was misbehaving and needed to be taught a lesson. She reached out and tried to pull up a piece of meat. Being soon and gently patted it. Go wash your hands. What kind of person is this? Don't you know that you should wash your hands before meals? Returning to the pot of meat was Sun An's specialty. In order to show off in front of her sister, he even used his watchful eye. You're mean to me. Sui looked at her brother accusingly. He even hit himself. And sure enough, there was no love left. Looking at that pair of wet but regal eyes, Sun An fell, lightly holding his forehead. Who can tell me what exactly is the character of this woman in front of me? He should not have recognized the wrong person. Right. It was the legendary eldest princess of the capital circle. Why would he see such an expression from her face? I didn't. Sunan suddenly felt that he was so tenuous. How could he bully this kind of absolute beauty? Nope. P.U.A.ed by this woman again. Holding Su Yi's hand. He couldn't let her steal food while he wasn't paying attention. These dishes still had a big role to play. Good boy. Quickly go wash your hands. Looking at her with some disdain. You didn't even wash your hands when you came home. You don't love cleanliness at all. Sui only went upstairs to the bedroom when she entered from work and changed into a set of home clothes. Sunan didn't follow her up to see. Who knows if she washed her hands. Sister doesn't love cleanliness at all. If you can tolerate it, you can't tolerate it. You can't bear to be mean to your sister. You can bear to beat her. How can you dislike her? Sui, who wanted to wash her hands, turned to look at her brother and pinched his face with both hands. Look at where my sister's hands are dirty. Shuanan tilted his head to avoid it. The height difference between him and Sui wasn't that big, so maybe he could reach a place Sui couldn't reach by lifting his hands. But where could he hide his head? He was also afraid that his movements would be too great and knock over the dishes he had worked so hard to make. Wasting food was something a foodie couldn't stand. Moreover, these dishes had a great use, so he grabbed Sui's hand. White, soft, delicate, for no reason to think of a word, hands like catkins, skin like condensed fat. You can't really see where it's dirty. No bacteria how can it be seen by the naked eye, almost brought by this woman to the ditch. How not dirty, you see here, and here. She went on casually pointed to two places, both have bacteria. Sui looked at her brother like he was a fool. Sister doesn't ask you why you can see bacteria, she just wants to know which part of the human body doesn't have bacteria. Don't say these two places, even if you point to two more places, they all have bacteria. Shu Anan's brain went down for a moment, at first he only thought that you and I can't see it anyway and you can't refute me, as if he had overlooked the fact that bacteria were everywhere, it doesn't matter, just tell me if there are any where I'm pointing, all the more reason to go wash your hands, thanks for arguing my case for me, what a good sister, although I'm not sure how many germs can be washed away by washing my hands, I washed them anyway, so my heart is at peace, okay, let's go, Sui pulled her brother along, washing hands before meals was something that her brother had said himself, Shuanan's first experience of washing all four hands together, how to describe it? It might be that he washed his own hands too much and wanted to experience something fresh. Sui raised his hand. New awe. It's clean. Shouldn't brother give some reward? Air. Shuanan looked at her hand and then looked at her eyes. Are you a kindergarten child? Washing your hands still needs praise from the teacher. You should know that when I was in elementary school I already disdained these false names. You are still six years older than me hey. How about a little praise? He was just about to open his mouth when his own hand was grabbed by Sui. A kiss landing on the back of his hand. Sui lifted her head and looked at her brother with some hatred. Can't even do this? This wasn't a car to kindergarten. Which kindergartners would want such a reward? Anyway, Shuanan hadn't seen it when he was in kindergarten. No, he didn't go to kindergarten. What kind of family? And still go to kindergarten? He gently took Sui's hand. They had kissed. When they were in the throes of passion. When they were going out to part ways. But they had never experienced a back of the hand kiss. In Shuanan's impression, it seemed that such a scene would only occur during a marriage proposal. So, should one propose to his sister? Wasn't it a bit too hasty? They had known each other for less than a week. But what should be done and what shouldn't have been done had already been done. Thinking about what? Sui looked at her brother staring at her hands. She knew her hands were beautiful. But she couldn't look so mesmerized. Never mind. Isn't this exactly the manifestation of her brother's obsession with herself? It's nothing. Shuanan came back to her senses. What had she been thinking? A marriage proposal? With the gap between him and Sui, was he worthy? What a toad wanting to eat swan meat. Maybe it was just for fun when he was lonely, but when it came time to talk about marriage, he chose a son of the right family. It is not Shuanan's place to think too extravagantly. The idea of walking out the door was getting stronger and stronger. Perhaps when he was firmly established in Sui's company and could help her in her career, he would be able to talk about the topic of marriage in front of her. All that was needed was a platform. 
Xuanan believed that with her own abilities, she would be able to make it that far. Time was the biggest problem. How many more years would the 28-year-old Sui wait for herself? How many years could Sui's family wait for him? Gently kissing the back of her sister's hand. Let's go eat. Half-breed. Eat poor old man. Don't look at Xuanan stayed at home all afternoon. To mealtime really can't not eat. If we delayed for a while, the food would get cold. Xuanan gathered the dishes that were already on the table to her side, dodging the chopsticks that Sui had already extended to her. Sui looked at Sunan in surprise, obviously not expecting Sunan to act this way, her head full of question marks. What do you mean? Not giving it to your sister to eat? Putting down her chopsticks, she snapped her fingers regularly on the table. It's true that you can't be too nice to a man. It's easy to turn your nose up at him. Having been in the house for almost a week, it was also time to let his younger brother know his own tactics, so that he would understand who was really in charge in this house. Xu Wanan, who was nursing the food, looked at the pair of eyes that seemed to be carrying a smile, but also seemed to be lurking with killing intent if anything. This woman wouldn't want to whip herself with a small leather whip. It was hard to say. She could even do something like kidnapping. As expected, what lurked under her gentle exterior was an unknown evil fetish. In that case, it's not surprising that she's so pretty but still doesn't have a boyfriend at the age of 28. Su Zichen, you are really my good brother. Your old sister is such a person still dare to introduce the little master me to your sister. Wait, wait for the little master to go out. Absolutely cannot spare you. At the moment, Xuanan needs to make a final struggle. A friend who traveled through time once said, I would rather make a mistake than do nothing. After peeking into the unknown character that lurked deep within Su Yi's heart, Sunan became even more determined to regain his freedom, and he braced himself to stare at Sui, absolutely unable to wimp out at a time like this. He could not back down, knowing full well that negotiating terms while Sui was still fresh to himself was the easiest thing to achieve. He had to hold on to this time that could pass away at any moment, cleared his throat. Want to eat? Xuanan clipped a piece of retort meat in her mouth, even showing a look of fondness. It's not impossible. It's just that bar. You need to promise me one thing first. Xuanan was a typical meat eater. Without meat in a meal he felt as if he wasn't full. If you look at my mesmerized expression, you should know how delicious it is. There isn't much. You need to hurry. Sui raised his eyebrows. He didn't let himself taste the flavor when he was in the kitchen. So he was waiting for himself here. Tell me, what are your requirements? Sui crossed her legs, seemingly remembering something else. Her brows gradually became softer. This wasn't at the negotiating table. Not talking business with a competitor. And even though her brother threatened her with the dinner he made, she still didn't want to scare him. What a wonderful wife. Surprisingly, her brother disliked it in a million ways. Oi, bitter. Xuanan pursed her lips in silence for a moment and said, You promise me first. Ever since he had just seen the emotion hidden in the depths of his eyes, Xuanan really wasn't sure if Sui would promise herself for a bite of food. He had known Sui for a very short period of time. The Sui in the mouths of outsiders had only been mentioned by his three roommates at the barbecue stand that night. He was too far removed from Su Yi's world. Only her face value was the closest. Rapunzel's hegemony he has not experienced. The female president of the overriding force has never seen. There is a slight perversion of the desire to control is a deep experience. Even out of the house are not allowed. Ask which person under the sky can stand it. Well, it's hard to say. If not for the fear of being tired of playing with Sui kicked away. Xuanan really feel that such a day is quite good. Not worry about food and drink. Every day to read books. Brush Jie and play games. Who is very very envious. I do not say. I don't want to talk about it. Xuanan roared in his heart. Damn rotten ideas to destroy my heart. These are I as a top university outstanding graduates should think of things. We should add bricks and mortar for the construction of the motherland. The intention is suddenly elevated. Xuanan is even more determined to go out to work. I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for the sake of the people of this world. Sister don't worry. Won't sell you out. Looking very sincerely at Sui. This is the first time I've begged you so earnestly. You can't bear to refuse. The corner of Sui's mouth hooked up a smile. You didn't say anything before you wanted your sister to agree. Do you think your sister is stupid? Slowly raising the wine glass on the table. It looks like it's going to be a protracted battle. First drink some water to energize. Ah, uh, this. Xuanan is not a person who is good at debating. He is indeed a bit dumbfounded. It seems like it's a bit excessive, but I already said I won't sell you out. All right. I haven't gone out for three days. I haven't seen the outside world for three days. And the child has been locked up silly. The aggrieved little expression is heartbreaking. A free person has been destroyed by you into such a state. Doesn't your conscience hurt? Sui lowered his head. Silence without a word. It seems like this. 
The younger brother hasn't left the house since he was kidnapped back by himself, but he was kidnapped back by himself, so how can he be allowed to go out? There's nothing wrong with the logic, so there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing either, don't you think? It's your big head. Xuanan looked at Sui who was silent with her head bowed down. She couldn't wait to jump up and violently snap at her head. You say you love me, but you won't even let me go out. Is this the love you are talking about? Is it not? Sui every day to bring him star hotel food. Give him snacks. Electronic equipment. Is afraid of his brother alone in the house board. Sui is also very helpless ah. Uh. The younger brother said that there are hands and feet will run on their own. She cannot leave the company regardless. But without herself watching from the side. Her brother was more likely to run. After all. She had gotten her brother by improper means. Which kidnapped person would go out and come back willingly. That's not even possible? Sunan nodded with a disappointed look. Woman. I get it. You just crave my body. When the day comes that you eat me up and get tired of playing with me. You will ruthlessly abandon it. Why is my life so bitter? Turning grief and anger into appetite. He ruthlessly ate a large mouthful of hot and sour shredded potatoes. He hadn't eaten potatoes for a few days. It was strange to miss it. The Star Hotel is also really. The menu even does not have potatoes. It's a pity that someone is going to be hungry today. Sunan nodded indifferently. Since she didn't agree. This table's beautiful meal would be her own. This attempt was probably a failure. Shuanan needed to think long and hard to come up with a perfect plan that Sui couldn't refuse. Sui raised her head. Her brother really didn't give himself a bite. Sure enough, there was no sister in his heart. What a little white-eyed wolf. He shouldn't be fed well. But it didn't matter. As the eldest princess of the capital circle, she was the least afraid of being threatened by others. With those business rivals, her brother's behavior could only be described as cute. She raised her chopsticks to press down on Sunan's chopsticks that were pinching vegetables. Are you sure you don't want to give it to your sister? Sunan looked at her. Her eyes had a moment of surprise. And a moment of weakness. Of course, can you still rob it? He was out of breath when he said this. If Sui really made a move to grab it, could he or she make a move with her? Freedom was still in this woman's hands. Of course not. The corner of Sui's mouth hooked up a smile. With my sister's status, how could I rob with you? What do you mean? Could it be that you don't have another method? Shuanan put down her chopsticks. Suddenly curious as to what else she could do. Let's see first. He was still a bit reluctant. Some things would get tiresome if he mentioned them too much. And he still hoped very much that he could talk to Su Yi in a few days and let him go to work at the company. The two people's dinner was not much. Save some food. There is still a use for it. Watching. Sui took out her cell phone and tapped it a few times. Let me Kong Kong. Shuanan put over. Knowing his sister's tactics or preparing in advance. Sui covered her cell phone. She felt that she should be a fool in her brother's eyes. No. She should say that her brother was a fool to naively think that a competitor would show him his own strategy. How could such a brother feel comfortable letting him go out alone? It's better to stay at home. Don't worry. Soon my brother will know. Propping up his chin with one hand. He stared at Shuanan. Sunan suddenly felt a little weak. His eyes fluttered a little. Growing up so big it was the first time he was stared at by a woman so close. And it was such a beautiful woman. Reaching out and touching his face. Is there something dirty on my face? Why are you staring at me like this? Looking at Shuanan was shy. Sui, however, didn't have the slightest bit of timidity. What do you think is doing? Of course she was admiring her brother's face. This face was perfectly suited to her aesthetics. And the more she looked at it, the more she liked it. As if it was a reward from the heavens for having abstained from sex for 28 years. And she wanted to hug and nibble on it fiercely. Sunan shivered. Rogue. Wait. Shuanan suddenly thought of something. This woman couldn't be ordering takeout. Being a top high achiever he instantly understood. As if this was the simplest solution. If you don't give me food. I'll buy it myself. The eldest princess of the capital circle wasn't short of money. Bad. Sunan looked down at the few plates of dishes he had fried on the table. Why don't you hurry up and eat them while you can? In a moment it should turn into Sui showing off in front of himself. The entire person's aura wilted. Lost. In this war of attack and defense for freedom. He had lost completely. Brother. Your reaction is a bit slow. Sui pulled her chair closer and rubbed Sunan's head. It had been more than 10 minutes. How could the high achiever only just see it? Shuanan pouted and gently shook his head. Successful king loses. For this time Suyi's face-to-face -face mockery he endured. Not because this woman has been staring at himself, disturbing his own mind. He is not defeated under Suyi's flexible brain circuits. He was defeated in the beauty plan. A beauty plan? A vicious scheme that Shuanan couldn't resist. He just didn't know if Suyi could resist it. The next plan has been generated. Hard cannot come to soft. You say love me. I do not believe that you can resist. 
instantly stopped agonizing over today's failure. In a moment, the takeout ordered by his sister arrived. He can also shamelessly rub two bites of it, just as an early test of the beauty of the mail plan. The doorbell rang. Xuanan lifted his head, his eyes flashing with a fleeting glint of precision. How long had it been before the takeout was delivered? Sui was actually swindling herself. Surely a scheming woman, fortunately did not finish the dishes on the table. The use of this does not come. Looking at Sui's back as she went to watch the door, just let me see what you should do when everything is dismantled. However, opening the door was really a delivery boy. Xuanan suddenly had a moment of confusion. Now the delivery boy so dedicated. 10 minutes to deliver the meal. A moment to give you a 5 star praise. The delivery boy at the door obviously froze as well. He sent so many takeout. Never seen such a face value of the woman. Think about the location of the woman order takeout. Proper 5 star hotel. Not ordinary people can afford to eat. He thought he saw love. Then the man sitting at the table made him feel deeply frustrated. And the flame of love had just been ignited when it was doused viciously. Jesus Christ, did that man call you? Why should he be called that guy when he was so handsome? That's all. What's there to envy about a white boy? When the beneficiaries are not themselves, people will always think in the most vicious direction. Have hands and feet to eat soft rice? Look down on you. He looked at the chopsticks in Xuanan's hands, and then saw the rice on the table that had already been moved, and a bowl of rice that hadn't been eaten in the absence of anyone else's position. And he instantly understood what was going on. He had seen the menu when he picked up the food, and other than the shredded potatoes, everything else was the same. It should have been obvious what was going on. The opportunity to pry a corner didn't come this way. This young lady, this kind of man who doesn't know how to feel sorry for his girlfriend should not be. Do you want to? Scram. Sui coldly spat out a word and heavily slammed the door shut. The old lady's man old lady herself will be tempered. Which has you talking. Suddenly even the meal delivered did not want to eat. She went on raised an eyebrow. Not bad. She still cared about herself. The beautiful man trick definitely worked. Sui sat down placed the takeout on the table, and pulled out her cell phone. Not eating? What are you doing? Xuanan was very confused about what people who got takeout and didn't eat at first thought. Just now he was screaming that he was about to starve to death, and now he was going to do something else. He was also asked to hold fast to his heart, or else he would really be caught in a treacherous trick. Is the old lady's man not something he can say? He must be given a bad review. Xuanan. Very good. In addition to being controlling, Seeing another character trait of a capital circle princess, protecting the calf. Forget it, forget it. Sunan snatched the cell phone. No need to get angry because of this kind of person. Let's eat. Even though she graduated, Xuanan was still a typical college student thinking that more is not as good as less. One second she was screaming to give the takeout clerk a bad review because of the timeout. The next second when she got her meal she would still say thank you to the takeout clerk. Why make things difficult for a laborer when they are both laborers? Most importantly, he wanted to see where Sui ordered the takeaway from. It wouldn't be right at the door. It was delivered in 10 minutes. So Xuanan saw that the delivery fee was more than $10. At this moment he really wanted to give himself a slap. You say how you so owe it, cannot control their own hands have to take a look. This time the heart is not balanced it. He orders takeout on weekdays. But he doesn't want to buy anything with a delivery fee of zero. One yuan. As a result, our Rapunzel even added 10 more dollars to the delivery fee in order to expedite delivery or we should give him a bad review, more than $10 delivery fee, 10 minutes to deliver, a dollar a minute, you dare to say you did not overtime, forget it, let's see what Sui ordered that had such an expensive delivery fee, so Xuanan was silent again, back to the pot of pork, purple cabbage and egg flour soup, it was exactly the same as what he had fried, except, there is no hot and sour shredded potato, how did I potatoes offend you 5 star hotels, why don't you fry shredded potatoes, the gas shivered cold, Xuanan decided to give the 5 star hotel a bad review. The takeaway has been opened by Sui. She snatched her cell phone from her brother's hands and threw it on the table. Soon An's eyelids jumped. Really is a rich and generous female president. The phone is so randomly thrown. Not afraid of breaking. Bad reviews and whatnot will be said in a while. She has actually long been hungry chest to back. The result is that her brother even did not give himself to eat. Hard work to go out and make money to feed her brother. In the end, not even a mouthful of rice. Who would have thought that the life of the eldest princess of the capital circle would be so bitter? This can endure? Can't tolerate a little. If word of this got out, Sunan could be drowned by Su Yi's admirers with a mouthful of spittle. I can't. For the sake of my brother's safety, we can't let outsiders know. And we'll settle things at home. The world kisses me with pain. But I return it with a song. People who treat love like this are already rare in this world. 
and it is no surprise that you can only meet one sister in this life, so you should cherish your younger brother. But then, now is the time to clean up the younger brother. Today is bound to let him know what the consequences of threatening the eldest princess of the capital circle, or else in the future. This family may still be chaotic into what kind of situation. Xuanan watched the insulation box open, and it seemed that a golden light burst out, and a familiar music rang in his ears. Is it coming? Five-star hotel chef out of the food. Quickly let me Kong Kong, just Kong a glance. Although it is not the first time that Xuanan has tasted the handiwork of a five-star hotel chef, this time it is different. The exact same dish. I want to see where the gap is. Dang dang dang. Sunan glanced at the takeaway lunchbox, and then looked at the bowl of dishes she had made that were already about to go cold. Hmm, how can I say it? Obviously all the same ingredients. But on the contrary, it gives people a different feeling. Sui's delicacies bought back from a five-star hotel seem to have a light. Surprisingly, there is such a big gap? No, take a look. As a result, he saw Sui learn his previous actions and swept the takeout toward herself. Hmm, Xuanan touched his nose in some embarrassment. Does your revenge come so simple and straightforward? Don't even change your movements a bit? Taking a man's way and treating him in return is the real killing and killing. Sui gave a bad smile. This is the takeout that my sister ordered. You wouldn't want to grab it with my sister. This smile has a lot of bloating. Who was the one who was protecting the food just now? Now attacking and defending is easy. Let sisters see how you can resist. Sui picked up her chopsticks and followed Sunan's earlier example. Picking up a piece of hui pan pork and placing it in her mouth. Chewing it with great enjoyment. Worthy of being a five-star chef. It's really tasty. Kill and kill. Xuanan want to cry without tears. This woman is absolutely intentional. Eat on eat. She also want to comment on a sentence. Looking at the fat and thin good meat. Sniffing the tip of the nose lingering fragrance. He was someone who had eaten five-star hotel delicacies. How could he not know how delicious it was? Without holding back, he swallowed his saliva. Don't look at the fact that he had only been kidnapped for a few days. That is, so two or three days. The taste had already been fed by Sui to make things difficult. Every day is a five-star hotel chef's best dishes. Now, where he still look at those roadside stalls and vendors randomly find. Well, can't say that. The street side is the best flavor in a city. Forget it, do not deceive yourself and others. Our son cannot afford to eat five-star hotel passed out to comfort their own words of art? He cut the field comparison. The gap is really big. Five-star hotel chef can get so much salary is not unreasonable. The more important question is, if he left Sui, he can still afford to eat five-star hotels? It was impossible in a short period of time. For Xu Wenan, who had made eating his only hobby, it was undoubtedly a painful thing. And what he couldn't get was always in commotion and he would probably look back on the five-star hotel chef's handiwork for a long time. The purpose of making money was one more thing. It is impossible to swing for the fences. This wave is called stealing a chicken without getting it. Not only did he not get his freedom, but the food would probably also leave him. A bloody loss. If not, let's just bow our heads and admit our mistakes. There is no outsider to see. No shame. Besides, after the police that day, even kneeling, family status is probably already set. After the marriage Sui will be his life cannot turn over the mountain of five fingers. After the wedding, Sui will be the one who can't get out of the mountain for the rest of his life. Anyway, it's already like that. The tip of Xuanan's nose twitched slightly. The scent was like a big invisible hand, provoking his sense of taste. For the first time, he felt that there were advantages to being expensive. A delivery fee of more than $10 allows these ingredients to be delivered to the customer's hand when they are not to taste good so that they can be eaten directly without getting cold and losing the best flavor. On the contrary, he made it himself, and it was already cold and he didn't want to eat it. Ah, uh, inwardly scratching his head, why didn't he eat it quickly just now? The delivery time of 10 minutes was enough for him to solve this dinner. Of course, it was also enough for Sui to solve him. Sui looked at her brother's appearance of wanting to eat and refusing to let go of his face, but could not help but be a little amused. Brother, you do not want to die in front of your sister to hold on to your face. These things have long been gone in front of my sister. Shu on, on. Though but, please don't ever pass it on. I also want to save face. Shu on, on clenched her teeth and didn't look away. Is not just a five-star hotel chef fried dishes. What is the big deal? The fragrance into the nose. You care which meal is coming out. I just think I do it myself to have that kind of fragrance. The main fight is self-deception. Anyway, the dishes are all the same. As long as you eat them fast enough, your nose, mouth and stomach won't be able to react. Besides, he had a dish that no five-star hotel chef could fry hot and sour shredded potatoes. He buried his head and began to pick up his meal. Today's great cause of regaining freedom was considered to be a midway collapse, ultimately lost to modern technology. 
lost to takeout, and lost to Sui who couldn't cook. Fortunately, it also lets her know how fast she eats, like Su Ri chews and eats slowly, and the chili peppers can't even be grabbed. Sui slightly frowned, chopsticks to the mouth and fell, rather underestimated the younger brother. This can endure, really oil and salt, it doesn't matter. Against Xuanan's first plan to use food, if he is determined, then only the second move. Sui believes that it is definitely a move that her brother cannot resist the beauty plan. As for now, the combination of the food trick and the beauty trick, let's see what you can do to resist. Putting down her chopsticks, she reached out and rubbed Sunan's head. Her hand felt really good. Eat slowly, don't choke. Xuanan wolfed down his food. One mouthful was even worth three bites of Su Yi's, and he didn't even chew a few times before swallowing. At a glance, it was because he had suffered too much in the past and was often underfed, which was why he ate so quickly. Xuanan had a question mark on her face. Please don't brainstorm. Although I'm not very rich like you, I'm not that poor either. Also, eating is eating. What are you suddenly calling me for? Xuanan's entire being is now in a state of high tension, just afraid that Sui will suddenly come after him at some point. Is the hallowed eldest princess of the capital circle something that can be threatened? Coincidence. Xuanan had just done so. He had been praying that the five-star hotel chef's excellent cuisine would make Sui so engrossed that she would never forget the unpleasantness of the moment, and then let go of him, the poor man who had already lost his freedom. However, what you fear is what you get. Five-star hotel chef can not ah, you see the Chinese small pawn, do out of things just a bite can let people immersed in it cannot be extricated. Poor evaluation. Must be poor evaluation. A short pause. Xuanan thinks it's better not to say anything at this time. They say that women are very vindictive creatures. Today's revenge will probably be remembered by Su Yi for a long time, and then one day in the future to become a reason to bully Xuanan. What? You're saying she's the eldest princess? The princess is also a woman. Besides, wouldn't a bratty princess be more likely to hold a grudge? Eat without speaking, sleep without speaking. Xuanan's index finger was erected at her mouth, comparing a silencing gesture, talking while eating, beware of stomach ache. I don't know if there is any scientific basis. Anyway, when I was a child, my mom told Sunan this, then Sunan obediently shut up and ate, it's really hard to have a tummy ache, especially that kind of pain that is vaguely and consistently felt, just like a frog boiled in warm water, it's hard to bear, with a roll of her eyes, Xuanan continued to plow through the rice, what kind of chef is a chef or not, it's all the same when you eat it in your stomach, he had long been hungry, since the ploy had already failed, the table of dishes that he had worked so hard to make had only one ending left to be eaten, in passing, he moved the hot and sour shredded potatoes to his side, and the probability of Sui not being able to look at the others was that this plate of shredded potatoes was the only one on the table. You know, since it was the only one that was necessarily very precious, Sui's mouth is drawn, a plate of shredded potatoes only, you to protect like a baby to protect it? She sat down next to her brother, she doesn't care if she doesn't eat, doesn't talk, doesn't sleep, doesn't speak or anything, and if she has a tummy ache, then she should save it for teasing her brother because she's already a 28-year-old adult. She grabbed the back of her brother's neck and pulled Sunan, who was buried in a bowl of rice, out. Even though it was in her own home, she should more or less pay attention to a little bit of image. If you made a habit of doing this, wouldn't you invite people to laugh at you when you were out partying that day? She went on wanted to cry. It's just a meal. Why are there so many rules and regulations? I can't even eat in peace. My life is really bitter. Sister, quickly eat. Sunan glanced at the takeout she ordered. It will get cold if she delays for a while longer. How did you endure the food getting cold in front of you without moving your chopsticks? People like you who defile food will definitely get retribution. Su Yi agreed. In terms of defiling food, who can compare to Sunan? Even using her favorite food to threaten herself, such behavior is simply more shameful than wasting food. Now, let her tea on Dao, to give her brother a little lesson. In no way is it a personal vendetta. Su Yi rubbed her arm, a face of aggrieved. Brother? Sister worked all day, so tired, feel chopsticks cannot hold, chew on on. Suddenly, she wanted to give her a big mouth, and she made these dead movements throughout the day. Her eyes fluttered a bit, not wanting to look at Sui. It was really because her acting skills were a bit poor, not to mention the fact that you've been alive and kicking since you walked in the door, and even tried to make a move to snatch his freshly made retort meat. Although Xuanan has not been to Sui's company, also know that by virtue of her identity, it is bound to be impossible to do laborious physical labor, and it is even possible that the documents have secretaries on behalf of the work. That said, was Su Yi's secretary a man or a woman? Xuanan's brows furrowed slightly. The other dog she kept in the company, the odds were that it was this person, right? 
For no reason he thought of some indescribable images. In the office, the boss and the secretary, the elements have been assembled well, a little annoyed. It seems to be jealous. Sui saw that his brother did not pay attention to himself. Anger, aggression and even suspicion and other complex emotions filled the whole person. Normally, she had always shown herself as a cool and dignified person. How many people had seen her acting like a spoiled brat? It can be said that since she went to high school, even Su Dad Su Mom have not seen. But this does not mean that Sui will not be pampered. Now not all popular award called contrasting Meng, with Su E exquisite face, which cannot take the younger brother. Sui can't help but doubt her own face value. Perhaps this was why people caught up in love were prone to being PUA'd by their other half. Even the eldest princess of the capital circle wasn't spared. Resting her fingers on her brother's chin, she gently picked and turned her brother's face around. Couldn't even the beauty trick hold her brother? Sui didn't know whether to be happy or sad. Self-doubt only lasted an instant. As the eldest princess of the capital circle she certainly knew how lethal her face was. The people who confessed their love for him in previous years could have lined up from here to Paris. France. That said, Paris is also quite miserable. No matter what things cue to line up in that direction, now there should be quite crowded right. After all, they are all lined up. Even Su Yi's face value can't take her brother. She can't think of a few other people in the whole Beijing circle who can hook her brother. The sense of security is suddenly full. But even she couldn't attract her brother. A little sad. Did it really take the legendary fairy sister to take her brother? But wasn't that what the world called her? Where did Xuanan know that in a short time Sui had thought so much about why she could have so many titles? The princess of the capital circle, the divine sister, even though they were all quite apt. One could only say that there were a lot of idle people in this world. Good thing they all had good eyes. Xuanan is still immersed in the big drama between the boss and the secretary. His face is a little serious. Take some time to go and see. We cannot be subjected to this. Slightly serious Xuanan. That angular face is extremely aggressive. Sui actually softened for a moment. She did not initially decide to kidnap Xuanan because she saw her brother's face. It was also a coincidence that it appeared. Just when everything was on track. At a time when she needed to consider the big events in her life. It just so happened that she came across such a heartwarming face. It was simply destiny from heaven. It was probably the way the two started that made Sunan somewhat resistant. Understandably, in Suyi's place it might have been even more extreme than her brother's. It was a long road to chase after her husband. But what could she do? If she was slower, Xuanan might have left Kyoto. Although they call her the princess of the capital circle, but this can only be counted as a play on the name. Really let her nationwide search for a man. Which, sounded unrealistic. She combined the two meals together, then sat on the side with her hands holding her chest and puffing. The meaning was obvious. I have given you a step down. You look at yourself. Don't be unkind. Or, gourmet plan, beauty plan, and naked threat. Who can top this? Well, Xuanan pursed his lips. I don't know if you can top it. Anyway, he didn't tea top it at all. A big beautiful woman to their own this way. Can top may only Tang monk? Xuanan is not a Tang monk. Also do not want to do Tang monk. He is still very greedy Su Yi's face. Of course, he also craved Su Yi's body and money. Soon inside inwardly, moving his stool closer to Su Yi, his outstretched hand paused slightly before finally picking up his chopsticks. Sunan is a person who was very afraid of trouble. The thought of falling in love and then having to report all sorts of things is distracting. It's not that Xuanan is a playful person who was afraid of his girlfriend checking in. It's just that his life is very casual and purposeful. And he has never had to report to anyone. Besides, after falling in love, you have to go out together. Right. Commonly known as dating. This is really a bit difficult for a geek who doesn't go out all the time. Honestly, having had the experience of feeding Sui last time, how to say it? Sweet is really sweet, and tired is really tired. Can you imagine what it's like to eat a meal for almost an hour? And already feel that that meal doesn't smell good. Like chewing wax. Even though it was born from the hands of a 5-star hotel chef. Never thought I'd have to go through it again today. Today's situation seemed to be even worse. Feeding on Su Yi, who was in the throes of anger. This addition was a big deal. It was said that a girlfriend in anger was harder to hold down than a pig to be killed on New Year's Day. To use a pig as a shape to accommodate Sui was probably an elevation of a pig. When Rapunzel is in a tantrum, Xuanan only wants to say one word, to abduct. We don't know if it is a necessary skill for every boyfriend. Anyway, the book wrote this kind of thing is money, such as 200, 000 a month. And even some people can earn millions of dollars a month, directly realize the freedom of wealth. Why is it that I don't have any money? How am I worse off than them? No. Sui also gave Shuan on pocket money. The last reimbursement high-speed rail ticket. Gave a lot more. And then was Shuan on forcefully returned. 
The last time he was reimbursed for the high-speed train ticket, he gave quite a bit more, and then Xu Wanan returned it forcefully. Xu Wanan, what's the use of me wanting that false name? Is it too late for me to regret it? It's better to use a false name to cash in. At first, Xu Wanan really didn't want to pretend to be noble. It is said that taking people's hands is short, eating people's mouth is short. Always firmly believe that the sky cannot fall pie. Prevent fraud, do not gullible, do not transfer, do not disclose. When he went to promote the app for a poor credit has been kept in mind. What you get must pay something. To put it in a higher way, the way of heaven, something must be gained, something must be lost. For his own safety, he didn't dare ask for that money. Think you can't do anything too much. She went on finally underestimated this serpentine woman, and even forced herself to be locked up in the house, and then unreservedly ate and wiped clean. As a result, now he himself has to serve her dinner. Lost is indeed lost. It just seems like it didn't t get anything. Why is my life so bitter? Why don't you just give me the money? What are you thinking about? Brother? Sui turned her head sideways, her good-looking eyes narrowing slightly, radiating a dangerous aura. Feeding your sister for dinner seems to be something you're very reluctant to do? Disliking it once in a while can be understood as your little arrogance, but it's rude of you to be like this. Sui as the eldest princess of the capital circle also has a temper. Go ask the people outside what sister is like. Men, I advise you not to be unknowing. There's no telling how many men out there are eager to be favored by her. Eh? Ha ha. She went on laughed dryly twice. How come? It's my honor to serve my sister. Ten thousand grass mud horses galloped by in his heart. Dislike? Don't slander me. With Su Yi's face value, probably only a legendary gay would dislike her. I'm just worried about my personal safety. If you die under the peony flower, you can be a ghost. Feeling that it would be difficult for her to fly on her own wings, Xu Anan chucked a piece of retort meat to Sui. It wasn't time to completely tear the skin off this woman. The threat did not work. Xu Anan can only change the plan, pillow incense. First to the gold master sister served well. Freedom and wealth is not within reach. This woman just entered the kitchen and stared at the back to the meat. It seems that this woman is also a meat eater. Long fat is sooner or later. Subconsciously glanced at Sui figure. Not fat. Remember the small belly without a bit of flab. And even see the perfect waistline is the result of years of exercise. In fact, it is also quite fat. He is referring to certain places. Cannot help but pinch their own little stomach. Once 8 pack abs have now long evolved to reach the achievement of 99. Always say that the book to use the time party hate less. In fact, this word to book replaced by any subject can be. The body is also the use of the time party hate less. As an otaku, he is not a person who pays much attention to his image. He is not a person who pays much attention to his own image. In his opinion, only need to be fresh and clean, even though he also have sports, but not the pursuit of that kind of visual explosion of muscle sense. At this moment, he suddenly wanted to hold up dumbbells to dozens. How could he be hung up on in every aspect by this woman beside him? Really losing face all right. Shouldn't fitness be on the agenda? Otherwise he really didn't know how to stand beside Sui. A gifted and delicate woman like her shouldn't have a mediocre person beside her. Although Shuanan thought that he could surpass 90% of the people in the world in this aspect of the brain. However, this thing could not be intuitively reflected. More people focused on the appearance of the first sense. Sui was PUA by Shuanan. Shuanan was PUA by herself. It can only be said that Shuanan is an old PUA master. He remembered that Sui had said that the fitness equipment had been placed in the office. Just how big an office could accommodate a set of fitness equipment? This woman wouldn't be occupying an entire floor all by herself. As the president of the company, there didn't seem to be any problems. The idea of going to work at Suyi's company was getting stronger and stronger. After four years of college, he had naturally heard what kind of strength Suyi's company had. Hearing 10, 000 people talk about it 10, 000 times was not as good as going to see it in person. The plan had failed. So it was time to start a backup plan and leave this sweet cage. Is it good? Sunan looked at her hopefully, expecting her to give a little comment. Sunan had seen that she had just tasted the five-star hotel chef's handiwork, and now she had eaten her own. Even though Shuanan knew that his own skills were not as good as a five-star hotel chef's, and that it was all about the craft of eating, and obviously the chef was a professional, he just wanted to hear praise from Sui's mouth, as a way to satisfy his brother's small vanity, against his conscience to cheat a little, will not be taken seriously. Sui Rai smile, threaten your sister, do not give your sister dinner, but also want your sister to praise you. Where under the sky is that good? It's a bit far off. She spread her hands, her afterglow keeping an eye on her brother's expression. Sure enough there was a moment to see the loss. Of course, if you give your sister a taste of that shredded potato, 
The one that's not even close is this one. Sui's chopsticks pointed to the takeout ordered back from the five-star hotel. Shu Anan, worthy of being a female president, the art of language is all mastered by her. In to attack and out to defend. The loss is not wrong. Wait. Shu Anan suddenly remembered what? This woman even think of their own shredded potatoes. This is the only hot and sour shredded potatoes in the whole field. The degree of preciousness can be imagined. She even. She went so far as to. Shredded potato is Shu Anan's bottom line. How could? Forget it. Just give her a bite for the sake of compliments. Ugh. Save some for me. Complaining. She looked at the empty plate. Before eating this meal, who would have thought that a table of good food, and even a delicious dish borne through the hands of a five-star hotel chef, would be no match for a plate of mediocre shredded potatoes? One could only say, awesome silk. Shuanan was a little depressed that he hadn't even gotten much to eat. Do you know how many days I haven't eaten potatoes? Since graduation, I haven't tasted this kind of civilian cuisine, and you even finished showing it off for me all by yourself. Forget it. I can't understand this kind of capitalist. How could she possibly know the position of potatoes in the heart of a social animal like Shuanan? Sui touched her rounded stomach and licked the residual grease stains on the edge of her red lips with a look of intent. Not bad is it brother? Sister now admits that your cooking skills are better than a five-star hotel chef. Sunan who received a compliment was happy in his heart. For the time being, I'll forgive you for grabbing the shredded potatoes with me. However, he was too happy too early. The corners of his mouth had only just turned up. Sui's next few words let him knock it back to its original shape and even had a hidden tendency to droop. In the future, our family will leave the important task of providing three meals a day to your younger brother alone. Sui also patted Sunan on the shoulder, like she was giving her employees a boost in the company. Shu Anan, who had long understood the dangers of society, would not be fooled by such a small scheme, pretending to be a momentary pleasure. Work crematorium. This kind of swollen face to fill up the fat thing Sunan is not to do it. I think it. It's still better to have a five-star hotel chef's handiwork. He rested his chin in one hand, nodding his head as if after some deep thought. Right, it's better to order takeout in the future. Honesty is a virtue. We can't go against our conscience for that little bit of false fame. It's not that you don't want to cook. How simple it is to cook. It's really that five-star hotels are much better to eat. Sui may be tired of eating, but Xuanan had only just gotten addicted to eating. But sister just thinks you make the best food. Sui leaned sideways against Xuanan's shoulder, staring at her brother's side face. Why do you think a man's skin is more delicate than his own? She had gotten so close, why was it that she still couldn't see any pores at all? And she didn't see her brother using expensive cleansers, and on weekdays it was just a wipe on the face of a paddle dipped in clean water. Perhaps this is the legendary heaven's favorite. There is also a pair of straight and well-proportioned long legs. Really? Sui deeply envious. It is. This hairstyle is not quite okay. Even though a flat head is a great killer for testing a man's true face value. But bar. Shuanan's face value no longer needed to be tested. It was time to take him to change his hairstyle. There's no rush. Wait to grow a little longer. The corner of Shuanan's mouth. I think it is really blocking his mouth. It is said that there are a thousand hamlets in the hearts of a thousand people. And it is difficult to adjust the mouth of the crowd he has seen it today. Maybe a person has eaten too much food. Always want to taste some chaff to neutralize the taste. Then with a heavy dislike. To love those mountain delicacies again. That's because you feel wrong. Shuanan refused to let go. He was determined to go out and break into the world and stand squarely in front of Sui. How could he possibly stay at home and cook for her? This kind of thing was definitely not something he should do as a senior student of a top university. After you you cook one meal a day for your sister. And for the remaining one, my sister will take you to eat something delicious. Sui's fingertips turned her brother's head, and the two pairs of red lips gently brushed. Shuanan's throat knots rolled. For a moment, his mouth was a little dry. Even though the two of them had already had negative distance exchanges, he was still somewhat unable to hold back in the face of Sui's inadvertent teasing. The aura of a mature woman on Sui's body was extremely lethal to Xuanan. Almost he opened his mouth to respond. Beauty plan, really is the most evil plan. Please don't tell me if there are important things in the future. I really can't handle it. Sunan turned her head away. A stubborn look. Some defiant look open. Eat eat eat, just no eat. Sooner or later fat into a fat woman. Nor did she say she agreed. Nor did she say she didn't agree. Anyway, in the future, depending on their own mood, it is possible that at some point in the future, Xuanan will also eat enough of those delicacies, just like he let Sui will pots and pans, firewood, rice, oil and salt to buy back the same. As for when to leave, that would depend on Xuanan's mood. Definitely not all at Sui's beck and call. Sui rested her hands on both of Sunan's shoulders, 
her forehead gently leaning on Sun En's forehead. Isn't that just right? They say that fat women are attracted to fresh meat, and by that time, my younger brother will find it difficult to escape. Saying that, he even directly kissed Sun An's lips. F asterisk CK. He had really entered the wolf's den. Xuan on this moment really feel that the probability is that he will not live to the end of life that moment. Not a bad woman. Become a fat woman. Certainly even the cause of the waste away. At home to eat the old capital to focus on tormenting themselves. I heard that the steel ball and fat woman quite match. I don't know if it's true. Xuan on gently pushed Sui away. Having just finished eating, his stomach was a bit full. If he continued he might have to vomit. I'll go wash the dishes. Leaving behind a sentence. He got up and fled in a hurry. Sui shrugged her shoulders. Her younger brother really can't help but be amused. She also had a bit of a hangover. Probably because of her brother's feeding, she had eaten a lot more than usual. And now she really couldn't eat her brother anymore. I'm going to keep it as a midnight snack. I said I was washing the dishes. But in fact I just put them in the dishwasher. Like this lazy person how can he hand wash? How can he be lazy how can he do it himself? He did not have that kind of machine washing is not as clean as hand washing idea. Laugh to death. You do not think hand washing I am serious. The water and electricity bills are not paid by yourself. It does not give Sui to save money. Anyway, she is not bad money. As revenge for her kidnapping herself. This kind of revenge is not a little too light. She went on shook her head. Forget it. Wait for it to finish washing and then come back to clean up. Turning her head. She already saw Sui lying on her side on the sofa, sleeping after eating, eating after sleeping, really getting more and more like a pig. He slowly squatted down. Sister, we really can't drift away on the road of fat women. We still need to pay attention to our figure and whatnot. Since there was no escape no matter what, Shunan still hoped that it would be a big beautiful woman, fat woman and whatnot or not. Sui pursed her lips and smiled. Brother you are exposed. Sister can't be the only one trying. Can you? Sui's fingertips traced across Sunan's face. All the way down. Stopping at his stomach and picking at his clothes. Who wouldn't like abs? Sui was also a woman. She might not appreciate big muscles like rocks, but she couldn't have none at all. This, Xuanan was bitter. You don't even let me out. How can I work out? It can't be folding and running at home. He had already imagined the scene of people coming up to curse downstairs. Besides, who in their right mind runs at home? Tomorrow. I will start implementing plan B and strive to go out as soon as possible. Xuanan sat on the sofa, his eyes wandering, not knowing whether to watch the TV or flank the beauty not far away. Well, it didn't seem like a question worth dwelling on. What else was there to watch on TV these days? Ever since middle school, Xuanan hadn't really settled down to watch a show, flipping around with the remote control unable to find a single desired target. How could these old-fashioned and embarrassing programs compare to Sui, who was practicing yoga? The already charming figure is shown in every action. And the yoga clothes that are close to the body not only do not play a role in covering up, but also add more flavor to the hot figure. Even the yoga clothes have a little bit of small penetration. Shuanan's eyes had gradually moved from the TV to Sui. He wasn't the Tang monk and couldn't resist such a deadly temptation. If he were to play the role of the longevity monk, he could only say that he wouldn't be able to hold out in the land of daughters. Not necessarily, if he knew that there was still the land of daughters behind him. He would say anything to last until then. Don't ask. Ask is Shuanan will be firm. How can be in front of those goblins charm? How does Sui compare to the king of the daughter kingdom? Shuanan can only say that the real in front of the eyes of the killing power is greater. How can a woman's body be soft to that extent? How many times Shuanan was afraid that Sui would twist herself off? Suddenly, down the waist of Sui from another angle upside down to look at Shuanan, the tail of the eyes lightly blinking, winks like silk, causing Shuanan body shiver. The sixth sense of mankind is very accurate. She has long felt from her brother's hot gaze, in front of her brother's eyes blatantly practicing yoga to be this effect. And even in order to test whether she can attract her brother's gaze, she did not choose to Shuanan directly in front of her. She didn't even choose to be right in front of Shuanan to check if she could attract her brother's attention. There was a TV right in front of her. Shuanan coughed lightly. Somewhat sheepishly, she lowered her head, caught peeking and being caught in such impolite behavior. Sunan was slightly embarrassed. Even though there had long been more intimate moves between him and Sui, it was still a bit difficult to get Sunan to change his mind in just a few days, and without Sui's enticement, and without the atmosphere reaching a dry fire. Sunan was more or less still a bit conservative. She patted her face. He picked up the cup and drank several large mouthfuls of water. He needed to suppress the evil fire in his heart that was aroused by Sui. Think about abs. Think about career. Think about. After thinking about everything, he felt unworthy of Sui. Blanche. He himself can be as a potential stock support prong up ah. Otherwise, 
Even if Sui is rich, her family will not be able to agree to this marriage. Alas, go out, go to work. Just come to the first day of the swing idea has long been because of the fear of the future hit the body. Now very much want to go out to work. Xuanan couldn't help but laugh bitterly. His current thoughts were known by those 996 hitmen. They would probably be pierced by jealous eyes. But how could they understand their own troubles? A vapid life lacked a sense of solidity. It is said that every family has its own problems. Those without work worry about their future. Those with work accuse their present situation. He got up in a panic and went upstairs, leaving only the words, I'm going to bed. Eyes on the ground. He quickly ran away. The boredom in his heart and the extreme temptation in front of him made Sunan want to run away from this room filled with a pink and charming aura. Sui frowned slightly, being in a high position. She had long been accustomed to observing a person's micro-expressions. Micro-expressions can best reveal a person's heart thoughts, and she had just seen Sunan's bitter smile at the corner of her mouth as she looked down. What does it mean? Why would he show such an expression? Sui couldn't think of a reason. He had been paying attention to himself before this. Did. Sui got up with a carp and went forward to tug Sunan. There was a probing gaze in his eyes. Sunan's figure lurched. Bad. Forgetting that this woman was extremely possessive, blatantly leaving in front of her and still practicing yoga in her. Seducing. Herself. Those two words she went on really couldn't say. It seemed to be disrespectful to Sui. Yet such a beauty seducing herself, can only say advise you don't know what's good for you. What's wrong? Where are you uncomfortable? Sui ran her hands over Sunan's body as if she was checking his body. There was also some doubt in his heart. Can not ah. Just now at dinner also ate two big bowls. Appetite is not like a sick look. Cood. Really in disgust with himself. It was only a few days ago that he was already tired of himself. It seems that this cage is no longer safe and needs another shackle. Xuanan took a step back. Summer clothes were already thin. And where Suyi's warm fingertips scratched, they rolled and burned. And the evil fire that had been so hard to suppress was stirred up again by Sui. He felt that sooner or later, one day, he would be drained by this demon girl in front of him. No. Somewhat sheepishly, he touched his nose. Good food and drink for how to get sick. Is some panic in his heart? He did not dare to talk to Sui. Not worry about food and clothing but also so many things. There will always be a feeling that he is a burden. He was afraid to say it Sui will dislike himself. But, Sui, who is worth more than a hundred million dollars, how can she understand Xuanan's mood? He glanced at the exquisite clock off the wall. Just a little tired. Want to go back to sleep? Sui looked at him suspiciously obviously thinking that it was too early. Which young man went to bed at this hour? The nightlife hadn't even started yet. Nine o'clock. It shouldn't be too early to go to bed. After washing up, looking at the ceiling in bed for a while to ten o'clock, sleep until tomorrow morning seven o'clock to get up. Nine hours? Perfect. Xuanan didn't have the habit of staying up late. Once on a vacation, he experienced an out-of-date and disorganized life. A day that went by in a flash. Living a muddled life and achieving nothing. Since then, he never allowed himself to stay up late again unless it was necessary. What can't be done during the day that has to wait until night? All right, sister will accompany you. Yoga mats weren't cleaned up. Sui pulled Sunan up the stairs. Xuanan's footsteps lurched. She was with herself? There was an ominous premonition. Sure enough, how could Sui let him off so easily? When he entered the bedroom, he was still at Sui's mercy, and it was impossible for him to sleep before 11 o'clock. Xuanan held his old waist, Although now there is not yet a series of symptoms such as soreness and softness, but it feels that the distance from that moment is not far away. Can he hold out in this home for three months? It felt a little suspended. Thus, he was behind Sui, gradually pulling away. Sui's footsteps lurched as she looked at Sunan standing at the door of the next guest room. Her eyebrows slightly raised as she came to Sunan with her hands clasped over her chest. The female president's ability was not to be doubted, and the speculation just now had come true. The bitter smile that was hiding was just as she thought. It had only been four days and her younger brother was already liking the new and beginning to dislike himself. Ugh. Don't rip. The clothes are ripped. The collar was hooked by Sui with one finger and had already begun to deform. Luckily Xuanan bought the kind of short sleeves with elasticity. Not to be torn. He only had two or three short sleeves in total. How can I escape if you tear it for me? I can't run naked on the street. Freedom is honestly valuable. But let yourself so shot to death to obtain. Xuanan chose to drain himself dry in three months. Even if his body dies, he will leave his innocence on earth. Transformation also has a limit. More than the capacity of this short sleeve, it will not change back. So, Xuanan can only follow Su Yi's strength, slowly lowering his head. Dozens of dollars of short sleeves, what else do you want it to do? It has already endured the injuries that it should not have endured at this price. Su Yi had a hint of a smile at the corner of her mouth. 
It seems that from the time Xuanan was kidnapped to this home, no matter how unreasonable he Sui has never been angry with him. In fact, the only thing Xuanan had done that seemed excessive was to call the police to arrest her. The only thing that Xuanan has done is to call the police to arrest her. This word is quite. It's a very spiritual word. Does it seem like a small thing to you? But isn't there nothing wrong with her now? You listen to this called human words. Accident is to enter the bureau. The only time unreasonable really very handcuffed. Even so Su Yi are not angry with Xu Anan. Also with 5 star chef handmade food to feed him. Really, this man more or less do not know good or bad. Xu Anan also thought the same thing, looking at Su Yi's eyes inexplicably a little weak. Is this the strength of the female president? Without saying anything, it already makes you self-doubtfully ponder over all the moves that are and aren't wrong. And you even wonder if you've missed something. These people who play with people's hearts have dirty hearts. This could only be said in one's heart. Never letting Sui know. Brother, it's only been a few days and you're starting to resent your sister? Sui lowered her eyebrows not to look at Sunan. Her fingertips wrapping around his collar and slowly closing in on herself. Once upon a time, she didn't pay attention to men. Didn't even pay attention to the so-called love between men and women. She had too many things to do to waste time on such frivolous matters. But she had also heard the saying that men were all big piggies. It seemed like a stunt that came out of a TV show. Today she had seen why it was said that way. A week hadn't even passed and she hadn't even gotten tired of her brother yet he had started to dislike himself first. Deserving of a beating. Shuanan's throat knots rolled. Things seemed to be progressing in an unmanageable direction. He panicked and waved his hands. No, how could I possibly dislike my sister? Slander. This was naked slander. The authorities were confused and the onlookers were clear. So did Sui really not know how charismatic she was? That all she needed to do was to stand in a crowd and she could attract countless gazes regardless of gender. Disliking her. What a joke. That legs. That face. Every part of her body. Xuanan felt like she could play with it for a year. The mind gradually thought about the feeling when the two of them were having fun. Bad. He felt that he was unclean. No longer that pure teenager. And had begun to obsess over these things. No. As an outstanding graduate of a top university, you must stay away from yellow. Forget it. It's better to stay away from gambling and drugs. Life still needs flavorings. Otherwise wouldn't it be too boring? Really? Sui looked up at him suspiciously. How much more credible are your words? Sui didn't know. She only saw that the man in front of her was far from his actions and words. And compared to what she heard, she was more convinced of what she saw. If you don't dislike your sister, why are you sleeping in a separate room from her? Sleeping in separate rooms probably only occurs when couples are at odds. Sui had seen her mom kick her dad out of the bedroom to sleep in the guest room when she was a kid. Eh? She went on scratched his forehead awkwardly. Eyes fluttered. How was he going to explain this to himself? The 28-year abstinence of the eldest princess of the capital circle really didn't know the pain of a married man. Even though he didn't feel it made any difference if he and Sui weren't married yet. That sort of thing in Shuanan's impression could only be done after marriage as well. Did he want him to tell Sui that he couldn't do it anymore? Couldn't take it anymore? What a joke. How could a man say he couldn't? If this kind of thing came out of his own mouth, how would Sui look at himself in the future? Wouldn't he be ridiculed by her for the rest of his life? I can't. Shuanan's heart burst with chills. Absolutely cannot admit it. I also want to save face. He looked at the ceiling. I, I don't sleep honestly. It's better to sleep alone. Is really can not find a reason. Shuanan is not a person who is good at lying. The fluttering eyes have long betrayed him. Indeed. The strength in Su Yi's hands unloaded. The short sleeve that cost a few tens of dollars was finally relieved. And it was hard work. Following Xu Anan's suffering. My younger brother is not honest at all when he sleeps. And keeps rubbing himself against his sister. Xu Anan coughed. Don't you. Forget it. The fact that you said it. I admit it okay. He was also bitter. Every time he slept he would push Su Yi away. Nothing else. It was summer. And after some strenuous exercise. Even with the air conditioning on. It still felt hot. Hugging and sleeping together. I can't hug a bit. Although so thought. Every morning when I wake up, I find myself close to Sui's body. And my hands are still in places I shouldn't put them. As for why it was Shuanan who was not sleeping honestly. Because Sui was on the verge of being squeezed out of bed by him. And thankfully Sui's bed at home was bigger. So he didn't kick Sui out of bed. Saving his little life. Just because he didn't kick him off the bed yesterday doesn't mean he won't kick him off the bed today. So I'd better sleep in the guest room. It's fine. The bed in sister's house is big enough. Would Sui be the kind of person who is petty? Having long been honest about where there are places that shouldn't be touched. Moreover, we can push the bed to the wall so that brother doesn't have to worry about sister falling out of bed. As long as the mind does not slip, there are always more solutions than difficulties. Xuanan felt that this Rapunzel was still strangely nice. 
Obviously you were the one who fell off the bed and the one who fell in pain. Yet you were caring if I felt guilty. Where can I find such a good sister? I advise you not to be ungrateful and quickly obey her highness. The little devil in his heart is egging him on. Don't go crazy while you are young. It is not like sister didn't tea buy you supplements. The two big wastes, however, kicked him twice at the critical moment. Crazy also need to have moderation. Rest for a day, or we brother and sister to die for you to see. Reason occupies the brain. These days are indeed a little overjoyed. Even he himself has a kind of from now on the king does not mourning absurd feeling. Should find a night to calm down. There are still days off from work. Being the president's canary was also a kind of work. The problem was that Sui didn't seem to pay her salary. So she shouldn't be able to do this job for a bit. Looking firmly at Sui. He found another thing that can threaten Sui. Although there is a little bit of death. Success or failure. This is the moment. Xuanan let out a deep breath. His expression becoming serious. In fact, many things should be talked about before it's too late. Before the development reaches the point of being uncontrollable. To sit down and talk calmly about it. In front of Sui, it seemed that this was the only way he could wrench with her. Too humble. Sui's eyes tail jumped. What kind of expression is this on her brother? Did she say the wrong thing? Although the bed was quite heavy, it was possible to find someone to fix it. As long as the money was there, time was not a problem. And the last thing Sui needed was money. Mr. Su, I must clarify something with you. In order to appear more serious, Xuanan even changed his address. However, Sui didn't like to hear this name from Shuanan's mouth. Mr. Su that was called by outsiders in the company. What was the point of calling it so raw at home? Could it be that? My brother is really ready to abandon me. Stop it. She raised her hand to stop Shuanan's next words. Sister understands everything. Shuanan? Understand? I haven't even said anything and you already understand? Obviously. He was a bit unconvinced. It was said that there was no such thing as a plowed field. Only oxen that died of exhaustion and he didn't believe that Sui would have these concerns. A dike of a thousand miles collapses in an ant hole, and some windows, once opened, are out of control. Sui has been abstaining for many years, and now that she has tasted the passage, how can she be easily satisfied? Xuanan asked tentatively with some uncertainty. Are you sure you understand? Aha! Uh -huh. Sui nodded. Are all men big pig's hooves? What is there not to know about this? Mobbing in the mall for many years, she has seen all kinds of people, not to mention men. All people under the sky are the same. Too few have a conscience. What's even more ridiculous is that a conscience is impossible to meet a conscience. The heart is crying. How is life so bitter? 28 years. It is not easy to heart once. Let me lose so badly. Love. Even the eldest princess of the capital circle cannot play things. Looking at Sui's lowered head in a grieved look, Sunan felt that she didn't understand. And even what she understood was a hundred thousand miles away from what she wanted to express. Her fingertips gently picked Sui's chin. This was the action she liked to flirt with Shuanan on a regular basis. And today, Shuanan used her own way of doing things to cure her own. Not to mention, this angle did have a different flavor. Especially since Sui was still looking aggrieved at the moment. She looked like a young girl under duress. Ha, huh? why would I like this kind of plot? Could it be? No, I could never be a pervert of sorts. Shuanan growled in his heart. He couldn't accept that he had become so depraved. But Sui was really beautiful. No matter how you looked at her. Tell me. What do you think I'm trying to convey? The other hand wrapped around Sui's waist, and although it was usually Sui who took the initiative, at this moment, Xuanan just wanted to show his boyfriend power. He didn't want it to be like a plot in a novel. The female lead turned and ran away, and then a misunderstanding existed between the two for many years, causing the two people who originally loved each other to torment each other. Actually still not enough love. Really love how we'll watch each other live in a non-existent trouble. Sui looked at Xuanan eyes. Now again what are you doing? Just now is not already disgusted with me. Why are you hugging me again? You don't think you can coax me into being good with a hug, do you? Please, I'm the eldest princess of the capital circle. How could I possibly soften my heart just because of this little gesture of yours? She inclined her head to not look at Shuanan. Isn't it just that the novelty has worn off and you don't like sister anymore? Gently biting her lip, her tone carried resignation yet she tried her best to hide it. Don't worry, sister is now unblocked. There's no shortage of you as a man. I'll go and order a dozen male models when you're gone. Put, looking at Sui's arrogant demeanor, Sunan finally couldn't hold back her laughter. Sister was also too cute. Where's the high and mighty? Where's the overbearing? Don't talk nonsense with your eyes wide open. Looking at Sui's eyes that turned to kill, Sunan covered her mouth. I'm sorry, I've gone through rigorous training, and unless I can't help it, I absolutely won't laugh. Believe you? Stinky brother is really bad. 
I'm so sad and you still dare to laugh at me. Regardless of whether or not her brother was really tired of her, she decided that tonight she would drag him into the bedroom and bully him hard all night. Perhaps after this experience, she would never believe in love again. The eldest princess of the capital circle, in the first place, did not need to believe in love. However, she needed an offspring to carry on the family business. Xuanan had a high enough face value, and as a top university senior IQ was certainly not a problem. She actually didn't want her brother to only have such a role to play. Love was beautiful. No matter what kind of dog-blooded stories there were in this world, love itself was beautiful, and Sui naturally wanted to experience it once in a while. You dare. Xuanan gave her a light knock on the head. The first day I came here I said I would be responsible for me, and now I want to go out and find a male model. Is it because my face value isn't high enough anymore? It's not that I don't have abs. Give me three months. I'll give you back your eight-pack abs and let you touch them every day. Damn possessiveness made Xuanan angry. What the heart thinks about is what the heart thinks about the other person is also thinking about. She really does have other dogs outside. Must be hiding inside the company. Sui covered her head and looked at him defiantly. What do you mean only allow the state officials to set fire to the people? You have already disliked me, but also care about what I do. I told you that you don't understand. You have to say you do. Xuanan looked at her with a helpless face. Fortunately, he was resourceful, discovering her thoughts in advance. Otherwise, Xuanan really couldn't imagine what would happen in the future if she didn't explain today. There was just one thing that was beyond doubt. They would definitely separate. Young people need to have moderation, or wait until later to have you suffer. Sui blinked his eyes. So younger brother was talking about this matter? Good-looking eyes slowly curved up, looking at Xuanan with a meaningful look. Brother, you can't do it. Xuanan looked depressed. Let's just say that we can't say it explicitly. Now that she has begun to think that she can't do it, how will she look at herself in the future? He even thought that this bad, bad woman would use these words to stimulate herself while the two of them were having fun. So, can you give me a vacation tonight? Xuanan two hands around Sui's waist. As a man can't are recognized, how can let Sui run away? Of course the company that wild dog is certainly to see aside. He has the confidence. Will not be that person then down. Sui grabbed Xuanan face. The smile at the corner of her mouth rehooked. Her eyes like autumn water looking at him. What do you think? I think, I think it's fine. Xuanan let go and wanted to run. As long as he could go in and close the door behind him, he could escape tonight. It was so close. The safety of two large loins was so close. Of course not. Sui tugged on Sunan, changing her previous pearly and soft appearance. Was she a master of Sichuan opera face changing? How could she transform so quickly? Xuanan had already been dragged away by her. Some promises really can't be trusted easily. When she dragged herself into the room last night, she said that she would let herself go and play something else. As a result, when the atmosphere reached that moment, who could hold back? So Xuanan unknowingly broke through the bottom line that he had been holding on to. He felt that he was ashamed of the two large waists. After all, it was he who had failed to protect them. Feeling the itchy sensation on his face, he muttered, Don't make a fuss. Sleep a little longer. Went back to his room at nine last night. Froze and didn't get to sleep until the wee hours of the morning. Hurry up and get up. The sun is on your ass. Sui sipped at his face, leaving a red mark. She was still happy to know that her brother didn't dislike her. Just like she thought. She didn't want Xuanan to be just a tool to leave behind offspring for her. She wasn't bad at keeping her brother around as long as he behaved himself. Xuanan opened his eyes. He felt a murderous aura. It was as if someone was thinking about the too large waist. I don't work. What's the point of getting up so early? He muttered. His hand couldn't help but squeeze it. It was so soft. Although gaining freedom was a very important thing. But there was no need to get up so early to plot. Only when you had enough sleep would you have the strength to escape. Where is it early? It's already 9 o'clock. Sui didn't take away his salty hands. Instead, she hugged him a little tighter. 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock. Xuanan snapped his eyes open and picked up his cell phone to see that it was already 9 o'clock as soon as his eyes closed and opened? Why is Sui still lying in bed? Don't you have to go to work today? You. Sunan blinked her eyes and shifted again to lie on top of Sui. He wanted to remind Sui that she was late today, but suddenly thought that she was the president of the company. So what if she didn't go? She didn't even have anyone to call her to rush her to work. After all, the king did not have an early morning court. As a concubine herself and who is she to control the emperor? Nine o'clock is early too. Having only slept for more than eight hours, Sunan did not want to get up at all. It is always said that the more people are idle, the lazier they are, and there is nothing wrong with that. When they go to school, they have no problem getting up every day at 8 a.m. M. And they don't want to get up at 9 a.m. M. Until they graduate. 
It may also have something to do with last night's strenuous exercise, but if you are at home for a few more days, Xuanan really no longer want to go to work. Why do people need to eat? Wouldn't not eating mean that one wouldn't have to go to work? He shook his head and found a comfortable position to continue sleeping. Get up. Sui gently stroked her brother's head. Don't you want to go out? Sister will take you out today. Go out. Xuanan braced himself violently. Mmm mmm Sui hummed softly. Xuanan's hand was still in a place it shouldn't be. Embarrassed. He withdrew his hand. Forgetting for a moment that he was a bit excited. Sui got up and stretched. Someone so forcefully said no last night. Why isn't he letting go at dawn? Xu Wenan awkwardly lowered his head. This was something he didn't want to discuss, and it wasn't because of Su Yi's seduction. Making him a 22-year-old bloodthirsty young lad face such a man-eating Yu Kai was really a bit difficult for him. Ignore you. Xu Wenan lifted the quilt and covered his head. He was a caged bird in captivity. How could he possibly be let out to soar freely? This woman deceived herself early in the morning. There was no love left. Su Yi put on his pajamas and went into the bathroom to wash up. She came out only to find that her brother had fallen asleep again. Sui helpless smile. Her speed has been very fast. I have heard of boyfriends waiting for their girlfriends to go out will turn into a pile of white bones, although it is an exaggeration. Long time is real. In order not to let her brother wait for a long time, she just brushed her teeth and washed her face before coming out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to do it. The result. Fell asleep again. So angry. How can this be? She was in an excited mood because she was going out with her brother for the first time on a date. But her brother was lying on the bed snoozing. This feeling really. So mad. She lifted the covers with one hand. Hurry up and get up. Little lazy pig. Hmm she went on grunted. One hand going to grab the quilt. She was still naked. Wouldn't she be naked if she lifted the quilt like this? But the people present had already seen it. So what else was there to cover up? Quick elbow. Corsco pills. Hot air hit Shuanan's ears. Back to sleep was quite magical. A person who had a bad night's sleep but could manage to fall asleep in seconds while sleeping back to sleep, and then sleep until an hour or two later. Shuanan was now. He had fallen asleep again. Sui leaned over and bit his ear. His Shuanan's eyes snapped open. He had a nightmare. There was a female goblin staring at his too big, fine, strong waists, and even the female goblin was staring at his ears. Shut up. This isn't pig's ears ah hey. He opened his eyes but saw Sui biting his ears. Why? Why do I dream about this woman? What kind of mesmerizing soup did she give herself? Stop it. Aren't you not letting me go out? He turned around and hugged Su Yi and closed his eyes again. Who said that? I just don't want you to go out alone. Xu Anan's eyes snapped open. What do you mean? I can go out today? Yet he realized that he didn't seem to want to go out. As a geek, he wasn't interested in shopping and didn't want to go at all. If he opened his mouth to talk to Su Yi now, would she kill herself? Xu Anan felt it was possible. Forget it. Let's go. After washing up, he put on his own crisp white short sleeves and black pants, and turned around to see Sui wearing a pair of hot pants that were as short as her thighs, a pair of long white legs brightly on display. He frowned slightly, you're wearing this to go out? Already not wanting to see what the top was wearing, who's a good person to wear such short pants? Find a time to clean up the closet and throw all those clothes away for her. What? No? Sui spun around in front of him. Isn't it beautiful to be dressed like this? She went on clenched his teeth. No. Why? Sui walked forward. The sound of her heels crisp and loud. No reason. Just not allowed to wear it. Can she went on say it's because of her own damn possessiveness? Why should she let those big piggy hooves outside see such a charming pair of long legs? Do they deserve it? They don't deserve it. This is something only I can appreciate. I didn't realize that my younger brother still has such strong moments. Sui's flirtation was filled with laughter. Making Sunan feel like she wanted to burrow into the ground. What kind of words were these? Shuanan might have wanted to be an obedient good boy in front of her, but it wasn't because all the money was in Sui's hands, and if he pissed off the gold master's sister, eating and sleeping would be a problem. He could only put away his sharpness. Have you forgotten your own aggrieved look last night? At that time Shuanan. Well, it wasn't called being strong then. It could only be called being proper. Of course I have a strong look. Don't you see it now? Quickly go and change your clothes. Shuanan picked up Sui and returned to the bedroom. Sui sat on the bed and looked at her brother as he looked for clothes for himself. But sister doesn't want to see her brother's tough look. Or, there was a slight pause in her tone, her eyes darting around. Shuanan knew that this woman must have thought of some ghostly idea to bully herself again. If you give your sister a pout, your sister will follow you. Strong? No. Just be an obedient brother in front of your sister. Shuanan, who was carrying her clothes, froze in place, her innocent little eyes blinking. What did I hear? A pet? Rubbing his ears, 
It is true that the recent exercise is a bit too much. The symptoms of hallucinations have been produced. Seems to be quite serious. By do a check. Not far from death. Let's just say that young people should have moderation it. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the fact that I'm not sure what I'm talking about. You see me this one meter eight or so big tall man. Like will be pampered look. How can someone who looks so mature say something so unrealistic? He is determined to be the big man on top of the sky and leave a legend in this world that is uniquely his own. How can he be like that group of fresh meat who eat peaches and peaches well and cool? Although, they seem to be quite famous as well. No way. Chuanan does not accept being famous like this. Black Red is also red in the end which Talon came up with this. Really don't have any face at all. Perhaps compared to the fame and fortune that comes with being red. That face that has to be washed several times a day but is useless is indeed something that can be given up. So now what? Give the eldest princess of the capital circle a pout. And maybe she'll reward herself with a few small goals with a wave of her hand. And from then on, achieve a class leap. It's that simple. Blanche, in his heart, he fiercely gave himself a slap in the face. Shuanan what the hell are you thinking? You are a top university outstanding graduate. Is able to rely on their own brains to create a bright future. But a few small goals. It's really a lot. His heart was crying. It was a hard choice to make. Noble character or rotten brass tacks. No, he couldn't think about it anymore. His Taoist mind was beginning to destabilize. The stench of that rotten copper had such power. Casually throwing his clothes on the bed, his entire body also sat on his butt. Put the words here today. I, Xu Wenan, even if I were to die at home, humiliatingly trapped to death in this small space of only 200 square meters, there is no way that I would go and do that kind of thing. Woman, I advise you to die with your heart. You're choosing this piece for your sister? Sui looked at Sunan with surprise in her eyes. It was a small, somewhat transparent halter, and she only used it as a nightgown. Her brother was even bold enough to let himself wear this out. What did it mean? Is not care about sister? People are so contradictory. When Sunan controlled her, not allow her to wear such short pants out. Feel free to receive restrictions. Now Sunan does not care about her. She also feel aggrieved. Her brother was no longer jealous of her. Her heart ached to be abandoned again. She actually didn't like wearing those revealing clothes to go out. Her own face value and temperament had already attracted many gazes. If she were to unlock another layer of seals, the people on the entire path might suffer heavy casualties because of him, but just want to see the brother care about himself. Jealous look. How is it so difficult? Looking at the small black halter in her hand, her heart was torn. If her brother really let himself wear this out, in the end wear it or not. So embarrassing ah. Uh. Shuanan snatched the clothes in her hand. Why does this woman have so much inner drama? Those denim hot pants Sunan could understand the need for such a piece on a hot day. Although Shuanan is black pants all year round, he respects everyone's wear. Besides, all don't wear this way. Who does he look at? LOL. How to say the words from the heart. The reason why I took this small black halter. In fact, I was just curious about how the legendary high cold and ascetic Rapunzel's home could have such clothes. Woman, you exposed. Admit it. Your heart has actually been starving for a long time. Shuanan already felt like finding some time to rummage through Suyi's closet to see what other surprises were hidden. These clothes definitely couldn't be worn out, but it didn't prevent wearing them at home. It wouldn't be cheaper for himself. Hey hey hey. Hey 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 hey. Hey 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 hey. Wipe the drool from the corner of your mouth. Shuanan hid the small halter in the quilt. Let Suyi wear this out. He will immediately transform into a lemon essence. Can the entire capital city people are sour kind of death? Eyes fluttered. No, wearing it out affects the cityscape. So, just wear it at home. The sentence after the pause exposed his true thoughts. Sui was slightly stunned. Her brother's speed was so fast. She didn't even see the little sling before it disappeared. The corner of her eyes with a smile breath. Really her brother still cared about himself. Knew that her love couldn't die so simply. Alright, let's go then. Sui got up. It had also been a while since she'd gone shopping and the ready-made drudgery of carrying bags for free had already been found, so there was no need to trouble her own brother. Shuanan's eyes shifted away, pretending not to hear. Cruel, really too cruel. The princess, who is worth more than a hundred million dollars, even didn't want to give this amount of money. Shuanan felt that he was probably the most frustrated canary. It's normal, the domineering female president, the capital circle princess, no matter which name sounds like a fool, how can in the absence of a clear heart of the time, the money smashed out. Shuanan is still trying to run away now. Wouldn't that give him start up capital? Money or whatever Sui had plenty of it. The last thing she lacked was money. As long as she performed well, what was the harm in giving it to her brother? Hurry, the sun is already out. Sui looked out the window, her face a little pained. 
The summer sun was probably the lifelong enemy of the princess of the capital circle, not leaving any mercy at all, all beings tanned equally. If she didn't want to go and buy a few sets of clothes for her brother, she wouldn't want to go out today. Is it bad to bully her brother at home? Every time she looked at her brother's colorful white short sleeves and black pants, Sui was speechless, and later on, she was going to take her brother out, so she wore this one, which was more or less a drop in price. Those who don't know also thought that Shuanan was playing a big game and not putting others in his eyes. In fact, he only has these, set out who believe it, the man of the eldest princess of the capital circle, no clothes to wear, also not favored ah, change your pants. Shuanan's sight always couldn't help but fall on that pair of big white legs, even a strong-willed person like him couldn't resist the temptation. Those outside that pig's hooves would only be even more lewd. There was no way Sui would be allowed to go out in these pants today, no matter what he said. Change your pants? Sui stood in front of Shuanan with her hands clasping her chest, lifting his head slowly. Stop looking at the legs. Look at sister's eyes. Aren't you moved? It's not impossible. Give your sister a pout, and she'll promise you. Ah not. Shuanan more or less freaked out. Is this woman having any bad taste? Why is she so insistent on letting herself give her a pampering? She won't like the kind of man who eats peaches and peaches well and cools off. This Shuanan really cannot learn. Give him more money cannot learn. Never allow the world to exist such black material. Only to die for many years will crawl out of the grave to delete it. Dignity he wants. Small money he also wants. From Suyi's love he also want. To be a human being was to be so insatiable. He slowly stood up. Hugged Suyi. Placed a gentle kiss on Suyi's forehead. And took out a set of long lavender dresses from the closet. Change into this. And we'll go out. Suyi had so many beautiful clothes. Shuanan's dyslexia of choice was offending him. He felt that no matter which one his sister wore, she was so beautiful that the group of big piggish men outside would definitely be hitting on her again. Just the thought of those people having that kind of thought about his sister in their hearts made his entire being manic, itching to rush out and beanbag them. Forget it. Get used to it. Sui is so beautiful. This kind of thing is inevitable. It was there before he came, and it will be there after he comes as well. You guys can only think about it. But I. Jia Jia Jia. The heart revealed a laugh that belonged exclusively to the villain. Sui raised his eyebrows and looked at the long skirt that was forced into his hands, not expecting his brother to be so hard-headed. That's why he had to let him be pampered ah, just like the feeling of forcing others to reveal their aggrieved baba look, or how to show that the sister is domineering. And do you know how much the skirt that you casually needed? You cannot afford to buy a month's salary for your internship. She went on scoffed. Who are you bluffing? College students internship a month but there are $2,000 salary. Blanche, when I mention this thing, I am angry. The security guard at the entrance of the neighborhood still has $4,000 a month. Think about Sui's worth. $2,000 may not really be able to afford it. Shuanan most do not understand the so-called brand in the end were expensive. In his view to wear on the body of the clothes, dozens of dollars and hundreds of dollars is not much difference. And even dozens of dollars of clothes can wear a year on the throw. Year after year there are new clothes to wear. A few hundred dollars you want to throw? If this person changed into Sui, perhaps it is willing to give up. There is no difference between tens of dollars and hundreds of dollars in her eyes. No. In the future this family must I manage money. Cannot let Sui so defeat. The abacus beads clanked. Okay. Sui has no opinion. How outsiders evaluate her. Natural clothes rack. Fitness yoga on weekdays is not for nothing. Any clothes she can easily handle. Quickly change. Shuanan sat on the bed. Since you promised why are you still indifferent. Take out your female president's thunderous power of action. The two looked at each other in silence. Sui placed the long skirt on the bed. I'll see how long you can play dumb. Anyway, the sun outside is already up. It is the same to go out now and go out later. And, the person holding the umbrella isn't already ready. What's wrong? Shuanan innocently looked at Sui. He revealed an expression of dawning realization. Oh you're shy about me being here aren't you? Ouch it's not like you haven't seen it before. I'll wait for you outside. With a wave of his hand, he got up and prepared to go out. Don't think I don't know what you're thinking, hinting at me in this way right? You're afraid that you don't not know that I sin installed the title of the first place of stupidity, and that going out on everything will only tire you out. Learn to touch the fish and swing for the fences. The eye does not see the heart does not bother. Can't see me? I see how you still let me pampered. Really witty. Also too naive. Sui tugged on his wrist, not realizing that his brother's ability to obfuscate was so good. He was almost fooled by him. Unfortunately, the devil was one foot taller than the Taoist, and he couldn't escape from himself after all. So, you're really not going to pamper your sister? Shuanan held her forehead, still running slow. Nowadays, one could only face reality. 
He shook his head in silence, a look of impossible negotiation. All right, then we won't go out today. Sui hung up her long skirt and similarly sat on her but out on the bed. It was so infuriating. She had put off today's work just to take her brother out to buy new clothes. And he did this to me. Her heart was aggrieved to the extreme. Sun and carefully used her afterglow to measure Sui sitting beside her. Are you really angry? It felt as if it was. What can be done about this? She is not willing to take herself out to play. Wait a minute. Shuanan's brain stopped for a split second. As if there was something wrong. What did she just say? You cannot go out today. There was this kind of good thing. It was simply an unexpected pleasure. Okay. He nodded. Then we won't go out today. Come on. It's June. Look at how much sun it is outside. Those who can go out shopping are all ruthless people. People like Shuanan who cherish themselves like this. How could they let themselves suffer from this sin? Go back to sleep. Sunan lifted the quilt and prepared to burrow in. He was woken up by Sui while he was dreaming. In reality it hurt his body and hurt him. In dreams it was always much safer. He was woken up by Su Yi in the middle of his dream. But in reality, it was much safer to be in a dream. He wanted to see if he could follow up on the dream of the female goblin. Su Yi held Sunan down and sat on him with her long legs, as if playing off, looking at Shuanan's current behavior. She for no reason recalled her own brother Su Zichen, who used to pull him to do hard labor, always complaining about the sky and shouting, as if he was going through something extremely painful. Looking at the way he came back, it was indeed like experiencing life and death. She only remembers that her brother wanted to go out, wanted to be free, but ignored that Shuanan actually does not like shopping, and even rejected shopping. Online shopping had long been Shuanan's only way of shopping. She looked straight into Sunan's eyes. She could only let out a sigh. How many years has it been since Su Zichian went to college? And no one dares to blatantly reject themselves. In fact, now Su Zichian also dare not, or would not have agreed to help her kidnap Shuanan. Now another one finally appeared. She seems to be unable to take the other side. So was this what love did to a person? She didn't know what to say at the moment. Shuanan calmed down and pampered herself, which wasn't really out of the question. What's wrong with pampering one's wife? At most, outsiders will say rake ears or wifey. But what do they know? A man who is wifey is happy, but only if his wife is conscientious and moral. Shuanan felt that Sui was not that kind of person, and she didn't need to pretend in front of herself. What's wrong with pampering her? The financial power of the family can be in her hands alone. He knew Su Yi for only a few days. Sunan always had a sense of humility in his heart, feeling that he was not worthy of Su Yi, and even more unwilling to bow down in front of Su Yi. He was curious to know exactly what this woman was thinking. Why exactly do you want me to pamper you? Why? Su Yi actually wasn't too sure. She just felt that her brother didn't need to do anything, and would just obediently listen to herself. As for humiliating her brother? Actually no, she just wanted to make Shuanan rely on her even more. Sister, wanting you to be under my skirt. She wouldn't tell Sunan what she was really thinking. Shallowly swapping dependence for submission shouldn't be much of a problem. The result would actually be the same. The corner of Shuanan's mouth twitched. They say that the middle two teenagers. This woman in front of her is a rare middle two teenager. Right? Submissive? What kind of rare and strange vocabulary is this? You still want me to submit to you. You really think of yourself as an empress. Remember, you're only the eldest princess of the capital circle right now, and there's still a long way to go before you become an empress. Aren't you afraid that I'll get the credit for it? Just you? Sui looked at him with some skepticism. It wasn't that she didn't believe in Shuanan's ability. It wasn't easy to build up a huge company and it wasn't equally easy to destroy it. Perhaps giving him another three to five years could indeed do it. Three to five years Sui if she still can't get this man, she will definitely kick off. What kind of man? Worthy of the capital circle princess raider for such a long time. Shuanan is very angry. Why so look down on me? To know that the destruction of the business empire in many ways, high-end business is often the most simple way to start. When Shuanan play a hand beacon play the vassals, not to Su Yi's assets squandered empty. He looked at the two long legs straddling his sides, wanting to make himself the subject of his skirt. Today it was probably impossible. At the moment it was at best the subject of his pants. Let's go. Sui probably didn't want to continue to be nice in this matter. His kidnapped brother hadn't left the house for five days. More or less. He still had to lead him out to get some air. Shuanan was speechless at this argument. Let's just say I don't want to go out today. You're walking me like a dog. Watching Sui change into the purple long dress she had chosen. Sunan nodded. Really good. Purple does have flavor. This is how it should be. The most attractive thing about the eldest princess of the capital circle is bound to be her temperament. How can she use that kind of vulgar means to become the center of attention of the whole scene? It doesn't matter. Those they can't see. Shuanan will help them to enjoy it at home. 
It is. He felt a sense of being dwarfed standing next to Sui, as if he was a small follower who couldn't hold his own. This was a bit solid. He shuan on at least is also the school grass. Face value of this piece of quite confident. Surprisingly than Sui. Is it true that people rely on clothes and horses rely on saddles? On the body of this dozens of dollars of clothes really than a few thousand dollars of brand goods? I don't understand. Anyway, when he went downstairs unconsciously lagged behind Sui one step, as if there is the position where he should stand. This is Shuanan's first time to look at the construction of this building, and there is no difference between the other. And then rich people, there is no need to waste energy in the hallway. The one staircase, two family design made the hallway look comfortable. Sui, however, suddenly stops in her tracks, turns around and takes Sunan by the arm, pulling him up to stand side by side at the elevator door. In addition to taking Shuanan out today, Apart from taking him to buy clothes, the other purpose was to bring Xuanan out to shine. The news that the princess of the capital circle kidnapped a man in the rain late at night has just passed. Almost everyone thinks it is a rumor. Only a small part of the belief is true. The princess of the capital circle is also a woman. 28 years of age. Want to get married. So what? Sui today is to tell everyone that this is not a rumor. Half a step behind himself is nothing. Do not know thought Xuanan lost favorite. Luckily, Xuanan had already gotten used to Su Yi's intimate gestures towards herself. The elevator went all the way to the basement. It seemed that people in upscale neighborhoods were quite busy. This is your car? Xuanan looked at Su Yi in horror, as if she had found another one of Su Yi's hidden attributes. Her aesthetics were definitely not online, and there was no doubt that she was a middle-aged girl with bipolar disorder. Su Yi took out the key and handed it to Xuanan. No, it's your car. What a familiar jingle. Like I've heard it somewhere before. Xuanan was in a trance for a moment, not because of the familiar ad words, but this car, really, it's hard to say, he recognized the label, Ferrari, or the legendary Lafa, it's the color that he had some difficulty accepting, orange red Ferrari Rafa, simply conspicuous bag his mother to conspicuous bag to open the door, conspicuous bag to home, suddenly very want to see how the social cattle can drive the color of such a tawdry car, social cows are all around, but it seems like it's about to turn into itself, Somewhat speechless. Are you sure? It's not because you don't like the color that you want to give me this car? He recalled that before he left the house. Sui had spent three minutes picking through her box of car keys before selecting this luxury car in an extremely slutty color. If you said she didn't do it on purpose, she went on didn't believe it. Sui shrugged. You guess. Fingertips hooked the key. In front of Shuanan shook. You want it or not? Shuanan's outstretched hand hesitated. This tawdry color is obviously not compatible with their own temperament. I am such a low-key three good youth. How can I drive such a flamboyant car? But, this is a Ferrari Rafa. It's a divine car that can only be seen in jitterbugs and novels. And it will be mine soon. The color is nothing. Don't ask for too much. Xuanan gritted his teeth and took the car keys. The keys to me is my. What a joke. Xuanan is a college student. The transfer of such things or no. At best. He is Su Yi's driver today. Glancing down at the bright silver high heels on Su Yi's feet. With her white feet full of temptation. Obviously it was impossible to drive with such shoes. The heavy responsibility of driving could only be handed over to Xuanan. With Su Yi by her side, who would think that this extremely flashy car belonged to Sunan, who was merely a transparent person that no one recognized? Perfect. Walking, he followed Su Yi and opened the passenger door for her. This was the time to show Xuanan's role. I'll try to perform well and get this car into my hands. Orange red on orange red. Conspicuous bag on conspicuous bag. Have opened Ferrari Rafa this kind of luxury car, in the street is bound to be the brightest pups, who still cares about orange red is not conspicuous bag ah, you that is envy and jealousy, noble Xuanan, once again was full of copper flavor of money corrosion, sitting on the driver's seat, Xuanan excited on the hands are trembling, you have the first car in life is how old, 22, 23, or 25, he never dreamed that the first car of his life would be so luxurious, Sui saw that he was slow to go, you, can't drive? Can not ah. Driver's license can be said to be the most cost-effective license to take in college. And she remembered that Su Zichen had said that Xuanan had a driver's license. Walk? The driving license she learned in her sophomore year of college was taken care of in a month, and Xuanan was now forgetting how to drive a car. Another expensive luxury car. He was even afraid of hanging the gear wrong, a foot of gas directly into the wall behind him. He couldn't even afford to pay for it if he sold it. Can we talk about this kind of thing? No. Never shy away from someone who wanted to be under her skirt herself. Where to? Can you blame me? You didn't even tell me your destination. And now it's all your fault you can't leave. It was the perfect pot to dump. 
The orange and red Ferrari flowed freely. Perhaps this is the charm of the conspicuous bag. Five kilometers away all know that there is an orange-red Ferrari is coming. Who would dare to drive a top-of-the-line luxury car without some strength? And who would dare to drive this tawdry color without some strength? No one dared to block Xuanan and Su Yi's car. However, everyone would still curse fiercely behind the tailpipe before revealing an envious expression. I like it when you guys look at me like this but can't do anything about it. Safety first, Xuanan didn't drive fast, but the unique roar of the sports car made his blood boil, and the feeling of speed and passion appeared without him realizing it. One can't stay at home all the time after all. An overly dull life would make a person become muddled, becoming a disheveled person full of grievances. Life needed passion and excitement. Sunan, who had been locked up for a few days, coveted everything outside. The air seemed much fresher. Here it is. This was an extremely large shopping mall. When he was in school Sunan had heard of this place. It was the largest shopping mall in the entire capital. Anything that was legal and compliant. There was no way that he wouldn't be able to find it here. Today was his first time here. Xuanan University is a distance away from here. Let him take the subway for an hour to come here to buy things. It is not necessary. It wasn't that he couldn't afford to shop at large malls. It was just that online shopping was more cost-effective. The orange and red Ferrari stopped, attracting people who had not yet left the garage to stop and watch. Ferrari Rafa is not common. The orange-red car is even more uncommon. And now the two are combined into one. Even more rare. All want to see. In the end, which rich second generation out again conspicuous. Xuanan took a deep breath. It was a bit crowded. Although his good looks made him accustomed to the gazes from the outside world, today's situation was different. The orange-red Ferrari Lafayette's face value clearly exceeded his. It was fine. As long as he wasn't embarrassed. It wasn't him who was embarrassed. Xuanan organized. He wanted to learn from the TV's boss look and organize the suit buttons. But it turned out that he was only wearing a few dozen dollars of white short sleeves. Organizing a hammer. Pretend to fail. As long as I am not embarrassed. The embarrassment is not me. Push open the door to get off. What's wrong with short sleeves? Have you never seen a Cantonese young master wearing flip-flops to eat at a five-star hotel? When you're out and about, you create your own persona. Anyway, all the people present did not know Xuanan, and could only make wild guesses about his identity, keeping it mysterious enough so that no one could make him break. However, he was too happy too soon. Sui didn't wait for her brother to open the door for her. She wasn't the kind of person to be ostentatious. Waiting for her brother to come over was a bit of an endeavor, and she had that time to come down already. She got out of the car at the same time as Xuanan. Oh my god. It's Mr. Su, Sui. The surrounding area didn't know who shouted out in the quiet parking lot, and the scene was suddenly agitated. Perhaps no one around knew Xuanan, but a few people had seen Sui. Su Ri was, the eldest princess of the Beijing Circle, a woman in control of a large company, perhaps with the help of her family behind her but she could not cover up her light. This is enough to get her noticed, often appearing in various financial magazines. What's more, because of her stunning face, she is often secretly photographed. This car orange-red Ferrari Lafa is her on nothing unusual. You ask a woman why like orange-red, YouTube so much to do what? People are worth more than a hundred million big boss, but also can not have some special preferences. As for Xuanan, it has long been forgotten in the dust. It is also fortunate that he did not pose when he came out of the car door. Otherwise, it is hard not to be embarrassed. A cheap clothes? Let the crowd naturally think that he is just Su Yi's driver. In fact, there is no problem. On the contrary, this person was Su Yi. Isn't Mr. Su's driver a woman? Who is that man? Someone asked. It was said that the princess of the capital circle had misogyny. And although it wasn't confirmed, most people believed it. Today, a man actually came out of her car. There were melons. In this era of rapid information exchange, People have long been trained to have a keen sense of smell for big melons. A melon is ripe or not a smell will know. It's quite handsome. No. Why does he have to be Mr. Sue's driver? Doesn't he just have a face? Does he deserve it? She went on feet a beat. This brother you a little too much. When do drivers also have a threshold? I'm a top university outstanding graduates. Graduated as a driver what's wrong? Moreover, this is my car. He wanted to yell. Let the surrounding group of people who treat themselves as air open their eyes and look at themselves. Where did you get the car? Sui gave it to me. Blanched. Xuanan couldn't open that mouth. Just as he had thought before. Other than this handsome and compelling face, he no longer had any capital to stand beside Sui. Go. Sui had obviously long been accustomed to these gazes. She was oblivious to all the things around her. She walked forward to gently take Xuanan's arm. Explaining is useless. People will only feel that you have a weak heart. Actions will dispel all gossip. 
This moment's action is undoubtedly telling the crowd that Xuanan's identity. Sunan listened to the sounds of the surrounding people sucking in cool air. Her head raised a little higher. Stupefied. Stunned. Unexpected. Right? Brother's identity was more than just a driver. This car is brother's. Ashibition system high cold female president intimate move is undoubtedly shocked everyone. The capital circle eldest princess has selected belong to their own extra horse harnessed by the side of a team. When the eating melon masses mind for no reason recalled a few days ago. Rumor, abstinence 28 years. The capital circle princess kidnapped a man on a rainy night. I used to think it was a joke, but it's true. We don't have a chance anymore. Do we? The sound of a broken heart rang out. It sounded like it should be broken so thoroughly that it couldn't even be taped up with duct tape to the extent that it was broken. She went on smiled faintly. Brothers, trust me. Chances you've never had. This feeling of raising your eyebrows. Really. The dogfight and the fox and tiger were exquisitely portrayed by him. It doesn't matter how humble you are at home. You still need to point your face when you go out. Che, white boy. Alas. Sunan keenly captured this vicious voice full of envy and jealousy. Who said that? Stand out. Can you talk? This kind of thing can't be tolerated. Could it be that just because I'm handsome? I'm the little white boy. Today he must flay this person alive. Beijing Circle's extra horse harnessed by the side of a team is also something you can denigrate? Unfortunately, he was pulled away by Sui. Hitting back would be a drop in the bucket. Only by remaining high and cold can you leave a high feeling in the hearts of these people. This is Sui's experience of facing the gazes of the crowd over the years. Having a face value is not necessarily a gigolo. But only having a face value is definitely a gigolo. Looking at the cheap clothes on Sunan, no one thought that his family lineage was qualified to stand beside Sui. The abstinent 28-year-old princess of the capital circle was surprisingly also a superficial person who focused on face value. I really misjudged her before. Isn't it just having a long face? Oomph, why not me ah, woo woo. The large shopping mall was extremely crowded and was one of Xuanan's most feared places. The hustle and bustle of the people around them. The various fancy advertisements of the stores. It was so lively. But it made Xuanan, who had just gotten off the elevator, have the decision of not wanting to go in. He was not a sociable person. In the many lively party settings, he could usually only sit in a corner somewhere with three or five other people, quietly gawking or watching certain interesting things that were happening at the party. It was probably for this reason that his friends liked to call him a high-strung bystander. It wasn't that he was pretentious and put on a superior attitude. He really found it exhausting to cope with the tedious socializing. And it was awkward to spend an excessive amount of time chatting about things that didn't make sense. Brother, is there anything you want? Sister will buy it for you. It was obvious that Sui hadn't been out to the mall for a while either. Sunan was used to online shopping. The eldest princess of the capital circle was perhaps more used to customization. She was equally curious about the things she bought on this level of the mall. Though after a cursory glance, she was largely unimpressed with what was sold here. But if her brother liked it, she would buy it for him. And it wasn't expensive anyway. Do you want some sugar plums? How about ice cream? There were a few kids around who were pestering their parents to buy them for him. And Sui thought that her own kids should like them too. As a result, Xuanan didn't answer her. But his eyes seemed to have radar. Accurately finding targets hidden in the crowd. So concentrated. What are you looking at? Sui followed his line of sight and hardened her fists. Xuanan's life was extremely purposeful. Coming to the mall was naturally to buy things. As for what to buy, before coming Xuanan would usually have an intention. That was the driving force that supported him to go out. And then pick up his things and turn around and leave. Never lingering much. However today the decision was in Su Yi's hands. Even the fact that he was able to go out and drive a sports car to this busy mall for a stroll was all because of Su Yi. He could only allow Su Yi to pull himself along. Too humble. Fortunately, the mall was not without a little attraction for him. There was a poem that said so. Ah, the sea ah, all water. Oh summer, all legs. With his male nature, almost the first time he got off the elevator, he already had a precise location in his mind. She went on swear. Really not he wants to see. Really hormone flooded summer. All around all the white long legs. No matter which direction he turned his head can see. A certain area and even Comic Con. That scene. Sucking. In fact, it is not very revealing. But it is very attractive. Can't have him walking around with his head down. You can't have both the fish and the bear's paw. For the safety of the cervical vertebrae, Shuanan could only sacrifice his eyes. This is the welfare of summer. What's the matter with this perk that hurts a little? Let go. Don't pull my ears. He was bent over. And one ear was grabbed by Sui. Right here in the crowded mall. Only feel. The face of this life has been lost here. No matter how to say is also a man. Domestic violence this kind of thing go home no one when quietly. Of course. 
If you can wear a little less is better. Don't think wrong. It's not a crime to wear less. That's not domestic violence. That's called love. Sui is not it. Wait to go home brother must again find all kinds of reasons to say that he is wronged. Let the brother admit his fault before it is too late. What is the use of a man's dignity? The old lady is here. Who dares to say anything? Indeed. Although the surrounding people wondered what happened. But no one came forward to block. What are you kidding? That is the eldest princess of the Beijing circle. What is wrong with her admonishing her own man? The little white man should have the consciousness of the little white man. This kind of time is to kneel down will not be felt by anyone as Sui is not right. Can make such a beautiful girlfriend so angry? Shouldn't you reflect on what you did wrong? Listen to what crooked reasoning this is all about. It's still Xu Anan's own problem to get beaten up. Sister is talking to you. Do you hear me? Sui's high heels were so high that she didn't even need to stand on tiptoe to whisper in Sunan's ear. Talking? What did she say? God damn it. This mall was so noisy. Xu Anan's ears were buzzing. How can I describe it? If he put on his earphones and adjusted the volume low, he probably wouldn't be able to hear the music inside. Let him hear what Sui said in this situation. It was really too difficult for the people. Hear it, hear it all. For the sake of his ears no longer enduring heavier blows, Xu Anan didn't dare to say that he hadn't heard it. Perhaps, just as his words left his mouth, his other ear would not be saved. However, one lie needed another lie to be perjured. The day when paper finally couldn't hold fire. All right, tell me. What did I just say? Xu Anan. Where would he know ah? Just now looking at his legs so seriously, he had completely ignored Sui beside him. It couldn't be helped. Who asked her to wear a long skirt and not see her legs? Once again praised his own wit. Before going out told her to change her clothes is really right. If wear that denim hot pants out. Inside the mall those legs are younger brother. If she wore those jeans and went out, all those legs in the mall would be her brother. When can't he look at his sister's legs? Now he has to grab a look outside. I knew you weren't listening to your sister. Wipe the drool from the corners of your mouth. It's flowing onto the floor. Su Yi let go of his ear. Puffing. Just now. Her brother was even on the verge of drooling. Don't hate your younger brother's horny look. But how can you be horny for someone other than your sister? Man you are finished. Su Yi hands clasped chest alone walking fast. Since so like those vixens in the mall. Go and they go over. Is not the girlfriend angry unification scene or gambling fast walk ah. Xu Anan even need to jog up to catch up with Su Yi. A pair of high heels are not afraid to break the foot. Sister. Sister. Don't be angry. There shouldn't be anything more embarrassing than looking at a beautiful woman and being caught on the spot by her girlfriend. Or such a beautiful girlfriend. But whenever Su Yi made a scene out of it, he could have been beaten to death by the other people in the mall taking advantage of the chaos. Having such a pretty girlfriend and still cheating on her outside. Go to hell. Oh. What do these people know? A family flower is not as fragrant as a wild flower. He's just eating too much fine chaff and wants to see what coarse food is like. Just making a mistake that all men make. I was wrong. Promise I won't do it again. Taking the initiative, he took Su Yi's arm and interlocked his fingers. Actually, I wasn't looking at them. I was just at. Xu Anan even himself could not find the vocabulary to beautify his own behavior. The book to use the time party hates less. Usually how did not follow the jitterbug more to learn some scum quotes. At this moment is not so hand-wringing. One could only say that once he didn't give a damn. But now he studied them verbatim and treated them like treasures. I just confirmed that my sister really is the most beautiful after seeing them. Yes, that's right. He wasn't admiring a beautiful woman. He was just doing justice to his girlfriend. Who was the most beautiful woman in the world? The eyes were a little dry. I worked so hard. You can't beat me up again. Sui gave him a sidelong glance. So that's how it is. Isn't it true that sister still has to thank brother for going out of his way to thank sister? Her tone was a bit odd. It carried a plausible flavor. Shuanan felt that she shouldn't really mean to thank herself. No. In order to stop the situation from becoming serious, let's just pretend that it is. Don't want to be beaten by his wife in public. Although, wife beaters are happy. This is what he said himself a few days ago. However, it can't be managed so tightly. It's fine. Serving my sister is what I should do. Reach out and don't fight. Woman, I advise you to have some eyesight. Give you a step and go down quickly. No. Sister must reward you. Sui pulled Sunan away quickly. Surrounded by vixens. She questioned her brother's willpower reservations. Continuing on she might actually be unable to resist storming off. As for what just happened. Go home and clean up her brother properly. Men are well. Give him some face outside. At home. Hey. Along the self-moving escalator up the stairs. The second floor. The third floor. The fourth floor. And even the fifth floor Sui did not make a stop. And did not even give them a look. And directly brought Shuanan to bring the topmost floor. Sixth floor. 
The traffic flow was decreasing as far as the eye could see. Even the advertisements of the surrounding stores have disappeared. If she didn't personally take the elevator up, Sunan even thought that this wasn't the same shopping mall as the first floor. The stores on this floor were extremely large. One was almost the size of two or three stores below, and there were only a few scattered people inside. In this expensive rental mall, cold floor plate, such stores normal people would worry about the risk of closing down. Xuanan was a little curious. What capital do these stores have? Dare to squander like this. Xuanan subconsciously thought of Sui beside him. Only someone with such wealth could be this capricious. Bah! Sister is not a fool. Shopping malls, Xuanan's favorite thing is not to look at the things sold in the stores, but to look up at the various merchant store names as well as trademarks. You will find that some store names are really, the owner is a talent. The few stores that passed by, Xuanan had never heard of them. However, from the sporadic few customers dressed inside, he had a slight guess that the top floor of the mall, which mainly specialized in high-end luxury goods, were luxury goods that ordinary people wouldn't even dare to think about. Sure enough this was the mall that belonged to the princess of the capital circle. Downstairs was merely to take Xuanan for a stroll to see if there was anything he wanted to buy. Otherwise, Xuanan had reason to think that Sui would have taken the hanging ladder directly from the underground parking lot up to the top floor. Sis, these are a bit too expensive. The three melons and two dates in Xuanan's pockets weren't even as much as the zeros that people erased at once, and she really didn't have the face to walk into these unattainable stores. Will not really be naive enough to think that he is the protagonist of the novel? Is the return of the urban dragon king? Wearing cheap jeans, stepping on canvas shoes into one high luxury store after another, and then in the shopkeeper looked down on the eyes, ruthlessly hit the face of the crowd. Just, very unique. Hobby, let's just call it a hobby. If Xuanan went in like this, the mocking scene might be there, and the subsequent face punching drama. He didn't have that kind of capital. Sister brought you out to go shopping. How could she let you pay for it? Omega, ooh ah. What a domineering sentence. No less powerful than the sentence. The entire consumption tonight will be paid for by Mr. Zhao. Is this the charm of the sister? The sister is good. The sister is great. The sister lets you have no worries. The sister is a mature little wildcat. Going out will not let you pay out of pocket. This, not so good. Xuanan touched his nose, still a little shy, perhaps he had once said, God, reward me with a rich woman, I don't want to work hard, in reality it was nothing more than a kind of flirtation to vent his emotions, but never made any effort on top of this kind of thing, where is a rich woman so good to find, all the ones that he encountered were scams, even if it's a real rich woman, can you really stand the rich woman character, just like Sui, she may be very good to Xuanan, pampering her in every way, but Xuanan knows that she is extremely possessive of herself, so strong that anything she does needs to be arranged and agreed upon by her. For a macho man, it was an unbearable humiliation. As for why Xuanan hadn't broken down yet, it was because he was greedy, both greedy for Su Yi's gentleness towards him, and still tormented in his heart about not being able to let go of his face. That was why he wanted to go out to work. What's wrong with that? Little friend, put away your condescension in front of your sister, and in the future, Collect what your sister gives you, and don't feel pressure in your heart. Sui led Sunan into a high-end clothing store. Put away your pride? Wouldn't that really make you a little white boy? Sunan looked at the way the shopkeeper was looking at him. Well, after a trip out, his title of a little white boy had basically materialized. So be it. In any case, he also relied on his face to make a living. Mr. Su. Sui should have come to the store often to buy clothes, and the clerk already knew her. As for Sunan beside Sui. Although there was a flash of surprise in her eyes, she quickly hid it. In her line of work, she had long been accustomed to seeing rich people in these things, and she had seen many men and women. Surprised to see Sui bring a man to one day, equally surprised Xuanan's face value. This world is actually such a handsome man, although still some tender. But in Su's coaching, the future is certainly a male god-level characters. I'm sure only such a person can be worthy of Mr. Su. Suddenly, he didn't feel too surprised. Sun Min was dissatisfied in her heart. What do you mean the future will definitely be a male god level character? Couldn't it be that I'm not right now? Get it straight. My current face value is one that has taken down even the eldest princess of the capital circle. Do you have any aesthetics at all? At this moment, Sun Min wanted to give this clerk a mind reading spell and curse her to death with her heart. Another poor person who was poisoned by the entertainment industry. Her aesthetics had been skewed to the type of eating peaches and peaches is good to cool. Or Sui is good busy with her career, not polluted by these dregs, pick a few sets of men's clothing first, Sui said to the clerk, as for the price, the people working here wouldn't have the eyesight to ask about such things, Sui's status, 
How expensive are all affordable? Then take a look at these sets. New today. How's that? Sui asked Sunan, buying clothes for her brother. She definitely had to ask her brother's own opinion. Unfortunately, she had overestimated Shuanan's aesthetics, perennially mingling in clothing stores with dozens of dollars. Shuanan simply did not have the ability to pick out clothes. Cheap and comfortable was the only option. He gently nodded his head. It is very tempting to say all like. Today is considered to have opened his eyes. He habitually first look at the clothes tags. Five digit prices let Shuanan open his mouth. No wonder these clothes are expensive to buy. Good looking is really good looking. He even touched his hand. The fabric is also extremely comfortable. Expensive may be its only drawback. No, expensive is Shuanan's disadvantage, not the clothes disadvantage. However, expensive wasn't Suyi's drawback. Five figure clothes in her closet were rare and not the most expensive in existence. She casually picked up the outermost set of clothes hanging and shoved them into Shuanan's hands. Go ahead, try them all on. Shuanan only felt that the clothes were a bit hot. Things worth tens of thousands of dollars. Was it really good to casually throw them away like this? He was really afraid that the clothes would break a hole in his hands. It wasn't that Shuanan couldn't afford to lose tens of thousands of dollars. A few years of college part-time work plus bonuses from various awards also amounted to tens of thousands of dollars. But for him to use it to pay for the damages, or to pay for these things that looked obviously worthless, it really hurt. Looking at Suyi's generous and unconcerned look, and listening to her words, it's impossible to easily leave without buying three or four sets today. What concept? A set of tens of thousands. Three or four is hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of dollars to wear on the body. Wow, Xuanan had never thought of such a luxurious thing in his life, not daring to imagine how much he should hold his head high when walking on the road. After all, he is still shallow, but in Sui sighed to do a few days of caged bird, but also feel that already understand the life of the rich, but do not know that peep into the tip of the iceberg. I want to buy such tens of thousands of dollars of clothes with a wave of the hand, not even a blink of the eye. Shuanan admitted that this was very handsome, but that was when he did so himself, at the moment, was really inferior. What was the outstanding graduate status of a prestigious university? Try it on sir, it will look good on you. The shopping guide lady took the opportunity to come up and add fuel to the fire. Can't she see that Shuanan doesn't want it? But she was just a shopping guide. She was only responsible for buying clothes. What did the rest have to do with her? Like this kind of high-end luxury goods stores, there were not many sources of customers. All rely on a single rich. Finally she found the opportunity. How could she miss? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. She could take a lot of commission. Shuanan's feelings are nothing. It is already a white boy. What else is there to be embarrassed about? Being a person cannot both want and want. Soft rice hard to eat that is just a beautiful fantasy. Dignity for money occupation. You have to know how to give up dignity. Chew on on. Hard. The fist is really hard. Although I'm a soft rice eater. You can't humiliate me like this. Remember. I'm the man of the eldest princess of the capital circle. And in the future. When we meet. We have to call him emperor's son-in-law. He carried his clothes into the changing room. It's just. This side harnessed by the emperor's side of the emperor's side of the team is generous, and do not want to be with you and other people of the marketplace caddy. If it wasn't for the fact that he was afraid of tearing his clothes with too much force, he would have to get angry today and let you know what it means to bully others. She went on new in his heart. Today go out. Their own little white title is probably in the eyes of the public. No matter how Shuanan sophistry outsiders are unlikely to believe. No matter how Shuanan tried to argue, outsiders would not believe him. In that case, it would be better to accept the tens of thousands of dollars of clothes. Let me feel what it is like to wear on the body. Whom? It seems to be just like that. Shuanan opened the door of the fitting room and walked out. Maybe the fabric is a little bit comfortable. But of course that's all. Hard mouth. Never admit that these things you can't afford are good. However, when the gazes of the people around him cast over, he unconsciously straightened his waist. Jokingly, the little master of this all will be nearly $100,000. But wherever he has a little lowered his head and contained his chest movement is the disrespect of $100,000. How is it? He walked to Su Yi's side. The gazes of the people around him were unimportant. And since it was the clothes chosen by Lord Goldmaster herself, she naturally had to be satisfied. Not bad. Su Yi had never been stingy with her evaluation of her brother. There was no fear of him drifting. Being able to be looked upon by the 28-year abstinent princess of the capital circle was enough to see how excellent Sunan's overall strength was. Just like what the shopping guide girl thought when she first saw Shuanan. In a few years, Shuanan, who had been coached by Su Yi to develop a mature temperament, would be even more charming, which didn't mean that Shuanan wasn't good looking at the moment. Su Yi had also come with her own mother to buy clothes for her own brother. 
she has long been in a few sets, perfect to show that part of the teenager that part of the windy feeling, just when she took the clothes to look at the pro brother, always feel that he is not worthy of their own choice of clothes, in the morning ready to bring Shuan on out shopping has thought well, today must take these sets of clothing, luckily, they were all still there once they were opened in the store, just wear them like this, Sui didn't want to see those unimpressive clothes of his, standing beside himself how degrading it was, it would only make the eating public feel that Sunan was not worthy of himself, people's words were fearful, the words did not come to Sui, she naturally does not care, the younger brother, who had only just entered society, did not have the courage to withstand the gossip, she pointed to the remaining sets that she had once had her eye on, wrap up the rest, that's how rich you are, that's how generous it is, the heart is very comfortable, spending money can really make people happy, no fear of spending money is to put this pleasure to the maximum, as for another reason, not his own vision has a problem, is Su Zichen cannot support these sets of clothes, the surrounding people have begun to take out their cell phones to take pictures of their younger brother, so sunny and handsome people cannot be rare, Sui does not want to let his brother continue to try on the rest of the clothes, the more you try on, the more time you stay, people are mine, clothes are also bought by me, why should I show you, the possessiveness that belonged to the eldest princess of the capital circle made her once again want to take her brother home and hide him, Sunan took the clothes from the shopping guide's hands and followed behind Sui, the arrogance she had before entering the store gone, although she hadn't completely submitted to Sui, she didn't have the grandiose ambition of eating soft food, where are we going now, although he did not give the money, but when he saw the shopper busy bagging the look of joy, the bag of clothing are still their own, there is a trace of a different heart fluttering, perhaps this is the feeling after seeing the world, it was not a good thing that his own strength didn't seem to hold up to his desires, he knew it was dangerous to go on like this, and wasn't willing to cut out the sugar coating, go get you some shoes, shoes, she went on looked down, shoes are the most expensive thing he has ever bought, probably because he is afraid of walking on the road shoes suddenly open rubber is very embarrassing, but also because cheap shoes are really easy to foot odor, he is heartless to spend several hundreds of oceans in the brick and mortar store to buy luxury goods, she even think not, well, it's really not very good, thinking about not even a fraction of the clothes on the body, probably really need to change a pair, of course, there's also going to be customized dresses and suits for you, and in a few days my sister will take you to a party, for some reason, Shuanan always felt that Sui had a heavy grudge against the party she was talking about, could it be that female CEOs also had group gatherings that were annoying yet they had to attend, the upper class had their own circles, and the same annoying yet unputdownable parties, and some people couldn't compare to Su Ri in their careers, so they could only mock Su Ri's singles in the open and in the dark, this time, she must dress her brother to turn heads and take back all that she had lost, dresses and suits were not like buying those casual clothes, entering the store, hitting the mark, and packing them away with a big wave of the hand, just from the fact that they were several times more expensive than casual clothes, they could not be treated casually, the two men took a ruler and gave Shuanan a measurement, it made him embarrassed, when could someone grope on his body like this, even though he knew that they were doing the right thing and were not suspected of mooching, his heart was just twisted, I'm not clean anymore, resulting in just after the measurement, Shuanan directly hid to the side, professional measurement, fabric designation, private customization, Shuanan followed Sui, listening to a series of professional process, is the rich can only have the process of buying clothes, but they feel diaphragmatic, perhaps, some people are destined not to become rich, everything is done, followed Sui behind and left at a fast pace, finally can leave here, Shuanan heart long sigh of relief, every time he sees the shopkeeper, will think of just now their hands in their own body gesticulation, the feeling of shyness in his heart let him avert his gaze, wasn't it too pretentious, is it that hard? Whom? She went on froze, he was still pondering if he was being too pretentious, wasn't it just being touched twice, but, but, shouldn't it be hard? Elementary school things don't quite remember, since going to junior high school, Shuanan no longer likes to cuddle with others, no matter if the other party is a man or a woman, he doesn't like it, what was the decency of pulling and tugging, it really should be, Sui felt as if she couldn't say that she shouldn't, envisioning her brother enjoying contact with strangers of the opposite sex, the one who had a hard time should be her, thinking of Shuanan's expression on his first day when he woke up and realized he was in an unfamiliar environment, with a big beautiful woman lying beside him, it wouldn't be surprising to have today's behavior, it's actually not uncomfortable, Shuanan hesitated for a moment and said, he didn't have a cleanliness fetish, he didn't have a disease that would cause discomfort to the contact of the opposite sex, simply just being shy wasn't something that could be described as unpleasant, but he couldn't let this woman misunderstand, 
If she thought that he was uncomfortable with contact with the opposite sex because of her, then she would not float to the sky, then make up a big scene that she can't leave her. Sunan may not have a good time in the future. She must be angry with her all the time. How can she eat soft food in the future? Woman, actually you are not that important in my heart. Is that so? Sui turned to look at Shuanan. Surprisingly not hard? Do you know how hard it is for me to see another woman's hands on you? How can you not feel bad? How can you not feel bad? You have to be hard today. Looking at her slightly furrowed brows, Sunan knew that our possessive eldest princess of the capital circle was jealous again. Um, why say again? Has she ever been jealous of herself before? Seems like she has. Seems like she hasn't. I can't remember clearly. Anyway, there were times when he didn't really understand what Sui was thinking, and he didn't really do anything to somehow get jealous, but he knew that the consequences of the eldest princess of the capital circle being jealous would probably be severe. Tomorrow, these two shopkeepers would lose their jobs, and then they wouldn't be able to hang around in the capital. Nope. It should be ten minutes later. They would have to roll up their sleeves and leave. That's how all the bosses in novels are written. Just one phone call. No matter how much these ants beg for forgiveness, it won't help. They don't give a damn about the supporting NPCs, who they are messing with. They are just trying to live. They are all sinners, and will suffer the wrath of God if they do the most bad things. For the sake of Suyi's safety in the second half of her life, Sunan decided to help her dissolve this sin barrier. Don't get me wrong. It's not like all the karma is added to our bodies. Well, it's actually a little bit difficult. He weighed the large bag in his hand, and the rope was hurting his hand. Hard? All the more reason not to let them have a good time. Dare to bully my people. The eldest princess of the capital circle does not want to lose face. Shuan on. Unsolved. So, let's go home quickly. As we all know, men don't like to carry things in their hands when they go out. Shuan on at this moment how much she wanted to throw away all the piles of bags in her hands and pack lightly. It was several hundred thousand dollars. It's too much to lose. If you don't let Sui take it. He glanced at Sui's empty hands. Shuan on. Forget it. Today out shopping division of labor is actually very clear. Sui is mainly responsible for giving money. As for the rest of the hard work all to Shuanan, 80% are for him to buy things. He did not mention who mentioned it. There's nothing wrong with that. It is whether you can take the 20% that belongs to you. The purpose has also been achieved. And now this matter is absolutely related to Shuanan. And I really have a share in this karma. The cause and effect belonging to Mr. Ba how to impose on me. Could it be that? I also have the potential to become a hegemon in the future. Already saw the sight of little money floating down from the sky, how beautiful it was. So I can also spend money like water like Sui. It's exciting to think about it. You are thinking about Peach. Sue Ripple stood in front of him with her hands on her chest. A man has to do this kind of unrealistic dream. Instead of unclear overnight wealth, why don't you choose to submit to your sister? And your sister will give you the same money that you can't spend. There are ready-made thighs in front of not hold tight. Choose to bet on the illusory luck. How do I feel? You are not thinking that they are difficult, but you don't want to shop with your sister? This, Shuanan's eyes fluttered. Which part of the process went wrong? Why would the true thoughts be exposed? No, there is absolutely no such thing. He shook his head frantically. How can you speculate about me with such vicious thoughts? Of course I don't not want to shop with you. I just simply don't want to shop with anyone. From 9 o'clock in the morning to go out. At this moment, it was already past 12 o'clock. For three hours, he could only find seats in those stores to sneak a rest before being called over by Sui to choose and try on clothes. He felt like his legs had long since ceased to be his. Don't your feet hurt? Anyone who had been to school knew that the smaller the contact area, the greater the pressure. And with just the heel of the shoe to support her, why didn't she react at all? She won on, however, knew that for three hours, Sui hadn't sat down. Could it be that physics could no longer govern women? That was truly terrifying. All right. Sui shrugged. Let's go eat first. It had lasted three hours before Sunan complained to herself. If it had been Su Zichen, she would have started crying out about her leg pain in an hour. Sure enough, it was still her younger brother who was more powerful. In the future, I'll still look for my younger brother when I go shopping. The child who will cry has sugar to eat. Shuanan does not know his own strong let him be Sui Miss on. You said ah, I actually half an hour when the leg pain. Really can not 10 minutes can also. A foot of gas. Driving a luxury car to go away. Shuanan has stopped spitting out the color of this Ferrari. What do you know? How can this be called a middle two? This is personality. Do you understand? Personality. Only a color like this is worthy of its explosive sound. Sunan collapsed on the bed. Closed her eyes and embraced the big bed. My soft big bed. I'm finally back in your arms again. Sure enough this world is still the best for you. 
Do you know what I've been through this day? No, you wouldn't understand. My whole body is about to fall apart, especially the soles of my feet, which are hot and painful. Let me rest for a while. I really believe Sui's evil. This woman is bad. Sui took Sun into the five-star hotel where she had ordered takeout a few days ago, the Imperial Hotel. When she saw the name of the hotel, she went on was shocked, but also felt very angry. What grade? Dare to touch my emperor armor. The star rating is really brushed out with money. The first floor and second floor are restaurants and private rooms. And then up is the hotel. Every corner can be described as high-end and expensive, compounding its name Emperor. Listening to Sui said, this store has actually long been more than five-star. The boss behind the scenes is a top tycoon in the Beijing circle, quite Buddhist, too lazy to fight for that one name. After all, in the circle of tycoons, there are not many who do not know this hotel. As for outsiders, they can't afford to stay. Xuanan was ultimately underestimating the rich people in this world. If he wasn't T wearing tens of thousands of dollars of shoes on his feet, he wouldn't T dare to step on the hotel floor. As for now, don't get my shoes dirty. The only bad comment, this hotel really did not have potatoes. He went through the entire menu and couldn't find any, not even with potatoes as a side dish. This hotel owner probably had a deep conflict with potatoes. Xuanan smelled gossip, the love-hate relationship between the top tycoons and the commoner food potatoes. After eating and drinking, Xuanan thought that he could finally go home. Who knew that Sui actually pulled him back to continue shopping, beautifully saying that it was rare to come out today. So of course he had to shop enough. You have already rested for an hour. How can you still call it tired? Men cannot say no. So Xuanan was again Sui dragged shopping for an afternoon. Of course, the afternoon time is not focused on only by clothes for Xuanan. Sui head into a number of jewelry stores. Flash Xuanan eyes are almost impossible to open. Back home. It was already 5 o'clock in the afternoon. This is still Xuanan forced Sui to pull out of the supermarket. Otherwise, maybe more than 6 o'clock to go home. If he didn't know that Su Ri's title as the princess of Beijing Circle didn't require her to cook for herself at home, he might really want to curse. Who's a good person to go to the supermarket at night to buy food? There were also grandpas and grandmothers in the capital. You wouldn't think that they would leave you some kind of good quality dishes. Xuanan felt that in the future. It would be better to leave these small matters at home to himself. Sui would only be more and more helpful. She only needed to be responsible for making money. Lying on his bed, Sunan gradually entered dreamland. He was really too tired. More tired than when he used to run 5 kilometers on campus. In a daze, he felt someone beside him. A black, silk-like band covering his eyes. Kidnapping. Xuanan woke up with a jolt. It was a burglary in the house. Shit. How can a neighborhood like this be burglarized? What kind of security guards are they? Damn thieves won't make a move on my beautiful, rich and generous sister. Will they? Let her go. If you have anything to do, come at me. I got up and found Sui riding on top of me holding a black ribbon and tying a bow behind his head. I'm a big man tied what bow? Untie it for me and replace it with another one. You, what is this for? Xuanan slept a little confused. Did I miss something? Why did this happen to me? His hands were tied up by Sui. It was the kind that had a leather exterior and a soft looking interior with a props. In fact, Xuanan wanted to ask what these were. Why would the 28 year abstinent Rapunzel have such things in her house? To do what? Can't brother feel it? Sui tied Sunan up and leaned over to whisper in his ear. Feelings? Feelings were bad right now. There was always the feeling of finally capturing prey after years of laying out. Of course, he was that prey. Sui turned Sunan upside down and began to remove the clothes from his body. Sunan felt like struggling, but the clothes on his body were very expensive. Right, and it would be a shame to have them ripped during the struggle. Wait, I didn't take off my clothes when I went to bed just now, so I don't think they're wrinkled. Damn, how can you fall asleep directly? Sui's fingers traced across his face. Brother, you're not behaving today, especially your eyes. The meaning of these words. It's me who looked at something I shouldn't have. Xuanan tried to recall that it was in that moment that he saw Sui's trade secrets that made her want to kill and kill. But when he thought about it, all he could think about was legs. In addition to money, the thing that impressed him the most today was the long legs in the mall. It's worthy of being a big city. There are just so many beautiful women. Is it that your sister can't satisfy you? Why are you looking at other women? Sui's voice was filled with jealousy. No woman would indulge her boyfriend in looking at other beautiful women. Actually, this kind of thing could be big or small. Who didn't like to look at beautiful women? Women like to look at beautiful women as well. And looking at beautiful women is good for physical and mental health. This person was Sui, the eldest princess of the capital circle. There is already a princess, but still dare to look at other women is not disguised to show that the princess is not as good as other people. 
This is a felony. Shuanan must be properly cleaned up. Otherwise it would be difficult to dispel her anger. How could it be? Sunan smiled awkwardly. How can I argue about this kind of thing? You've almost drained me dry. How can I not be satisfied? Hasn't this matter already passed? He but clearly remembered that Sui had said at the time that he wouldn't pursue the matter. And now why? Because of the controlling desire that belongs solely to the eldest princess of the capital circle. She couldn't accept her own people having other ideas. It was a betrayal. It's not too late for a gentleman to take revenge. Sister suddenly remembered again. Can't she? Shu on on. You've already said this. What can I argue? Women are truly creatures that hold grudges. Not only do they hold grudges, but they also change their minds easily. You can easily lose your most important credibility in business this way. And who would dare to work with you in the future? What are you going to do? You can't beat me up. Shuanan was a bit afraid. This stance. Although Shuanan had never seen a small movie. As an adult, she more or less knew about these things. Although he didn't know the details of those exciting little games. He really didn't have that kind of fetish. However, he really didn't have that kind of fetish. Have you ever heard of a saying? Sui took out the leather whip from the box and waved it in the air. The sound of breaking air ringing in his ears. Shu Anan, who was blindfolded, scrunched his neck and couldn't help but gulp. What is this thing? Is it the thing I understand? It shouldn't be going to whip it at myself. This woman is really so ruthless. What? What words? Shu Anan's voice was trembling. Unseen. He always felt that the small leather whip in Sui's hand would fall at any moment, and he didn't dare to have a hint of slackness inside. But why didn't he himself resist? He also wanted to ah. His hands were tied. There isn't any junior who got to the top by making a meal. You won't be able to escape today. Again, the sound of the whip falling. Feeling the movement around him, Shuanan's hands were held a little tighter. His mouth was muttering, Don't move, sleep a little longer. You can't even imagine what he went through last night. Sui lightly pinched his face. Last night did toss him around a bit. You sleep. Elder sister goes to the study to work. Dropping a kiss on Shuanan's face, his anger subsided. And yesterday's matter of him looking at other women in front of himself was considered to be over. Sort of? This word is very spiritual. When you want to do something to Sunan, this matter suddenly can't be passed again. Excuses. Shuanan had long known that everything was an excuse. But it was just to legitimately satisfy Su Yi's little perverted mind. That's why people. Don't hold yourself back for too long in anything. It's easy to go to extremes when you hold yourself back for too long. Su Yi who was ready to get up, was hugged to death. Remember right, today is Saturday. When is a day off? Why still have to work? Don't say anything about a single day off. The bigger the company, the better the benefits, which is why so many people want to squeeze into it. Of course, the benefits are good. The competition is naturally big. No strength is easy to be later crowded out. But what does all this have to do with Sui? She's the president of the company. It's not like she's going to be removed from the company for not working overtime on Saturday. It's just too much of a stretch. Another excuse. What was this woman trying to do behind her back? Shuanan wanted to get up and follow her to see. But he was really sleepy. That said, why was this woman so energetic? Did she really not need to take a break to work at her fullest? A man couldn't say he couldn't. But compared to Sui, it seemed like he really couldn't. What other days is work divided into? Shuanan. Is this the reason you didn't go to work yesterday? I thought the female president could be capricious and not go to work if she wanted to. But it turns out that the back is also to work overtime to complete the work. The attitude is very serious. As soon as he held back Sui again, he opened his somewhat drowsy eyes. Work or something for a while can also be not bad this 10 or 20 minutes. He has a thing very much want to ask Suri. Hold in the heart is difficult. You really haven't fallen in love in 28 years? Sui was stunned. Why do you ask? Never been in love. Where did you get those things from yesterday? She went on asked about those props. Finally exposed. Right. Woman. Be honest and explain. It wasn't as if Shuanan couldn't accept that Sui had once had a relationship. Who didn't have a bad past. Like Sui who was rich and had a face. There was certainly no shortage of suitors in the past 20 years. Those who are in the right family really did not have a heart for her. Shuanan didn't believe it. However. Sui didn't make a reply. She got up and looked at her with half squinted eyes. This is being broken down and you can't pretend anymore? Although it's true that when you're out and about. The persona is what you give yourself. But this is already 2024 years. Seen so many standing persona overturn star. Even there are still people engaged in this kind of false things. You really do not believe in evil awe. Look how embarrassing it is now. Speak. Don't play dumb. Confess from leniency. Resist from severity. Honestly explain your problem. Sui grabbed his fingers. What? Feel that you are not your sister's first love. 
and feel sad in your heart? Answering the question. Avoiding the question. Why are these people so annoying? Yeah, sad to death. Once so many people confessed to me and I kept the bottom line, but as a result, I'm not even your first love. It's not fair at all. Shuanan felt like she had lost a billion dollars. The four years he had held on to felt like a joke. It was true that in this era where ambiguity was everywhere, deep love was worthless. Not true. How can this kind of thing be my fault? I just want to be responsible for my future partner who can go on for the rest of my life. What's wrong with that? You tell me. What is my fault? Favorably let me meet this. Well, he can't seem to pick any faults in Sui. Spending money lavishly should be counted. Not thrifty at all. Be honest with me. Have you ever been in love before? Xuanan desperately wanted to know this question. The more Su Yi evaded it, the more he felt unwilling in his heart. If he didn't ask clearly, it would inevitably turn into a thorn in his heart. Injurious perhaps, but extremely insulting. No, you are also sister's first love. Really? Sunan looked at her suspiciously. Why was this sentence so unbelievable when looking at her stunning face? Don't lie to me. It's not like I can't accept that you've been in love. Who doesn't have a past? But I don't accept that you have two feet in two boats. This was already Shuanan's biggest concession. With regards to love, he did not have much desire for it. At most when he saw young couples pulling and tugging on the side of the road, he would have a fleeting thought, which would dissipate in the blink of an eye. Shuanan likewise did not reject love. Even though he had heard too many torturous love stories, he still believed in love. The ones who tarnished love were the current people, and love itself was not dirty. So if there would be a love, he hoped it would be good. If it wasn't, then end it from the beginning. In fact Shuanan has always been adhering to the concept of white paper looking for white paper, newspaper looking for newspaper. Perhaps he has a little bit of mental cleanliness. Every time he thinks of his girlfriend once with a certain man, he was unbalanced in his heart. Yet he broke this bottom line for Sui. Is this love? No, it was the dual power of face value and money. Shuanan felt that if Sui didn't have so much money, such amazing looks, and a perfect body, odds were that he wouldn't have agreed to this marriage. Nonetheless, this was his final bottom line, with her feet in two boats. Even if her conditions were better, Sunan would not accept it. It wasn't like he didn't have hands, he could still starve himself to death. Sui was a little angry. What was his brother taking himself for? Did good looking have to fall in love? Really, his brother's girlfriend might have lined up from here to Paris. France, Paris again. That place can still stand down people? He reached out and grabbed Shuanan's face. Sister will tell you again. In order to solidify the business she inherited from her family, sister has never fallen in love, and has never even exchanged private life with the opposite sex. If you dare to think nonsense again, sister will have to clean you up. Sunan winced, snapping out of the days he had just woken up from. Hearing the word clean up, he suddenly remembered those things from last night. Shit, 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 can't do it again. At least not in the next few days. So tell me where those things came from yesterday? Don't tell me you were bored and bought them for your collection. You obviously use. So skillfully, Shuanan's voice was getting smaller and smaller. Sui's flower work looked like an old driver with many years of experience. How was it possible to use it so skillfully without practice? That was a gift from someone else. The corners of Sui's mouth twitched, obviously recalling the then speechless mood when she first received this. As for why it's so skillful, those things know their purpose at a glance. Is there a need to learn? Shuanan. Wow, you're gifted. And you know it at a glance. A person who doesn't want you to know, no matter how hard you pester, it's useless. Shuanan looked at Su Yi's back as he left. The feeling in his heart grew stronger and stronger. He must find out the other dog that was kept outside. Shuanan dozed off and woke up, probably still a bit disoriented. It didn't prevent him from getting up and working. The president had to make up for yesterday's delay in work even if it was a day off. So what qualifications did he have to pose as a loser in front of such an enterprising person? You asked Sunan what kind of career he had when he was locked up at home. Just kidding. You can work anywhere if you want to. I didn't code all day yesterday. So dear readers should miss themselves. Well, suddenly remembered that the novel I wrote is still under contract. It seems like it's okay to take a day off yesterday. Today is the weekend. The editor is also not working. AI Sunmin sighed inwardly. Isn't this forcing himself to be bad? Forget it. Go write a chapter or two for backup. Sunan walked into the study and sat down beside Sui. Sui had already begun reviewing the documents, and was so focused that even when Sunan greeted her, she only nodded her head gently. Seeing, Sunan sighed in her heart, if not to say that people can be the president, just the degree of seriousness of this work, can beat 99% of the people in the world? Ask yourself what you would do if you were faced with the situation just now. No need to greet each other in advance. 
he is sure to look over when the other party enters the door, and then chat a couple of sentences. This is a rare opportunity to touch the fish, how can it be wasted? The gap is revealed at this moment. It was also sort of reassuring. Such a serious person certainly will not waste career because of love. They will not become her sadaji after all. The future of the happy life is guaranteed. However, seeing Sui so serious, Sunan suddenly wanted to be bad again. She has already accomplished her share of seriousness together. What else can she do if she doesn't want to be bad? Shuanan put down his teacup and slowly and leisurely opened the website. Let me see Kong Kong. Sunan suddenly turned into a petrified statue and froze in place. What is this situation? What am I seeing? He frantically refreshed the interface. Yet what he saw was indeed a message that the novel had been rejected. Sent yesterday, and the first career after becoming an outstanding graduate had died in the cradle. It should be because I didn't wake up. What kind of joke is this? I Shuanan is a famous university outstanding graduate. Thesis is the only two in the class was rated excellent people. Even can not get a novel. Editor, are you a professional or not? He clicked on the reason for rejection that the editor sent to him. Very official words. Looking at his heart while wow, cool while wow, cool. Is the novel I wrote really that bad? Impossible ah. I am the existence of the exposition of books. When staying up all night reading novels belongs to their own most powerful. How can not write a novel? Ah not. Did you read it seriously? It's only been a day and you're giving me a reply. It is not written three to five working days? So perfunctory. She went on couldn't bear it. For the first time, the idea of using power to oppress people emerged. My wife is the eldest princess of the capital circle. Who see me shall not call me a side horse harnessed by the side of the emperor's side. And so on, let you lose your job today. With the idea of grief and anger to close the sight. The next line is like a mountain. In the future, don't cross the border. Like reading novels really doesn't mean that you can write novels. There are a lot of things to pay attention to. Of course, if you let Shuanan write another one, it will be better than this one. At least it won't be rejected. The business is not halfway through, and it died in the cradle. She went on lost interest. This is when Sui imprisoned in the home after the brain hot decision. Calm down. He still think to go to work in Sui company more reliable. I heard that the payment of six insurance and two gold, and free cafeteria. Such treatment is rare in the country. But Sui will not let him out. The first few efforts have been ruthlessly dissolved by this woman. He really has no way out. Is not really going to let himself slit his wrists. To die so that she let himself out? Shuanan was not an extreme person. This kind of extreme means is not the time to use. As the saying goes, three cobblers add up to a genius. Since it was difficult for him to fight against Sui on his own, then don't blame him for shamelessly looking for help. Know yourself and know your enemy. You will not be in danger. Su Zichen is Sui's own brother. Cannot be no way. But this person put himself kidnapped back. And how to say after sales service is also to have. He took out his cell phone. Oh hope forget this shameless person pulled his own black. Really learned the essence of those black agents. People out of the no longer care. A little sense of responsibility is not. Thanks to Shuanan shouting at him for four years as the boss. Where is the appearance of a boss? Bad. This helper has not yet given himself advice and has already been out of contact. Is not he going to fight the boss single-handedly? Already tried. Almost killed by boss in one move. Sui he cannot beat. Su Zichian cannot be contacted. The situation seems to be at a dead end. Is he really going to be locked up at home for life? Yesterday actually went out. Might as well be locked up for life. Su Zichian cannot count on. There are helpers? Helpers that can fight against the eldest princess of the capital circle. Shuanan could not think of. Wanting to take action against the princess. Probably only the emperor and the empress dowager. The key he has not seen the old man so far. Another dead end. Shuanan's brows gradually locked together. Thinking about it. The only person he could count on was Su Zichen. He had to get him to add himself back. Sis, look he's blacked me out. Shuanan showed Sui his cell phone. Who was the most reliable person to deal with Su Zichen? Of course it was his own sister Sui. Then using Su Zichen to deal with Sui. Shuanan felt that she was really resourceful. She could come up with such a method. Worthy of being an outstanding graduate from a top university. Sui put down the work in her hands. Well, it's good to pull the plug. So as not to teach you bad. Shuan on. Just want to ask what kind of person he is in the eyes of his own sister. To be able to dislike him like this. Could it be that? Su Zichian play with flowers in private. Frequenting various clubs? Can't see ah. He looks like a man. Usually old and decent. Not even a yellow paragraph. But is such a person. That said. Are there really places like that now? In that case. Wouldn't he have to add him back even more? He hadn't even been there yet. We'll all be family from now on. It's not good to pull the plug like this. What's not good? Something to find sister. 
What he can do sister can do, what he can't do sister can do. When the eldest princess of the capital circle was jealous, she even ate her own brother's vinegar. She knew how broad the definition of love was in modern society, and it was better for the two big men to have less contact. But if outsiders knew about this, they would think that our families are not getting along. Xuanan was still undeterred. What do you care about outsiders? True, the oil and salt will not go in. Xuanan's small temper also came up. Go out he can not do. This kind of small things cannot also cannot do it. But this will make outsiders think. Think that I, not recognized it. He directly offered the killer. Sister you also do not want their husband to be despised by others. Said also. Sui nodded. It would be good to watch a little more closely in the future. But if you dare to bring your love brother down, your own brother will also be beaten up. She took out her cell phone, opened WeChat, and sent a message to Su Zichen. Then she saw a big red exclamation mark. Oh Ho Shuanan raised an eyebrow. Brother-in-law can be tolerated. Sister can't be tolerated. Now you're in trouble. Buzz ding. Buzzing. On the dining table, the cell phone buttoned on the side of the crazy vibration. Ringing non-stop. Xuanan subconsciously bite the chopsticks just put into the mouth. Cell phone set mute is the necessary skills of every college student. Imagine a class when the phone suddenly rang. The teacher class a meal. All are looking back at you. How embarrassing things. Three rooms in a hall may be small. Now, it's also a little embarrassing. If he remembered correctly, his cell phone ringtone had not been ringing until now. No, Xuanan remembered. Sui personally turned him on the ringer in order for Xuanan, who was home alone, to receive her call first. Who is it? Sui put down the chopsticks in her hands. Oh ho being checked out. With such a bombardment of information, it was hard for Sui not to be suspicious. It was a realization that her brother had been missing for days and couldn't be reached, and was worried. Stop. Xuanan called a halt to Sui's rambling thoughts. One more moment and the charges could have executed his nine clans. It's probably a group chat. Xuanan picked up his cell phone. He was also quite curious as to who was messaging him. He wasn't a person who liked to chat online. Chatting naturally had to be done in person. People who couldn't even be seen face to face. What could they have to say? In his memory, only when the class group chatted all members. His cell phone rang so, but it's already graduation. So he can't still make himself fill out the form. Xuanan glanced at it and quickly put down his phone. A message from Su Zichen. It seems that he was the one who pulled Xuanan out of the blacklist. Sure enough, brother-in-law can be tolerated. Sister can not be tolerated. Dare to pull his own sister into the blacklist. Worthy of being the boss of our dormitory. In the morning, Xuanan had personally heard Su Yi call his mother-in-law to complain. And by the way, he also mentioned that he had blacklisted himself. This matter even alarmed the empress. It will definitely not end well. Xuanan could not imagine what Su Zichian had gone through in just a few hours. The red numbers on his WeChat avatar had reached more than 20, and were still growing rapidly, undoubtedly declaring the anger in his heart at the moment. Sui picked up Xuanan's cell phone. Fingerprints unlocked. Yes, Sui gave Sunan a new cell phone. Incidentally, her fingerprints into all the passwords, from now on, without the need to blow dust can see Sunan's cell phone in the little secret. Luckily, Xuanan's cell phone didn't have any software with an exclamation point. There was no need for it before. Sunan hadn't thought about that kind of thing. There was certainly no need for it in the future either. She clicked on Su Zichen's avatar, and the more she looked at that big-nosed, red-skinned pig, the more disgusting it really became, and it was completely incomparable to Xuanan's avatar. Bold. Soon an inner villain clapped his hands. How dare you talk about my male god like this. Today I must. Thinking of Su Yi's eyes, the villain sat down very submissively and drooped his head. Not right. This is not a goat. As a man who loves his wife, he just does not want to start a conflict with his wife. Male god, you have to remember that I love you. He actually thought his avatar looked pretty good too. Male god, Sinai, it used to be lazy sheep. As for now, it's Su Yi's photo. Don't get me wrong. It's Su Yi who changed it for him. The purpose is naturally to swear sovereignty. According to Su Yi, seeing the photo, he knew that Sunan had a girlfriend and consciously left. As for those who are still unwilling to leave, still greedy for Xuanan's face value, Su Yi can only personally. This kind of person can be what is good. She has to protect their little friend. Sunan shrugged her shoulders in acceptance. Just an avatar. She can do whatever she wants. She couldn't even call the shots on her freedom. And an avatar was even more impotent. Su Yi alone was about to kill Sunan. So how would he dare to mess with other women? The master was right when he said that the women under the mountain are tigers and should be avoided. Meal time, something to talk about later. Sui sent a voice. Xuanan's cell phone was finally able to rest. Cut. He thought he was so powerful. 
Xuanan had just watched. All sorts of expression of anger emoticons came one after another. But in the end, his elder sister put out the fire with a single sentence. Can this person really realize his ambitious and hegemonic career? Xuanan has no one else to use. Hope he is his own crouching dragon phoenix chicks. The words were spoken to Su Zichen, but they also seemed to say to Sunan, be good and eat. Xuanan lowered his head to plow through his rice. In his mind, however, he was thinking about how he should discuss with Su Zichen in a while to realize his own grandiose and domineering plans. However, he had miscalculated. He had underestimated the extent of Su Yi's clinginess. And from noon to night, without even giving him a chance to be alone, Xuanan was on the verge of going to the toilet to squat and discuss his plans with Su Zichen. Nay, his legs wouldn't allow it. For such a big devil, a solution could not be thought of in a moment. It was already 9 o'clock in the evening. Xuanan did not want to wait. The so-called drums of energy, and then decline. Three times exhausted. Against the great demon king he has failed many times. If today even the opportunity to meet with friendly troops cannot be found. In the future where there is still the courage to fight against the great demon king. Stand up. Slightly frowned. With a slightly serious expression. He walked over to Sui. What's wrong? Sui stopped her hand movements. She had never seen her brother with such a serious expression. Could it be that he had encountered something big? Talk to your sister. Sister will help you make a decision. Just in time. The time to show one's role had arrived. To let his younger brother know how reliable his elder sister was. And in the future, he would obediently listen to his elder sister's words. Sister you know? Xuanan sat beside her. The corners of her mouth drooping slightly. Ever since I woke up today, my body has been feeling unwell. And every time I want to do something, I feel tired and listless. Sui blinked. She didn't quite understand what her brother was trying to convey. When he was eating and playing games, he was still alive and well. But now he was pretending to be sick? Wasn't the sickness a little too sudden? What should we do? Why don't you take me to the hospital? Since you're sick, it's okay to go to the hospital, right? Whether or not the younger brother is sick, go for a checkup. Early detection and early treatment. Early treatment has high hope. No, no. Xuanan waved her hand. A hospital? He hadn't remembered how long he hadn't been to that kind of place. It burned too much money, and it took hundreds of dollars to prescribe some medicine casually. No. Sui stood up, pulling Sunan along and heading out. Don't. Xuanan was confused. He was only pretending to be sick. How could he still make himself really sick? No way. Definitely can't go to the hospital. Going to the hospital wouldn't expose himself as pretending to be sick. What's wrong with that? How would his sister look at him like this in the future? Lying little bad guy. And then like in that kind of sadistic novel where death is still thought to be a means of deception. He wondered if Sui would be someone who would be so gullible as to trust the words of others. Or was there really a person who could make her listen to them like that? The Xuanan of the present was not that person. And odds were that that person would not appear in the future either. You have underestimated the ability of a domineering president. Xuanan hugged Sui. He could only use this kind of behavior to make her stop. I really am not sick. I am just. Just what? Xuanan gave her a grudging look. He should have said it very clearly, pretending not to understand is it? I'm just a little, tired. Yes, just tired. So, can we sleep in separate rooms tonight? Sunan was too weak to look at her. She couldn't be like last time again. This time one must stick to the bottom line. Must not be deceived by her tears. That way. Sui nodded. She was indeed tired yesterday. And she thought carefully about it. Young people do need to be in moderation. Just in time. Let's go to the hospital for a full checkup and recuperate our bodies. Tugging Xuanan along, she continued to go out. Needless to say, it was treated as doing a marriage checkup in advance, taking responsibility for the healthy birth of the baby. This is the overbearing female president. The decision made on the spur of the moment is not to be questioned by others. It is indeed overbearing. So, Xuanan was forced to drive a sports car to the hospital. Xuanan lying in the hospital bed, looking at the white ward. His heart is full of sadness. Just want to sell a little bit of misery. Tonight in the guest room to sleep. In the end, which step went wrong? So that he came to the ward. From 9.30 p.m. M. Until 12 p.m. M. He was studied by Suyi's personal doctor from morning to night. He was studied by Suyi's personal doctor from morning to night. The most disturbing thing is that Suyi's personal doctor is a woman. It's both a blessing and a pain. The fortunate thing is that the personal doctor is a woman. Of course he can't stand other men touching Suyi. The painful thing is also because the personal doctor is a woman. Even the clerk measuring in the clothing store can't stand it. And the personal doctor is even more aggravated. Forget it. Get used to it. One doesn't suffer anyway. There was a knock on the door. And Sunan pulled the covers over herself and hid under them. 
Well, still not quite used to it. He was only wearing a pair of pajama pants. For a conservative person like Xuanan, hanging around in front of outsiders wearing only pajamas and pajama pants was a shameful thing. Not much different from running around naked. Suyi's personal doctor walked in. A woman who looked even more mature than Suyi, with a head of red hair paired with fiery red lips that made a freshly graduated schoolboy like Sunan want to look away. She glanced at Sunan, who was hiding on the bed, and then looked at Suyi wistfully. Mr. Su, there's no problem with all aspects of your uncle, so you can start preparing for pregnancy. As Su Yi's personal physician, she wasn't annoyed at being called up temporarily at night, doing this job, on call and at other times at will. What surprised her was that she came to the hospital to check the body of a man. Knowing Su Yi for many years, this is a situation ah. Xuanan did not want to talk at all. The little white man was known by the friends of the gold master adult. Quickly find me a crack in the ground. Su Yi results in a report card. Perhaps it was a professional habit. She viewed it with extreme seriousness. It's hard to see. Miss Su, that you like such a tender one. The doctor walked over to Su Yi and bumped her with her shoulder, checking the body when she asked Sunan about her age. 22 years old. Kind of shocked her. But if it was any younger, it couldn't even be licensed. With this kind of flirtatious appearance, it was clear that the two of them were indeed very familiar. Sunan was even more embarrassed. To be just a simple private doctor, Xuanan will not be so social deaf. Are playing workers, who look down on who? Now, Sui blankly glanced at her and collected the report. Xuanan's body is better than he thought. It seems that usually is not less training. Did not follow Su Zichin to learn bad. Tell me the truth. Was it really you who kidnapped him back? The doctor came over to Su Yi's side. Her voice lowered, but her eyes were looking at Xuanan. She had seen that hot search. At the time, she scoffed. What kind of person was Su Yi? The princess of the capital circle. Having known her for so many years, except for her career. Suddenly one day she was told that Sui had kidnapped a man. This kind of rumor didn't even have to be clarified. In fact, Su Ri did not clarify. Not because the rumors were too clumsy, but because they were true. Looking at Su Yi's appearance, she knew that it was mostly true. All right, handsome enough indeed. I won't bother you guys. She could tell that Su Yi didn't want to take care of herself. AI, still a good friend. Once upon a time, they didn't compare their careers, but now they didn't even compare their men. Little friend, my name is Tang Cheng. You can call me if you need anything in the future. I'm Xiao Yi's personal doctor. Naturally, I'm yours too. Xu Wenan didn't reply. How does this make him reply? Can he change to a male? No, he thought that women were actually quite good. Blanche, what on earth was he thinking? If Su Yi found out, he wouldn't want to go out for the rest of his life. Don't bother you guys. I'm going home to sleep. As for you, don't be too happy. This is a hospital after all. Xu Wenan. Ah, hurry up and find me a crack in the ground. Su Yi closed the door. Tang Ching could not only be Su Yi's personal doctor, but also the ace doctor of this hospital. 32 years old, medical doctor. Such a status could be Su Yi's personal doctor. Solely because they were friends since childhood. Even if they were friends, they couldn't salivate over their own kidnapped and returned brother. She walked over to Xu Wenan's hospital bed. Don't look, everyone's gone. Oh, Sun and nodded and came out from under the covers. HM, don't you falsely accuse me. I didn't. Why did her words sound so wrong? It was as if she had been caught cheating on her husband. Sui didn't say anything. A pair of seductive eyes just looked at him. Looking at Sun An's heart Harry. She went on frowned slightly. Really? I don't have feelings for her. It's just that she goes out and I. He felt that things were big. He clearly did nothing. You are jealous of what ah, but it is a polite sighting out the door. Not to mention that there are only three people here. He does not look at the other two. And what can he do? For the first time, I felt that Suyi's character like this was annoying. Where was the most basic trust between husband and wife? He could accept being suspected because of overly frequent interactions, but not the first time they met. Love at first sight. She went on wasn't that casual. It could be said that if Suyi hadn't kidnapped him and locked him up in his home, he would have run away long ago, and there was no way he would have followed up with Suyi. Sister knows. Suyi gently stroked his head. I'm just thinking about what she just mentioned. What is it? The exchange just now was only a few sentences, and the things mentioned were actually quite a few. There was the kidnapping, and there was also looking for her. It wasn't the same. However, Sui stared into his eyes and slowly uttered two words that shocked him. Preparing for pregnancy. What the hell? Xuanan sat dumbfounded on the bed. How did he not hear about this just now? Wasn't it a simple flirtation? That's why it was being considered ah, this is too early. Xuanan was really afraid that Sui would be impulsive and start the baby-making operation tonight. 
the two of them hadn't even had time to discuss their marriage. So how did they jump straight to the preparation for pregnancy? Did I cross over? Not early. Sui smiled and stared at Sunan. She was already 28 years old, considered to be what people would call an older woman in labor. Delaying it for a few years might actually be dangerous. She still had so much money. She didn't want to die young. It's decided. Starting now. She won on. Is it really so hasty? This kind of thing that only two people can do. Isn't it better to ask my opinion a little? Forget it. She wouldn't listen. However, he still wanted to fight back a little. Not today. In order to give his two big loins a break, he even hid in the hospital and had them checked out. Such a big price to pay. Nothing must happen tonight. Okay. Sui blankly glanced at him and walked towards the other bed. We said prepare. We didn't say start straight away. In fact, Sui didn't feel the need to prepare. Sunan had already checked her body and there was no problem. As for herself, there was even less of a problem. As for herself, there was even less of a problem. It wasn't impossible to start directly tonight. Shuanan hid under the covers. It was even scarier than karma wastes. Shuanan pulled the quilt over his head. To tell the truth the heart is quite tired. Since he met Sui, life began to become involuntary up. The whole time being pushed by Sui. Every time he is absolutely will be brought to an unknown direction by Sui. Generally speaking this direction and his original decision to deviate very far. Just like right now. But he wanted to rest for the night. Discuss the escape plan with Su Zichian in the guest room. And then he was lying on the bed in the hospital's luxurious ward. It was actually possible to go home. He had wanted to go home as well. It was just a simple physical examination. Where there was a need to be hospitalized for observation. Even though it was 12 midnight at this moment. For the youth. The journey of staying up all night had just begun. The road in the dead of night was an even better time for the luxury cars to speed by. But when he saw the so-called luxury ward, a whole shock to stay. Is this really a ward? It looks more luxurious than a single room for rent. Sure enough, poverty limited his imagination. If that was the case, Sunan didn't want to leave. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely not because he wants to enjoy life in a luxurious ward. He's here. Let's leave tomorrow. How unqualified is it to go out racing at night? How can Shuanan as a contemporary three good youth do such a thing? Of course, Shuanan decided to stay only because there were two beds in the luxury ward. Otherwise, even if this was the heavenly palace, Shuanan wouldn't be able to take a look at it. The two large cashews were still important. In any case, one of the purposes was accomplished, and he could rest tonight. He took out his cell phone. Contemporary youth. As long as the phone in the hand can stay up until dawn, Shuanan clicked Su Zichan microblogging. No doubt. This point he certainly did not sleep. The entire dormitory belongs to him to stay up the most powerful. It is possible that now is in the bar night and night song. The Sheep Village Lazy King, in, Peking, JPG, Shuanan's WeChat name and his previous avatar were quite a good match. Green Grassland a piece of sky, who sees the lazy master does not pass the cigarette. And then the avatar was changed by Sui. The Lazy King was defeated. The male god also lost. Is this the strength of the eldest princess of the capital circle? horrible as it is. GG male god. Is there a possibility that I should be around for the next few decades? Breathless. JPG. Who's good people chatting the first sentences in awe? To be honest if it is not today the mother and lord put the word out. He may not even want to take care of Shuanan. You do not say things how do I know whether you are in or not? In case I say and you find Wumi to borrow money how to do? Well, Su Zichen knew that probably in this life Shuanan could not find him to borrow money. Older sister is richer than him. Where else would it be his turn ah? GG man, you are really great ah, I just don't want to listen to the love story of the two of you, I want to hide in a place to clear the air, you even soothe the parents, gnashing teeth, JPG, I didn't expect you to be this kind of sunan, 22 years old, but you still play the dirty trick of calling your parents if you can't beat them, if you have the guts to go one on one, hiding in the quilt sunan is a bit embarrassed, in fact, he also does not want to alarm the mother-in-law, so how do they look at themselves, not yet pass through the door so many things, in the future will not be the family stirred up the sky and the earth. In all conscience, Xuanan really isn't such a person. He is afraid of trouble. It's all Su Zichian's fault. A big man still playing the Lahe thing. Goat village lazy king, I can't help it. Who let you be so unreliable? Leaving me here alone and not caring, and I can't contact you, so I can only look for my parents. Xuanan looked for Su Yi, also a parent, or a direct parent. Not surprisingly, she will be in charge for the next few decades. GG god of boys, with my oldest sister around. Do you still need me to control you? Su Zichen, who ended a game, took off his headphones. GG man god, what? My old sister is bullying you? Let Su Zichen put down the game to reply to Sunan. 
See how much he valued Sunan. Seconds back already explains everything. Okay. The fact that you're still afraid of your mom carrying a knife to the door. There may be some exaggeration in it. But if Xuanan sues his parents again, he'll really die a horrible death. Sheep Village Lazy King, aha. Uh -huh. Crying. JPG, GG boy, come on, talk to me, make me happy. After how many years, it's finally no longer him being bullied by Sui. Sure enough, kidnapping Sunan back home was a wise decision. Let him bear this pain instead in the future. Goat Village Lazy King, holy shit, you're actually standing on my pain and laughing. Doesn't your conscience hurt? Chest pounding. JPG, Sheep Village Lazy King, and, are you sure you want to know? Su Zichian's typing hand lurched. The expression on his face froze. As Su Yi's own brother, he knew Su Yi too well. What abstinence for 28 years, completely is fart. The network those idlers themselves spread out the word art. His old sister can never come forward to admit. Su Yi is just too busy. Too busy stabilizing her position in the company. Too busy developing her career to have time for a relationship. Not at all as evil as the internet says. When he heard his elder sister mention Xuanan, he already felt that something was wrong. When his elder sister asked him to trick Xuanan back, he knew that his elder sister was serious. Xuanan was the person Su Yi had chosen herself. What would happen Su Zichian could actually guess. He deleted the line he had already typed. GG boy, doesn't your conscience hurt? Lifting the table. JPG, those things. Men understand each other in seconds. Why Su Zichian had pulled the plug on Xuanan and Su Yi was that he didn't want to eat their dog food. And from time to time, as a link in their play, Su Zichian was extremely pained to know that nowadays, he was still a single dog. Now let him listen to the details. Blanche, knew I couldn't put them off the blacklist. GG God, I know my sister, she is serious. You can rest assured, I could not possibly pit brother you. Well kidnap Xuanan actually is not because of fear Sui, but some flirting words. If Sui is not reliable cannot do so, although she is their own sister. Sheep Village Lazy King, I know what you're talking about and she's really quite good to me. Xuanan thought back on what had happened to him in the past few days. Other than brother waste paying a bit too much, the rest was impeccable. When he met such a girlfriend, when Old Bay destroyed the universe in his last life, it was definitely Xuanan who kicked him to death. GG Mansion, then why are you still pretending here? GG Man God, I'm telling you, you have to be contented as a human being. If you dare to slag off my old sister, I won't be able to spare you. To the brother to two ribs, to the pro sister naturally also want to care. There are not many responsible people like him in this era. Goat village lazy king, no, there is no such thing. Don't accuse me falsely. She went on typed much faster. The matter of his honor. Sloppy. In case Su Zichen misunderstood and directly abandoned his own, it would be disastrous. The only thing he could count on now was Su Zichen. Sheep village lazy king, that's it. Your old sister does not allow me to go out. Even to work are not allowed. You quickly to think of a way. Let me go to your old sister's company to work on it. Su Zichian pursed his lips and looked at the text on his cell phone. It was the right thing that his old sister could do. If you don't let Xuanan go, your old sister can afford him anyway. He sent a message to Xuanan. However, the opposite side did not respond for a long time. For ten whole minutes, Su Zichian stared at the screen, and not even the text the other party was typing appeared. The corner of his mouth twitched. Little Master I put down the game to help him think of a way. He also played suddenly disappeared. Truly fed the dog, if I ignore you again, I am the dog. Throw the phone aside and continue to play the game. Woof. Su Zichian refused to match to the game. That is he paired nearly 5 minutes to match to the game. Just like this was his ruthless refusal. Picked up the phone to click Xuan on microblogging avatar. Still no reply. No Lao Sun is not that kind of person. University 4 years together. Xuan on may be a little maverick. Do not like and people pile up. But if you have something to say to him, he is still very reliable. He must have encountered something that made him not have time to reply to himself. But what things can be encountered? With his own old sister by his side, who dares to? Su Zichian put down his cell phone and realized that no one would dare to bully him with Sui by his side. So the danger could only come from Sui. I hope he doesn't wake up tomorrow morning with a sore back. As for figuring out how to do it, it was better to leave it to himself. People like him were few and far between in this day and age. Really, I'm crying my eyes out, continuing to play the game. It was estimated that the opposite side would be fighting for a while longer tonight. So Su Zichian could also continue his own battle and get up in the morning to think of a solution for Xuanan. Sunan on the other side of the cell phone was indeed in trouble. Just as Su Zichian thought, there was no danger with Su Yi. Yet Su Yi was the greatest danger. Sunan only felt that the quilt behind her lifted a crack and something came in. A hand suddenly wrapped around his waist from behind. 
and a voice like a demon's resounded in his ears. Brother is not good oh, not sleeping and hiding under the quilt to do bad things. She went on shivered. It really was a demon, or a charming chimera, quickly covering the cell phone. The plan was still in the discussion stage being seen by the enemy. What's the difference between that and running naked on the battlefield? Doing something bad? Sunan coughed lightly. Don't talk nonsense. I'm so well behaved. How could I possibly do something bad? Both of you siblings like to slander my reputation. As someone who can't even bear to step on an ant, how could I possibly do something bad? Sister has seen it and is still sophomoric. You hide your hands in the quilt. Don't be shy. Just talk to your sister about such things. Your sister will satisfy you. Su Yi's unfinished words were extremely misleading. Even Xu Wenan himself almost thought it was hiding under the covers. Obviously he was sending a message to Su Zichen. How could you think that? It was so hard for him to get rid of Su Yi. How could he possibly be infatuated with the fifth girl, who had long since been eliminated in Xu Wenan's case? No, I'm just playing with my phone. Xu Wenan hid his phone under his pillow. There were too many secrets inside. Even if the lock screen was not safe, hiding it was the only way. Su Yi frowned slightly, reaching out to pinch his cheeks, hiding under the covers and playing with your cell phone. Be careful of your eyes being nearsighted. Quickly put it away and sleep obediently. Chu on on. If I remember correctly, this should be my wife. Right. Why do I have a feeling that it's my mom? Got it. You quickly go down. I'm going to sleep. Sun and gently pushed her. Before going to bed, he still had to give Su Zichen a word before he could do so, or else with that guy's dead brain, there was no chance that he would keep waiting. Su Zichen, shit, little master isn't that stupid. No way. Sui shook her head, hugging Sunan tighter and tighter. What if you don't listen again after I leave? Having come, how could she easily leave? Although it was possible to sleep alone, who would turn down a hugging pillow that one had long been accustomed to? Just sleep like this, said Sui who had already closed her eyes with an I'm asleep look. The corner of Shu Anan's mouth twitched. Sleep like this? How can you sleep like this? Are you sure something won't happen? Sure enough, it's not like things were in Shu Anan's planning. If that's the case it would be better to go home. At least there are no outsiders in the house. In case the soundproofing of the ward is not good. How embarrassing to wake up tomorrow. Su Yi, however, didn't make much of a move. His brother said that he was tired. So let him rest, regaining his energy to be in good shape next time. It would be best to buy him some supplements to aid him tomorrow. She went on, I thank you Lu. Pig should be fattened and then killed is not it. I would like to call you a new generation of pig factory director. No one else can. Not as big as the pigs you raise. Sui has no idea. Xu Wanan naturally did not. He is already very tired. Holding Sui, he gradually fell asleep. No one will refuse to sleep with a pillow. However, Su Zichian on the other side of the cell phone was just forgotten. For more than 10 minutes, he was guarding the avatar that was no longer bouncing. And he didn't even see the other party is typing. He didn't even see it. One second he was still thinking about it. The next second is directly forgotten. Really? I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. Unaware of the geometry, Sui suddenly opened her eyes, looked at Sunan, who had his eyes closed and was breathing evenly, and reached under the pillow to take out his cell phone. Sui had never forbidden Sunan to play with his cell phone, hiding under the covers and sneaking around. How could it not make her suspicious? Unlocking the phone. What a wise decision it had once been to record fingerprints in her brother's phone, and how she hoped that her brother wouldn't be so foolish as to leave evidence in his phone knowing that she could easily see it. Unlocking. She then saw Shuanan in Su Zichian's chat interface. These two foolish brothers seemed to be plotting something, or targeting themselves. That is, the specific process had not been said just yet. Perhaps these two foolish brothers hadn't figured out what to do yet either. Put away the cell phone. You want to go out to work just like that? Sui did not understand. According to her understanding of the young people nowadays, there is a do not go to work. Every day just eat. Drink and play life is how eager. How come it was different when it came to her brother? Sui did not think about it. Just let the two silly brothers play by themselves first. Just with them they still can't turn over their own five-fingered mountain. As for the final result, of course, she can let her brother go to work in the company. But she has to make him pay a little bit of a price. The skirt is still waiting for the younger brother. The late emperor had not yet been halfway through his business. And the middle way was known to his enemies. The sleeping Shuanan was completely unaware of this. If he had known that Sui already knew about the plan, he would have given up immediately. Where's the need to go to all that trouble? Just go straight to the pampering. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Isn't it just a servant under the skirt? It's not a big problem. The servant can be a great success. Asleep until 11 o'clock at noon. Extremely comfortable. The weekend should be like this. Even the female president is still sleeping. 
In a daze, Xu Wenan felt like she had forgotten something, couldn't think of it, forget it, not, wait, forget about Su Zichian, this idiot wouldn't still be waiting over at the cell phone, it's just that Su Yi is still sleeping, so there's no chance to message him back, anyway, it's been waiting all night, so let's wait a little longer, Su Zichian, someone come and get him, sit still, Su Yi tapped the small stick in his hand, Xu Wenan felt like she was really like an elementary school student at the moment, sitting obediently with her hands on her lap, today was Sunday, Su Yi, who was the president, was likewise not working, the two of them slept until 11 o'clock, ended their foraging outside, and drove their orange-red Ferrari all the way home in a stormy weather, having had her last shopping experience, Sun and really didn't want to linger outside at all, when Su Yi's eyes looked over, he understood in a split second, if he didn't run at this moment, what better time to wait, leaning down to fasten Su Yi's seatbelt, a foot of gas pedal catapulted him into a start, and he felt that he still liked being cooped up at home, thus, the first thing Su Yi, who had returned home, did was to tell Sun and to sit down, look at how overbearing this man is, just because he didn't accompany her shopping, he had to clean himself up when he got home, Su Yiching, my safety depends on you alone, can be supported up, however, by his high hopes of Su Yiching, at this moment is still sleeping, last night and Xu Wenan end of communication, he opened a few games, probably students are on vacation, but all the way to kneel until dawn, I blame Xu Wenan for sending me the message, it was a winning streak until he chatted with him, this person's bad temperament infected himself, he must be made to suffer more, and when he had enough sleep, he would think of a solution for him, Xu Wenan had probably already guessed that it was not a matter of concern is almost everyone's idea, and who would go through this muddy water when it has little to do with them, after all, we still have to rely on ourselves, but right now, it is still necessary to see what Sui is going to do, he obediently sat next to Sui, waiting for Sui to send down, Sui took out her cell phone, WeChat is her in Tang Ching's chat records, look at the interface, almost all of them are Tang Ching in the hair, densely packed, but if you change the gender of Tang Chang, Xuanan will think she is the legendary king of dog licking, wait, who says there can't be love between women, bad, love rivals appear, teacher Su's small classroom was in session, and Xu Wenan felt that she should give a pair of glasses to Su Ri at this moment, which would definitely charm him into coming to the point where he didn't even know what his last name was. From today onwards, no smoking or drinking is allowed. Xu Wenan nodded. There was nothing wrong with it. He didn't smoke or drink in the first place. Second, eat a balanced diet every day. Ro, Sunan realized in his heart that this was to start laying down rules for himself. AI, this day is really still coming. I didn't expect it to be so soon. The novice protection period was surprisingly so short, only a week. Third, in the future, you must go to bed at 10 every night, go to bed early and get up early, and engage in necessary physical exercise. Xu Wenan, listen to what you're saying as a human being, whose young people go to bed at 10 o'clock on time off. 10 o'clock sleep can still be called young people, very tempting to rebel. After 10 o'clock but he brushed jitterbugs and watched the young lady's time. Surprisingly, he was deprived of it just like this. How can this be tolerated? However, just one look at Sui, suddenly deflated. Look at her excited look at the moment. Where does she look like she's listening to advice? Old Su, hurry up ah, brother I'm at stake. Fourth, from today onwards, you'll have to abstain from sex. Xu Anan, disliked the look in her eyes, as if, as if she was a sperm-ridden rogue, exactly which move had caused her to misunderstand herself so much. Could it be that I am not the one who was trying so hard to avoid such things lately? It's just as well. Sunan did still need to rest for a few days. That, I must declare one thing. Xu Wenan weakly raised his hand. It was absolutely necessary for him to clarify. He couldn't let his wife have such a big misunderstanding of himself. Before I met you, I was also abstinent for 22 years. The expression was extremely arrogant. Abstinence is just that. Make it look like who couldn't do it. If he hadn't been kidnapped by Su Yi and Su Zichian, his abstinence time would have been even longer. Not just 28 years. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? Give Xu Wenan another six years, and he'll be able to do it. Sui reached out and rubbed his head. His younger brother's haughty look was truly adorable. Xu Wenan shook his head. Put down your hand. How could anyone use the word cute to describe a man? And, teacher Su's small classroom continued as she continued to set up family rules. Xu Wenan but the more she listened, the more wrong, a lot of content is not a little too. Two, two strange point, always feel an out of the family is not much different. It's just a marriage. It's not as if you're going to become a monk. If you must, can you enter the Taoist family? Taoist master I want to become immortal. Wait, wait. 
Sui still continued. Sunan couldn't help but interrupt her. She couldn't continue. If she continued Sunan thought she might suffocate and die in this house. Could it be that serving rich women was all like this? Are there any seniors to share their experiences? What is all this? Xuanan definitely wasn't just a house rule set by a rich woman. He had heard of it before. When you joined a rich woman, you could never move your chopsticks until your wife was on the table. What Sui had just said, however, had no such rules and was more about taking care of her body. Even though Xuanan's previous life was not as extravagant as Su Yi's, it was definitely not lacking in nutrition. So from which aspect exactly did she misunderstand that Xuanan's body was so weak? Could it be that? Can't ah. Although the mouth said don't. When exercising Sunan never flinched. Preparing for pregnancy ah. Sui put down his cell phone. A matter of two people. Can't just have sister come alone. For this reason, she had consulted her own personal doctor. Tang Cheng sent her numerous precautions. After all, Sui is already 28 years old. In case of any accidents, the damage to the body is great. No, you're here for real? Xu Wenan sat up straight. It was only Tang Chang who had mentioned it once, most likely just a flirtation between friends, and Sui had actually taken it seriously. Of course, Sui nodded. What? You're not willing? Xu Wenan. Hmm. Su Yi's face changed slightly. Xu Wenan immediately changed his words. Willing? How could I be unwilling? though he knew that as a decision maker. The most important thing was confidence. Confidence in one's decision. The second was action. To formulate a series of meticulous plans of action based on what one has decided. But, really do not need to discuss with yourself. You have said that it is a matter of two people. More or less discuss with me, so that I have a little sense of participation. No, this kind of thing oneself must have a sense of participation. But, isn't it too hasty? Xuanan ultimately lost out to his inner sense of morality. It was true that he was quite willing to have a child with Sui. At least the relationship between the two of them might have more bonds and more consideration because of the existence of a child. But, at the beginning of his freshman year, Xuanan suddenly became a fatherless and motherless person. At first, he was able to hypnotize himself in his mind that at 18, he was already an adult, and that he would be able to break out of the world without his parents, and that he would even be more able to stimulate his potential without a way back. However, only to deceive themselves and others. With the passage of time, the feeling of loneliness is more and more intense. The thoughts in his heart are like a sudden flood, out of control. School time is fine. In the dormitory, in the school, are all the same age people who left home, he can still thus divert his attention. Whenever the summer and winter vacation, watching the surrounding people carrying luggage one by one to leave the dormitory, leaving the school, walking away from the back can always cause the heart of the latent sadness. Can having children really sustain a marriage? No. Xuanan felt that it couldn't. In his opinion, there were only two factors that could sustain a marriage, first, money, which was the material foundation, and second, love, the adoration of the other half between the two people. In any case, there was absolutely no such thing as responsibility. People, instinctively reject people they don't really like. And in this state, how to maintain a cozy family, do not underestimate children. They understand everything, and may not be able to express it accurately but they can definitely feel it. Sunan as an adult college student still couldn't resist. How could she expect a small child to grow up healthily in that kind of environment? Not to mention, it was even more maddening to see and feel. Isn't this matter a bit too hasty? We've only known each other for a week. In case, if we have any conflicts in the future, Xuanan didn't want a hasty decision to cause an innocent person to suffer. It was impossible for people to not have conflicts with each other. There would always be different views on certain things. Just, now it seemed that it didn't seem like it was possible to communicate well with Sui. Her dominance, her success, made her not like to consult with others on many things that she didn't feel necessary. Perhaps Xuanan could accept it now. Who could know in the future? A lifetime was decades. Sui's fingers gently rubbed against Sunan's face. Rather threateningly, what? Do you still want to bring up your pants and disown them? Xuanan didn't dare to imagine that if he really behaved like a scumbag in front of her again, would she beat herself up severely before tying himself up in the dimly lit basement? Oh, Xuanan felt like he needed to throw all the weird stuff he had ever read out of his head. How could he be a scumbag when he was clearly a victim as well? How so? I just feel like isn't it too soon to have a child now? At least a year from now. When we feel that the other person is really the one in our hearts. Xuanan did not reject marrying Sui. This matter was not a disadvantage to him from any angle. Of course, it would be even better if he could go out and work. With this layer of relationship to enter Sui's company, Xuanan had definitely picked up a great bargain. Even though he was an outstanding graduate from a top university, the world was never short of talent. 
and Xuanan understood the competitiveness of top companies. After all, he only had a bachelor's degree. Facing many graduate students, his competitiveness was dwarfed. If he could use a shortcut to enter the company, Xuanan certainly would not refuse, and this was also something he had earned with his skills. It's what you want, so don't say anything about it. However, innocent people must not be involved. At that time, you might have to suffer. Sui pinched his cheeks. Why would someone 22 years old still have a little baby fat? Aren't all men's faces angular? Xuanan shook off her hand. That's the standard face of a hegemon, and I'm not a hegemon. All right, it's settled. Every day you must do what you just said. Sui stood up. Love? Sui didn't need it. Maintaining her family, likewise did not need love. How many joint families were there in the mansion? And didn't their families live in shambles? And didn't their children grow up just the same? Marriage needs both material and love to sustain it. Perhaps when one party is absolutely strong, the other party becomes less important. At that time, just slightly condescend to Xuanan and pretend to be a virtuous husband and father at home. Xuanan, look at this woman's overbearing appearance. There is not even a little room for negotiation. At this moment seriously doubt that the reason why this woman has been abstaining from sex for 28 years is not because she wants to. Look at her like this how can she find a boyfriend? The door is right for those gentlemen who can stand her temper. She can only take a look at Xuanan's poor college students who just graduated. No wonder she was reluctant to let Xuanan work at the company. Fearing that Xuanan would have money in her hands and escape from her control. No, I can't be so PUA myself. How can the small amount of money earned from working be compared to that of a CEO like Sui? So that Sunan will never be able to speak in front of Sui in her whole life? The company has other dogs in the company. So it's not like they're not going to be able to talk to Sui. There must be other dogs in the company. Forget it. Since the communication cannot, Xuanan also do not want to explore this matter. The big deal is that in the future he will really do a good husband and father. As long as the living expense is tube enough, other does not matter. Dignity, appropriate to lose a little. The bottom line is, a little flexible. What else can I do? Preparing for pregnancy also needs time. Maybe this period of time Sui will get tired of playing with himself. Shit, it's embarrassing to say that. I have to go to work. Old Su, do you have any ideas? Old Su, who has high hopes, stretched out on the soft bed, and slept not well, dreaming that his brother had been eaten and wiped clean, and when he went there, he had already turned into a skin and bones look, older sister really so horrible? Endured 28 years, is not it, brother, I am coming, wait for me, Su Zichian packed his luggage, bought a plane ticket, and hurriedly flew back to the capital from Magic City, crouching dragon returns, with a roar from his mom. He is going home to inherit the family business. We are saying that the old brother and sister so enterprising. The family business to them cannot have to leave a share for themselves. He just wants to eat and wait for death to swing. Spending money is actually very painful. Goat village lazy king, old Su, do you have a good plan? At night, Xuanan hid in the guest room and sent a message to Su Zichen. This girl hasn't moved at all. He tried a few more times today to have a good discussion with Sui. A man must have his own career. Sui is so oily. To be her man, do not need to have a career. Learn to spend money to enjoy life is good. Wow, Xuanan for the first time felt that the pendulum is panicked. How about I take back the wish I made when I graduated? I don't deserve it. GG man, I'll step in. Don't worry. No one knows her better than me. Su Zichian and Sui have been fighting each other as siblings for more than a decade. No one is more experienced than him. GG man god, I've returned and will come to save you tomorrow. Lazy king of sheep village, hug. JPG. C. This is a brother. Dependable. Throw down your cell phone and go to sleep. Thanks to a trip to the hospital yesterday, Xuanan wished to sleep in the guest room. Round and round is also considered to achieve the results they want. Sui went to work again, leaving Xuanan alone in front of the window, looking through the eyes. Take me with you. I am very powerful. Really great. However, Sui couldn't hear him. No. She had heard them. She just didn't know why she kept refusing this simple little request from Xuanan. What exactly was the pinch that was being asked for? Xuanan stood by the window with his cheeks resting on his head, always wondering about this question. Such a big company. Can't it accommodate me alone? One is not a man-eating monster. Two is not a bad luck broomstick star. You are as defensive as the plague against me? Lazy king of sheep village, big brother. Tell me honestly, do I have a love rival? Xuanan, who was doubly anxious, sent a message to Su Zichian, feeling that if he let this state of affairs continue for a few days, he would soon become a boudoir complainer. Handsome and dashing. He wasn't going to turn into that. It was too ugly. GG man god, that's a lot. Goat village lazy king? 
Goat Village Lazy Great King, shocked, JPG. For a moment, Xuanan even thought that Su Yi's entire company was her dog outside. The body. The actual body of Su Yi is really consuming it? The enemy army is so crowded. The only thing that seems to be working is to bring in a brother-in-law. The brother-in-law is not his sister's rival at first glance. And, is not know too much can not know things? The eldest princess of the capital circle external persona but abstinence 28 years. Their own mastery of the secret once published. The persona is not diluted. Will not be the eldest princess of the capital circle to silence it. No way. Xuanan now does not want to go to work in Sui's company. Or directly run away better. GG man god, put away those messy thoughts of yours. Most of the people who can become good basher are on a certain channel. A move. An expression know what the other person is thinking. At this moment, Su Zichian really wanted to drill straight out of his cell phone and severely beat Sunan up. How could you slander your own old sister like this? Even if you're the person my old sister personally elected, you can't. At most, avoid that handsome face and important parts when beating you up. GG man, with my old sister's condition, anyone who likes him can shoot to Paris. France. Paris again. Who the hell dictates the queuing route? Can't you just change the direction a little bit? Sheep Village Lazy King, I recognize what you're saying. Rich and beautiful. There are not a few people who want to submit to her skirt. Although, praising the enemy before the battle is a foolish behavior. But Xuanan can't lie with a clear conscience. The group that shot to Paris, France was no longer limited to just one gender. GG man, right? You can pick up a big bargain. But do not quickly thank brother. Su Zichian was so excited. Xuanan can have a good day today. All rely on themselves. All rely on themselves in which they strategize. Can be called the contemporary Kong Ming. Please call me Crouching Dragon. The corner of Xuanan's mouth twitched. Crouching dragon. Expect you to be a real crouching dragon. Nowadays. To be able to have such a passive situation. All because of him. Trapped in the cage to be a bird that longs to fly. The most critical thing is. A little bit hurt the body. It caused Xuanan to be afraid to drink with Su Zichian now. He was afraid that this guy would sell himself again to some place where he could not live in the world. Just ask how many people like Sui there could be in this world. And the next time might not be so lucky. Goat Village Lazy King. Don't interrupt. I'm asking you. Your old sister really doesn't have any other sweethearts? It's the kind that has already established a relationship. Su Zichian looked at the message sent by Xuanan. Frozen for a second. He sent the message at a rapid pace. GG boy, did you find any clues? Or else it's a pillow person. As Su Yi's own brother for more than 20 years do not know the secret. Xuanan only came to a few days to know. I don't know if my mom and dad are clear about this. Not. This is not the brother to the fire pit pushed? At the moment. Su Zichian's heart was filled with guilt, to his understanding of his own sister, once one day tired of Xuanan, a cry, three hangings are useless, wouldn't that harm his own brother, gg man god, don't worry, you still have a chance now, let's fight for it, surely we can stabilize the position, sheep village lazy king, no, the two messages were sent almost simultaneously, both of them had a black line, goat village lazy king, there really is, gg god of men, no you're talking shit, Xuanan. Su Zichen decided, in the future, if there are any major things, we still need to say them face to face, and no more voice calls, this girl is no longer on the same channel at all, sheep village lazy king, if not, why doesn't she let me go out, why won't she let me go to work, sheep village lazy king, there must be someone else out there, to be honest, Xuanan would rather believe that Sui had someone else outside than because she couldn't see past her own abilities, this was too much of a blow, gg boy, is there a possibility, I mean it's possible ah, my old sister doesn't like to talk about her feelings while she's at work, Shu on on, there's no possibility, not a single possibility, the enemy seems to have gotten stronger, my presence affecting Su Yi's fortune is not a small thing, it's scarier than having other dogs outside, the dogs could still have a fair fight with each other, fate is something that can't be seen or touched, Shu on on is helpless, the most crucial thing is that it affects Su Yi's financial fortune, and in case she goes bankrupt, the future days together will also, Cough cough cough. I did not pay attention to the words in my heart. Sheep village lazy king. Feudal superstition cannot be believed. Believe in science. JPG. Sheep village lazy king. Do not care about these messy. You want to think of the way it. People cannot see. Lazy king of sheep village. You won't run away from the battlefield. Out of the blue. JPG. It's been more than 12 hours. Xuanan didn't even see Su Zichian's shadow. Protecting his master is not even heartfelt. This person is hard to reuse ah. Su Zichian spat out the spoon of yogurt he was holding in his mouth. GG man god, escape. In my dictionary there is no such word. Goat village lazy king, don't believe. JPG. Goat village lazy king, 
How come I heard that someone never dared to collide head on with his oldest sister since he was a kid? Su Zichian clenched his fists. Listen to what this is called. Who is a good person who would collide head on with his old sister? Crazy. GG man god, wait for me. This is coming. Must let you see the strength of the brother. Although the bar. And their own old sister against the meaning of nothing. But must not lose face in front of their own brothers. Since they have promised their brothers. Necessarily cannot break faith. He thought hard for several days and finally came up with a perfect ploy. Just waiting to show off in front of Sunan and Sui. It's also time to tell old sister that your dear brother has grown up. And that none of you can afford to be underestimating me. We are saying that people get along with each other is an art. A lot of lines of the subterfuge you have to understand. The next time is a refusal. A moment is likely to be an afternoon. And Su Zichian a waiting word. A full two days. Su Zichian a word wait for me. She went on bitterly waiting for two days. Xuanan even want to go to the police to see if he was trafficked to some deep forest. What relationship between the two of us brothers? There is such an operation. From time to time, the pendulum mentality creeps in. He suddenly wanted to give up. If you don't go out, you don't go out. Life must be happy. As for those sorrows, leave them to tomorrow. Enjoy it first. On Wednesday night, the front door was knocked on. Sui stopped her hand movements. Looking for you? Xuanan sat up from the sofa his eyes moving away from the cell phone screen to look at the door. No, he got up and went to open the door. Only a handful of people knew that he had been kidnapped by Su Yi and locked up here, and none of them had come back to rescue him, so it had nothing to do with him in any case. He was probably a friend of Su Yi's. Since I saw Tang Ching at the hospital last time, I've been able to see her. Since the last time I saw Tang Ching in the hospital, Xu Anan has been swinging rotten. Be known to know it, soft rice have eaten. Those gossip as I should bear. However, when he opened the door, what he saw was a somewhat familiar figure. He was wearing a flowery short sleeve. Underneath was a wide pant. And the strangest thing was that there was a pair of sunglasses on his face. Xuanan was silent for a moment. Somewhat uncertainly opened his mouth and asked Sui. Saying, well, this is our old brother, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Sui just gently glanced at Su Zichian standing in the doorway, pulling Xuanan's arm to walk back. It could be seen that she didn't find Su Zichian's outfit strange at the moment. More so. There was still a sense of being accustomed to it. You called him here? Sunan glanced back at Su Zichian and shook her head in denial. No, he probably missed you and ran over by himself. He would miss me? Obviously Sui didn't believe in such things. If he would miss himself as his own sister, Sows would be flying in the sky. How could he possibly come to the door when he couldn't wait to get far away from it? Su Zichian raised an eyebrow and removed his sunglasses. No matter what, he also came for his brother's freedom, but was so disliked. Does your conscience not hurt? I should have known to put on some dark circles before coming. Look at how much I suffered for your freedom. Xuanan said you can actually leave. With his current appearance, Xuanan didn't even want to admit that she knew him. Although money is free, and one should dress casually, one can't be this casual. Su Zichian was at least a young master of the Beijing circle, but his style of dress was not even manageable by a young master of the Guangdong circle, especially that pair of sunglasses on his face. Please, look at the time now. It's 7 o'clock in the evening, who would wear sunglasses? Walking on the road will be suspected of having a brain problem. This kind of person can't stay away. After all, there was still business to be done. Su Zichian sent Sunan a look that said, You'll see me perform in a moment, and if you cooperate appropriately, you're bound to be successful tonight. Xuanan nodded without a trace. Tart year, please start your performance. Say, what's the matter here? Su Yi was quite direct, sitting on his butt on the sofa, rather like a leader, as if Su Zichian had come to report on his work. Xuanan saw Su Zichian's gulping movements. Older brother, you have to hold on ah, cannot just start to retreat. Su Zichian first poured himself a cup of water. It was said that the visitor was a guest, not even entertaining himself with a glass of water. No wonder he didn't like to come. Sister, you also know, mom asked me to manage the company, borrow someone from you. Sui suddenly glanced at Sunan, who was sitting beside her. Xuanan. Xuanan felt as if she had guessed what Su Zichian was planning to do. And honestly, it took two days to think of just this solution. Expressing concern for his intelligence. Moreover, was it really necessary to say it so bluntly? Being guessed by the big boss about the sequence of moves would be disastrous. Xuanan felt that it was probably hopeless. Well, it's not bad to establish a career early. When big boss was your age, he was already making a name for himself in the company. Sui leaned towards Xuanan's side, her meaning clear. Su Zichian was suddenly speechless. He was considering whether he would be killed if he directly approached her for Sunan. There was a strong possibility. Xu Anan, on the other hand, 
was surprised at Su Zichian's strength as a big brother. Su Zichian had studied for a year at night and was 23 years old this year. Able to enter the company's management at the age of 23 and still have to convince the others. What kind of divine script was this? Could it be that he has a system? All are other people's children. In this regard, Su Zichian said that he had long been accustomed to, since childhood, he had been living under the shadow of his elder brother and sister. The whole family, it seemed that only he was the most ordinary. He only wanted to spend his money lying down, and he couldn't even dream of doing that. As a result, there is a person in front of him who can lie down and spend his money, but he still wants to go out to work. People's sorrows and joys are not connected. Just like this moment, Xuanan did not move side by side in the slightest. It was really that he could not think of how to cooperate with Su Zichian. Did you see Su Yi's movements just now? The half step that moved was serious. It might really kill someone. When Su Zichian patted his ass and left. As a result, he was left alone at home to face Big Boss's settling of scores. He felt that it was better to play dumb at the moment. The bond between brothers was that fragile. Su Zichian also stopped pretending and showed his cards. Playing these fancy maneuvers in front of his oldest sister would only backfire. Sister, why don't you lend my brother-in-law to me? And then return him to you when I've done some good work in the company. She went on frowned slightly. What kind of tiger and wolf words are these? Lending you to use. Am I some kind of very handy tool? Right, right. It was just a matter of borrowing him to use as long as he could get out of the sea of suffering. Xu Anan looked at Su Yi, her eyes full of expectations. No matter what, we're also college roommates. The tacit understanding is still there. The chances of success are definitely high. Since Su Yi won't let Xu Anan go to her company, Xu Anan could only find another way to go to Su Zichian's company. In this way, it shouldn't affect Su Yi's fortune, right? That's so witty. Hurry up and say yes. Working under your own brother. What do you have to worry about? It's under her own brother that Sui is most worried. Not to mention, in case this outrageous wardrobe infected Xuanan, Sui would really go crazy, not daring to imagine what crazy action she would do at that time. Sui gently smiled. Didn't I say, it's not to find you? How does it feel? Like you guys discussed this in advance? Clasping her hands to her chest, she stood up. That day in the hospital, she knew that these two kids were secretly plotting something, and as a result, this, it would be better to let Sunan work at Su Zichian's company than to stay at her own company. This, what can I say? Su Zichian's skin is too, too otherworldly, not really wanting to recognize him. Forget it. You can say that he is a dish, but you absolutely can't spit out his face value. This is Su Zichian's forbidden area. Xuanan now can only have such a teammate. If he is angry again, in a fit of anger regardless of his own. In fact, this is not bad. At present see his usefulness is not big. Just afraid that he will be on the verge of reversal. Directly help Sui deal with their own. That can be really finished. A Sui cannot cope. Plus a Su Zichian. Just looked at it. As if his combat power is that. More than one he seems to be no difference. Su Zikin. Are you polite? Come over to help you at night. Then do this to me. After all. It is a mistake to pay. Xuanan stood up and came to Su Zichian's side. In any case. At this moment. He was his own teammate. Never mind the battle infighting was definitely over. That's not true, and I've been complaining for a few days now. Staying at home to enjoy the blessings don't even want, really don't know how to think. Chu Anan, you are so quick to give up the Lord me? With you, why worry about the great cause can be accomplished ah? What do you know? How can youths of my generation waste their time, waste their lives, and enjoy themselves? That's the kind of thinking that only cowards would have. Chu Anan spoke with righteous indignation, slamming Su Zichian's depraved thoughts of having no ambition. The corners of Su Zichian's mouth twitched, seeing as you'll be my brother-in-law in the future. I'll give you a little face in front of my sister. It's not even rare to dismantle you. You were the one who mouthed off about wanting to muddle through during graduation. And now you're acting like this in front of my oldest sister. I see. How could Su Zichian not understand this? He mustn't let his wife look down on him. He wanted to tell Xuanan, when you meet my sister, just lie down. All this fancy maneuvering is useless. Forget it, if the child is willing. Let him be. Looking at Su Zichian's disgusted expression, Xu Anan really wanted to beat him up. But if he had Su Zichian's assets, he would definitely lay flatter than Su Zichian. Nay, he only had a few tens of thousands of dollars left in his pocket. Now he is in a situation where he can't lie down, can't roll up, and is in a state of anxiety. If it wasn't for the fact that Sui was currently supporting him, he would have already gone crazy and even collapsed. Then again, the fact that he couldn't roll up now was also thanks to Sui. Since he had already been exposed by Su Zichian, Sunan was fortunate not to be pretending. Right, right, 
Look our oldest brother is so enterprising, I can't lose to him right. How could that damned competitive spirit allow Xuanan to lose to Su Zichen? Wasn't he just a billion points better at reincarnation than himself? Other than that what else could he have? He hadn't surpassed himself in every aspect when he was in school, and it was unlikely that he would do so after graduation. Xuanan had this confidence. I'm sure I'll be able to bring our oldest brother down. Su Zichen's fist secretly clenched. What kind of name is this? Is this the respect you should have for your righteous father? This is not something you dare to say. The girl turned over to be his brother-in-law. In the future, will not press himself for life. Think about it is angry. It seems to be his own hand to facilitate. Even more angry. Can we start over? Su Zichen chose not to let his sister know that Sunan existed. In this way, he was still his own good eldest son. You don't need to compare yourself to him. I'm sure you won't lose to him. Sui didn't even blink her eyes when she said this. Seeing how certain she was. Xu Anan. Su Zichen. Xu Anan looked at Su Zichen without any trace. Look, the eyes of the masses are bright. Admit it. In front of the brother you are the younger brother. Su Zichen gave him a blank stare. Brother is brother. Brother I have good reincarnation skills. So what if you are more powerful? You still have to work for me. Xu Anan, Blanche, Za Iron, Old Heart. Sui as a person who grew up watching Su Zichen grow up. What level is this personal brother of hers she understands too well? Xuanan is the person she personally chose. How could she not have personally gotten to know Xuanan? It could be said that she was the most qualified person here to say this. She was the only outsider here. Su Zichian shrugged his shoulders. Being looked down upon by his oldest sister wasn't something that had happened once or twice. It had long since become a habit. He recognized what his older sister had said. There were some aspects that were indeed better than Sunan. It was mainly because Su Zichian was too lazy to roll with the punches. And he still had plenty of back roads. What? You can't go to Minion. Can only pose at home. The previous sentence Su Zichian said with a smile. Admit it. You've been taken to death by my old sister. Even going out needs to go through my old sister's consent. As a man. Please let me offer you my sincerest ridicule. The latter sentence is full of jealousy. Why is it that you and I are both supported by someone? But you can lie at home and set up a mess. While I have to choose to inherit the family business. Is this the difference between a mom and a wife? For a while. Su Zichian actually developed the idea of finding a rich woman. Thinking about what Xuanan is currently experiencing. This idea was quickly snuffed out in his cradle. He had so much money. How could he endure being confined to his home by a woman? Perhaps that was why the Sui who had once been pursued by so many people could not be seen by any of them now. Su Zichian pushed Sunan's shoulder and covered his mouth as he came over to his side. How is it? Is there still a by plan? The action was that of plotting. It was that his voice could be a little louder. Just a little louder. And everyone downstairs could hear it. Guess if Sui, who was standing just to the side, heard it. I seem to remember that it was you who was the one who thought of a solution. Right? Xuanan suddenly regretted finding Su Zichian to help. This girl really wasn't reliable at all. There was even a feeling of being a two-fifths boy. Bad. He wouldn't be on Su Yi's side. That's right. He had once helped Su Yi tie himself back up. He was on Su Yi's side from the very beginning. This wave, it's called leading the wolf into the house. No. You don't have any moves at all? Su Zichian had dragged his feet for two days. In order to make Xuanan a little more prepared. Knowing that this kind of thing would only be most effective if he did it himself. As a result, the girl is waiting for herself to operate. I'm not sure how much I trust myself. Even though I am a crouching dragon. Lord. You have to support the prong up ah. Xuanan really want to get up and beat him up. Use your brain to think. But I have a way. How can I still go to you ah? Understood. Su Zichian nodded his head. Looking at Xuanan's expression he knew that he didn't. Just this still dares to say it's better than himself. Older sister ah, I didn't expect you to have a day where you look away. Leave it to me, I still have a plan B. As a crouching dragon how can you only have a pair of brocade plans? Lord you and watch me operate from the sidelines. He cleared his throat and changed seats to sit down. It looked like he was about to negotiate with Su Yi. Xuanan watched Su Zichian's maneuvers expectantly. Sure enough, looking for Su Zichian was the best decision he made. Worthy of being my Wulong. Just now. I actually suspected Wulong and Sui of joining forces. What a sin. As the saying goes. Suspecting people is not a good idea. Since I chose Su Zichian. I shouldn't have questioned him. If this matter came to fruition. There would be a heavy reward. A high end negotiation unfolded because of himself. Soon an XIN was a little excited in his heart. When had he ever been treated like this. It was probably the only opportunity he had in this life. He must take a good look at it. Thus. He heard Su Zichian say, old sister ah, just let him out. I've heard him say more than once that if you're keeping him locked up, he won't like you anymore. 
he even hates you. Sunun, what the hell? When did I ever say that? Don't say it again. Stop it now. You're not rescuing me. You're pushing me into the fire pit. Sister Ah, you don't want the husband you found with great difficulty to be lost just like that. Hearing Su Zichian's slightly threatening words, Su Yi, who had been incredibly calm from the start, suddenly frowned a little. She even glanced at Xuanan, who was sitting at the side, with a suspicious look. Is that what you think? Xuanan gulped. He felt like he was really in a big mess. However, Su Zichian seemed to still feel that this fire wasn't big enough. I've been with him for four years in college, so I can tell how ruthless he is when it comes to doing what he says. Su Zichian's expression was serious. It's not that he's lifting Xuanan up for the sake of purpose. Have you ever seen a ruthless person who wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning for an entire semester? It's a ruthless person who wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning even when he doesn't attend classes on the weekends. Every day, she runs 5 kilometers without stopping. In Su Zichian's eyes, Sunan was a deservedly ruthless person. Sister, love in this era isn't easy to see, and it's even harder to spend a lifetime with someone you like. Think twice, Xuanan felt that he was the one being united against. Listen to what he said, San Si, whose crouching dragon are you anyway? Su Yi's brows locked deeply, that things could be so serious that it was possible for her to be thrown out of love. Although, she didn't really need love, but the point is to be this word. She Su Yi has lived for 28 years, only she does not want and now she herself has become discarded, how can tolerate, Beijing circle princess face on where, she sat up straight, you go, she went on froze, what, this will let me go, freedom seems to have, the money is not, the heart is slightly reluctant, time really does not have a two-way law, let me have money and freedom, it's just, he felt that for the moment or freedom is more important, the money is in Su Yi's pocket, and he does not have much to do, let's go, going to move bricks, all right, I won't get involved in you two's business. All sit tight. No need to send them off. Su Zichan got up and went out like the wind, not even returning his head, leaving the two people sitting at home messy. To be precise, the only one who was messy was Sunan. Not letting himself go? He stood up. Why don't you let me go? He couldn't imagine what he would face if he stayed here. That guy Su Zichan had just made a false accusation against him. There was no way Sui would spare him. You are truly my crouching dragon. However, Sui pulled him back. Where are you going? The voice was clear and cold, unable to feel the slightest bit of warmth. Xuanan had never heard Sui speak to himself like this before. His heart panicked for no reason. I'm going to see our oldest brother off. No, he knows the way. Well, probably can't walk. Xuanan sat pathetically beside Sui, his heart already cursing Su Zichian with all the words he could think of. This was his so-called plan B. Su Zichian stated, How nice, putting the conflict on the table. It's not like it's some big immortal thing, she can still kill you, you can't be too greedy as a human being, greedy people end up losing everything, Sunan really felt that his own life would not be guaranteed tonight, listen to me, I never said those words, it's all our old brother's nonsense, he felt that he could still salvage a bit, took out his cell phone, let me show you my chat history, there is not a single topic related to just now in it, Sui held down his hand, what is the use of chat logs, how can people who do big things conspire on chat software, easy to expose secrets, especially when Sui knows all of Xuanan's passwords. Not, if you don't believe it, you can still check the call records. Xuanan didn't even call Su Zichian. It's not like he could get out of the house. Once the suspicion started, the charge was already established. Xuanan's defense was useless. Sui slowly approached him, the stunningly beautiful face close at hand, the faint aroma of her body lingering on the tip of his nose. Xuanan was in pain. This woman seemed to have pinpointed her own weaknesses coming up to use the beauty plan directly, why don't we just surrender, after all this time, he still couldn't resist Su Yi's face, Su Yi cupped his chin, little Anan, sister shouldn't have treated you poorly these past few days, no, of course not, Xu Anan shook his head, not to mention treating her poorly, these few days could already be described as luxurious, then how could you dislike elder sister, Su Yi's tone was grumbling and resigned, living like a little pitiful person who had been abandoned, at this moment, Xuanan even felt that he was a tenfold sinner. How could he make such a beautiful woman grieve and shed tears? Yes. Xuanan froze. Hey. I'm sorry three words almost came out of my mouth when I saw Suyi's expression on her hands. But why did I say I'm sorry? Where did I do wrong? All of them are Su Zichian's false accusations ah. No. I did not say that kind of words. Really. I swear to God. Sunan raised his three fingers. If he still didn't believe him. He could make a heavier oath. The body is not afraid of the shadow the heart is not ashamed, Sui gently tugged on his collar, 
Not sure if she believed Sunan's words or not. Her eyes meaningless. Sister. Abstinence. Abstinence. She went on tugged on her hand, truly afraid that this woman would suddenly go further. She was not to blame. The seven points were indeed somewhat ambiguous as well. She went on couldn't even hold back. However, only yesterday he said that he would abstain from sex. Abstaining from sex for the sake of preparing for pregnancy, and then breaking the plan today. It was also too. There is a loss of standard. Sui got down from Sunan, somewhat regretting the rules she had set yesterday, having already checked her body. There was absolutely no need to prepare for pregnancy. Why do you want to go to work so badly? She asked Sunan very solemnly. Since she had been put out in the open by Su Zichen, she took this opportunity to talk about it clearly. Otherwise she was really afraid that Sunan would really find some means to escape. Although Su Zichen was incapable, he was still very accurate in reading people. To be called a ruthless person by him, Sui also had to be serious. 